not. Um, bigger, 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 bigger. Um, Uh, here's the deal. Is it still, is it looping still? Can anyone hear me at all right now? My stream is looping like a 10 seconds clip. Oh my god. Thank you, Ao. Um, are we good? Am I back? <laughs> I missed all of that. I thought you were all just, you know, entranced by my, uh, my hilarious entertaining stories. Uh, let's see. Anyone on Man vs. Game st uh, stream refresh? That loop was hilarious, though. Okay. I wish I could have caught it. I, I, it would have been cool if somebody recorded it or something. Um, anyway, I don't care. Alright. Is everybody here? Except one. All right, I'm going. Uh, there you go. Thank you, uh, Gem Knight Dante. Okay, that is not real. Man, Charter replaced him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like. Um, I don't even know. Do you guys even care? Because honestly, I am just tired of bitching about Charter. Ow. Oh. Pish posh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big it, big it, big it, bam. Big it, big it, big it, bam. Uh. So yeah, I don't know how far into that story I got, but um, I, I can continue on with it uh, if you like. Long story short, finally got a guy to send a cable guy out to my house to hook me up with the ultra internet package. The Tawny God, just, she just calls like, oh sure, yeah, here we go, hook you up, blah blah blah. Cable guy went out to her place, made some adjustments, was like, there you go, you got ultra internet now. Do, 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 do. Meanwhile, I'm over here, they're just like, Oh, uh, yeah, we don't offer that in this area. I was like, what the fuck? So I, I st I'm starting to think that, uh, you know, I'm in you know, some kind of, like, fucking dead zone. That just, uh, it's a very odd dead zone. It's like, it just happens to be a big fucking circle around my goddamn duplex. So, cable guy comes out. He's like, well, they didn't really say what I'm here for. So, uh, what can I do for you today? I was like, yeah, I was wondering if you could uh, hook me up with the ultra internet package. 100 down, 5 up, uh, heard from uh, a person, a friend of mine lives uh, about 5 minutes away, hooked her right up, and, uh, he's just like, he's like, do you mean, do you mean the 60 down and the 4 up? I was like, no, I have that, I was like, I'm looking for the ultra, am I getting the, am I getting the loop again? Such a goddamn sadness. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna restart this shit. Uh, hold on. Is it not looping? Uh, oh, it's not looping. Okay, okay, okay. You guys had me thinking I was looping again. God damn it. Okay. Sorry. I was about to restart the cast. Um. Anyway, yeah, the, guy, the guy's like, oh, do you mean 60 down and 4 up? I was like, no, the 100 down and 5 up. The new ultra option. They hooked her up, no problem. He's like, uh, yeah, we don't offer that in this area. He's like, he's like, and I'd be skeptical that, that, you know, this, that that's even available because you know we just got to the point where we can offer the 60 down, 4 up thing. I was like, you fucking people. You are... Unbelievable. Everything is a okay. Wonderful. Thank you. The only loop is me. Okay. The fruit loop. Let's keep going. I've almost got this. A 
All I gotta do is just touch the testy satchel there. And, uh, we're golden. Uh, do it, Robin! Do it! Oh my god! Touch the testy satchel, please. Just touch, touch the testes. Seriously. I fucking hate Charter, man. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, there's so many things that I could blame, and, uh, you know, like, because before it was uh, Optimum. What I've heard is that Optimum knew they were going to be bought out, so they just, you know, stopped upgrading the network and, and all this shit. And so I'm just like, I don't give a hoot in hell. But whose fault it is? It's just a goddamn crying shame. You fucking people in your ivory towers. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Why isn't triggering? I don't understand. What? What? Um. All right. I don't either. It's very tricky. Fucking Solgren guy. That Solgren guy. Oh, balls. Ball, 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 ball. Yeah, hundred dollars a month. So yeah, I'm pretty sure right now. Uh. Tony's paying like a hundred dollars a month for no reason. I was talking to her the other day. I was like, "What are your speeds like?" She's good, like, she did a speed test. And it was like thirty megabits down, four up, something like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to talk to somebody. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, fuck the cable companies because. Holding us back, man. I can we talk about something that is like uplifting and glorious and hopeful and and just fills me with joy. Did you guys see the? I'm sure you heard about the story. Uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Apologies in advance. Ellen Musk. Musk. Is that a stage name? I'm Ellen Musk. Media. Um, his plan to set up like a global internet uh, network using uh, uh, was it like low orbit satellites? A network of low orbit satellites? Space, Space internet. 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 It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, is it Elon? I don't give a shit. All right, um, Elon. Okay, Elon. Anyway, um, that excites me. Just that idea. They like global space internet network. Um, and just you know that's cool, cool enough. That's just like yes, do that, please. And I love that Google has already, apparently, they're uh, investing in that. So cool. Um, and then, like, the plan continues. Like, the plan is actually... Uh, the network would then be used to, like... Uh, uh, to, to help, like, uh, like, fucking people on Mars connect to the internet. I kind of skimmed through it, but that's... I got that. And the whole thing was, like part of, like, funding eventual, you know, trips to Mars. It's like, fuck, yes! This, we, these are the people we need! Thinking about this shit. Forward thinkers. <sighs> Doesn't Notch have space internet with his Windows 10? Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, a bunch of veterans are getting to go on a study abroad trip to Vietnam! We're going to get to meet N Vietnamese veterans from the war and get to talk to them and hear their stories. Nice. Inverse space! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. That's so cool. I'm gonna read this. If you guys don't know, Inverse Face, he's been hanging out here. Uh, he is a uh, uh, purveyor. Creator, composer, producer, writer, 
uh, whatever. Dealing in uh, awesome chiptune music. And, um, yeah, he's been hanging out. He has an awesome uh, album that he recently released called The Chipping of Isaac. You'll never guess which game soundtrack it is a chiptune cover of. No! Not Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, anyway. He just sent me a donation. The jerk. Uh, and, it, and he says, Everyone that has supported me, especially you, man, has really helped me out today. This is in all caps. THANK YOU! Uh... Thank you. Uh, thanks for making awesome music. Thanks for allowing me to play it on my cast. Thanks for... Thanks for just being you. And and again, yes, thank you, everybody, uh... Uh... Who... Bought... Some of Inverse Faces music, or, uh, subscribed! I don't know if Inverse Face is still offering that, because I know, uh, you had, like, a subscription... model. Where you get access to new music. All that stuff. Okay, let's go. It's like... Could you... Oh! I just have to... I just have to touch the testy satchel just one extra time. <laughs> Sleepy, nice. Um, hold on. Uh, let me. You know what? I'm gonna link this shit right here. Actually, I'll just link to the band camp overall. Inverse phase. Yeah, I first heard um, inverse phases uh, chip tune uh, when I heard about the game Super Smash Land, which is like a Smash Brothers uh, Game Boy D make. the soundtrack to that. I remember thinking, that's cool. Like you do when you're in there. You're looking at like the most amazing, fucking mind-blowing, you know, cutting-edge shit, and you're just like, that's cool. Click on to the next thing. Uh, here it is. Boom! That is Inverse Phase's Bandcamp. Check it out. Check it out. What's it all about? Okay. Yeah, I would love to highlight the loop. The fruit loop. Uh -huh. Why? Does she not flutter, flutter, flatter? Mm. I don't understand what's happening. Oh my god. This is just like a it's like a it's like a platforming puzzle. It's so tight. Uh, uh let's see here. Man probably didn't hear what you're working on, Inverse. I know I'm fucking excited. TDS. Uh let's see, I think he caught a glimpse last night, this morning. This morning. Hang on. Was it Dungeon Man's? Hang on. Okay. on the bus yeah wow that's not gonna work though because uh, I might be able to touch that three times damn 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 um whoa uh, what happened to my ass and glasses I don't wear gl glasses. I don't need them. 
I have 20-20 vision. Hey, everybody! This guy's a big fat phony! He's a big fat phony! Um... Uh, I was wearing them because... I really like glasses. I like wearing glasses. There's a strange part of me that wishes my eyesight was fucked. So that I had to wear glasses. I don't need them. I really don't. Oh my god, Al. Um... So, I wore them for a while. You know. Just doing some real life fashion souls. Uh, you know, just going David Bowie. Ch -ch 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 changes God damn it. Turn face strange changes. Ooh, look out, you rock and roller. Oh shit, the download spiral. Nice! That is fucking awesome. I, I gotta tell you, I um like I love Pretty Hate Machine and Pretty Eight Machine. Um But yeah, the Nine Inch Nails that I was really into at the time, uh, in high school, like Downward Spiral was like my jam. I would listen to that thing nonstop from beginning to end. Uh that's awesome. He's like, I'm still working on uh, a lot of the puns, so... Oh, shit. <sighs> so basically, all the music's done. I'm just working on uh, the track titles. It's going to take me about a month. All right, Dark Rolls. Man, when I started watching your stream, you were wearing them, so I'm used to them. See, and that's... I, I've thought about that. Some people got used to seeing me like that, and they're like, Oh, the dude who wears glasses, blah. A lot of people are like, Why do you gotta wear the dumb glasses, man? Take the fucking glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> the pig song, uh, March of the Pigs. Hey, pig. Hey, pig, 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 pig. Alright. I really like this track. I really do like this track. What? <laughs> Touch the testy satchel! <laughs> I just I just had the thought, you know, like, what if, you know, a neighbor just happened to be walking by, you know, they went out to check the mail, they hear from next door. Touch the te testy satchel! God damn it! Fragile is your favorite. Um, fragile is inexorably linked with Japan for me because I uh, The Fragile came out when I was in Japan 99-2000 and uh, it was like one of the small little like comforts of home that I afforded myself like in an ocean of foreign um, I remember I went into a, a music store and I saw Nine Inch Nails had just released The Fragile. The Fragile. The Fragile. And um, I was like, I gotta, I gotta hear this shit. I'm all about the Nine Inch Nails. And uh, yeah. Great shit, man. Um, Trent Reznor is... Our, he is absolutely good at what he do. Man, what did you do in Japan? A lot of masturbating. Would go outside, be like, oh my god. There are hot Asian women everywhere. Uh, no, um. That was actually why I was sent there. To help, uh. Repopulate Japan. I <laughs> I'm dropping frames all over the fucking place, and I'm right down to 1,000 kilobits per second. I have a rice crispy dick and raisin balls. All right. Rip, yep, chip. Wa, touch it. Solgren, you old coot. Let's see. You're gonna be two. You're gonna be doing two versions of hurt. 
Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Um, are you going to include um, my favorite version of, of Hurt? Uh, a lot of people who watch this broadcast know exactly what's coming. Um, uh, I'm really hoping that you include this version of Hurt because it's it it is my favorite. Um, I hurt myself today to see. Sacrilegious. And that is enough of that. Wow. It's too much. Uh, yeah. That's the songsmith version of Hurt. What that is, is a program, some software, I believe made by Microsoft. Made by Microdick. Uh, and it's, uh, you, you give the program some singing and then you say hey why don't you make some uh, accompaniment to the singing you know you choose the style and all that stuff so that's what that was that was a program that was a, that was that was the software's like best guess for like you know what would fit with <laughs> Johnny Cash's cover of Hurt <laughs> but it's just so good and I'm sorry you're muted oh my god it just I can't I'm trying to stop the uh, madness because the fucking thing is still going. Yep, uh, I gotta close that tab. Jesus God. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Do 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 Nation from 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 Jif twenty six. Thank you so very much. Um. Says. Uh, hold on. Get some indigestion. I think it's the song. I think it was the Hurt cover. Um, hey man, I am not a gassy Mexican, nor do I say nay. I go with little support I can provide. Me and my wife absolutely love your broadcasts. If you ever come over to Montreal, let us buy you a beer. Oh, my God. One day, I might take you up on that because one of my goals right now is to make my way to Montreal and learn to speak French so that I can go see Le Matos live in Montreal. So that's crazy. Thank you very much for the donation. Um, that's very cool. So awesome to hear that uh, got some people watching in Montreal. Love to go over there. In Quebec. As bad as it is for you, it's 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 bad for me too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish there was a way I could just jump forward in time and be like. Turn your volumes down now! Uh, probably the chat, but that moment has already passed. Shit. And after that, I will learn Italiano. I'm sorry, when you said Italian, you mean Italiano! Because I already know what is up there. Anyway, uh, alright, let's go. Please let me through this freaking. Testicle tickling McPoopy Poo uh, area. If you don't learn, let's see, don't learn TYE French Canadian accent though, please. Uh oh. Are we getting into some shit? Okay. 
I was in Montreal for Christmas and was listening to Le Matos. That's where they, uh, that's where they operate, man. I am going to see them live. And I'm going to be on a lot of drugs. <laughs> when I do. Lobster, Lobster for, dinner. for dinner! Oh goody! Oh, goody. Welcome, Welcome back, back, back to mankind, mankind I, do I do believe. Lobster, Lobster for, dinner. for dinner! Thank you Thank for the support. You. I love, love the name. Mm. Uh, wait, wait, what? We had a guy from Montreal working at my last company, and when we were bought out by a French company, he tried to kiss ass speaking to them in French. The looks of utter disgust on their faces when he did it was priceless. You gotta love it. Um, you gotta love it. Uh, cause you know, there's a, you know, let's just, you know what, let's just talk about it. Any French people watching right now, please know, I love your cu culture, love you, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's the stereotype of, you know, French, yes, being kind of stuck up, uh, especially, uh, toward Americans. You dirty American swine. Um... It's just hilarious to hear that, like, French, like, if they hear, like, fr like French-Canadian French, they're just like, UGH! <laughs> Canadian French ain't pretty. It gets the job done. You know, it's funny to me, I can't even tell. I cannot even tell. Here we go. Motherfucker. <laughs> Tomaso Cruise. Tom Cruise here for the rescue! Oh. So that was like a you know an infomercial. Oh, and thank you, but thank you for the help, Tom Cruise. Motherfucker, why is that so touchy? It should not be that touchy. So yeah, it's actually uh, really the French hate the Quebec accent. Really, I'm sure not all French, just most. No, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, used to be a, we have a huge Italian communities. Oh, gotta love lobster. You know, I do. I really do. But Jim Gaffigan has a fucking hilarious bit on why seafood is absolutely disgusting. And he's not wrong, but I still will gladly order and eat seafood any chance I get. Um, I'm not always, I have to be kind of in the mood for it. Oh my god, would you please? Uh, you know, he just talks about, he's like, he's like, he's like, lobsters and crabs? He's like, you were, we're eating bugs from the, from the bottom of the ocean. He's like, he's like, look, I, I, I love melted butter just as much as the next person. But I, I don't need to put it on a, you know, like a, a fucking bug. Uh... Because, yeah, it's one of those things you, you really don't want to stop and think about, but shrimp, crabs, lobsters, they're crustaceans, sure. It's very, it's, it's, it's pretty similar. It's close enough in my book to a fucking bug. The goddamn exoskeleton and all that shit. That's it's what you're eating. You're just eating giant ocean bugs. <laughs> all right. And I say that. I say that knowingly. I don't care. Because you know what? If you're not going to eat that ocean bug, I will. Let's see. Julia thinks Spanish is the sexiest language. Uh, then French. Then German. Oh, German is scary. No. No. German can be beautiful as well. You know what? All You know what, Julia? All languages are beautiful. Alright. Crustaceans, yes. They're crusty. Ocean bugs. Uh, if I read any of his books, uh, Jim Gaffin. Gaff again! No! God damn it! Okay, I think it's possible. Oh! 
I think there's a way. There, there's a way. I gotta do it. And I also need to hurry the fuck up. Because the broadcast is turning into... Uh, blue the blather. With your host. Man! Would you please? I don't understand. Understand? All languages are beautiful except American. Mm, I don't know. We're pretty cool. We're pretty expressive. We have a lot of dip thongs. And a lot of uh, drawls. And blah, 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 you know. I don't know. Uh, I love proper, I love a good proper English accent. Mmm. Yes, I do. Uh, by that I mean not, you know, spam fish is disgusting. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, what is this fucking accent? Hold on, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I know it's not Cockney. It's, um, it's just, just English. Pipe down just for a minute. Um, oh, come on. He's in London. Come on, remember. Remember. Oh, my God. You of yesterday. of yesterday gotcha, gotcha. 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 welcome to welcome mankind, to mankind. Kind, 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 kind. thank you so very thank much for your support, 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 support. make your way join us in the man cave that's what we call the chat, 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 chat. thank you so very much rubbish yeah it's gone for me um no get it back Make your brain rem remember. It's there. Just find it. Find the connections. Get the connections back. Uh, youth of Yesterday. I love the name. Love your username. Welcome. Uh, what? Oh my god! This guy right here. For reals. Youth of Yesterday. Speaking of French Canadians. Uh, welcome to the broadcast. Can I reveal your secret? Um, what is this freaking, uh, you had to join. Youth of yesterday. Don't you remember? I told you. You don't need to do that. I could have given you my awesome hookup. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to venture even trying to pronounce your name. But um, JP Bunier. But you guys know. You already know Youth of Yesterday, um, because of shit like this. This guy, youth of yesterday. Helped make this. Yes, youth of yesterday, uh, one of the members of Lematos here among us. In the man cave, oh my god, I am just honored. Also kind of horrified because I I've been casting for a uh, uh, too long. Might I just say, welcome, and uh, this drop right here. Just, just wait, just wait. Dear God. 
Um, congratulations on uh, uh, the upcoming uh, Turbo Kid showing at uh, the film festival. I, uh, oh my god, five dollars just donated five dollars. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's see what this uh, $5 has to say. <clears throat> $5 from $5. Uh, the message reads $5. Thank you very much, $5. Anyway, this album gets way too much playtime on this uh, broadcast <laughs> and hopefully yes it's resulted in uh, extra sales for you guys um, I am so excited I can't wait to watch uh, Turbo Kid and uh, of course listen to that soundtrack uh, was so excited when uh, you guys linked that video yesterday of the uh, the interview with the, the three directors of Turbo Kid and it uh, had a little sneak preview of uh, two of the two of the tracks from the new soundtrack I love it I love it I uh, been listening to a lot to uh, well uh, coming soon and then uh, uh, to join us like your your music like the sound has just like evolved uh, so much like listening to material that uh, that you guys released on coming soon uh, and then compared to like join us like it's just it, please don't take this the wrong way like I love all of it it's all great uh, like coming soon is a lot more to me it's it's um, definitely more raw harder kind of um, electro um, but uh, I'm just saying, you guys, you have a you have an upward growth. You can tell. Um, anyway, sorry if I'm embarrassing you, but oh my god, I was just telling uh, some viewers in Montreal that um, I one day I am going to make my way up there, and I love I love that uh, I'm dropping frames for this wonderful occasion. Yep. Goodbye, frames. It's one of the pitfalls of what I do. Um, well, I'm going to get down in the corner again. Um, I am just... so flattered. <laughs> I always assumed, and I don't even know if I have internet right now. There they are. Oh, you were watching! You think yesterday was watching! Oh my god. <laughs> Was that, hold on, was that your donation? Or was that someone else? Um, but yeah. Let's see, do you need permission to stream the CD? Yes. Yes. Um, I would contact, uh, hold on. Wow! Wow! Welcome to mankind! Thank you for the support. Come on into the man cave. And there's, and there's and there's that sexy, that sexy man, sexy man sexy giving man. you five dollars. I know that sexy man. Thank you, that sexy man, for the five dollars. Uh, <laughs> read the message. Five dollars from that sexy man giving you five dollars. The message reads, for that sexy man on my screen. Thank you. The sexiness is enhanced by the sexy music. So good. I, I've talked about uh, Join Us. Hold on! Uh, talked about uh, Join Us so much on this broadcast. It really... The album grew on me. And it seriously... Seriously, I say this... Uh, not exaggerating in any way, but Join Us is my favorite album. 
Like, I still listen to Join Us every day. I sit down to listen to music, and I'm just like, I'll listen to Join Us. So that's why I am extremely excited for the new uh, material. Um, man versus game. Look at that. That's from Limatos. That's the band right there. In fact, uh, I do believe, I think, is that UJP right there in the middle? Hold on. They were kind enough to send me to join us on freaking vinyl. This is worth more than your life, okay? I will murder you. If you look at this, don't look at this. This is mine. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, you're on the right. Oh my god. I'm like, well, there he is right there. You're like, uh, that's actually not me. You know what? I'm glad because then I don't seem as much of a creeper as I am. But I'm just a super fan. You're on the right with the hat. Hold on, that's you with the hat? Hold on, it, with, with the hat right there? Anyway, uh, I love the symbol. I just, I don't want to sit here and just suck your dick <laughs> the whole time, but I, I know on, on like uh, uh, Twitter and stuff, I try, I try not to uh, be too talkative and stuff, but uh, every time I'm just like, you guys are amazing. Oh. See, this is earlier Lematos, which is very, uh... It's a lot more raw. It's a lot more, uh... Mm, you know, electro. It's very, uh... I definitely get a, uh... Um... See, I get a very, very like, uh, Daft Punk, uh... Influence. A little bit, a little bit. Um... But yeah, I love love join us like I love this great wonderful um, but this right here la mer de possibilities this track right here uh, I think just won uh, la matos uh, something like uh, they were voted uh, number one uh, song, I think of 2014 in Montreal. I feel like I'm flying on, uh, uh, Falcor. Never ending story. The Naughty the Channel. Naughty channel. You've come to the right, the right place. Welcome, Welcome to mankind. Welcome mankind. Thank you for the support. Join us, Join us. Join us. In, the in the man cave. cave. Won't you? 2013 and 14. Sorry. It's crazy. Listen to this shit. Real drums! Lematos has a live drummer. It's part of the band. And uh, the live show also includes a live drummer. I listened... I listened to this album so much. And I was so in love with it. Still am. But uh, I was convinced... Part of what I loved about it was that it was completely synth. Because you listen and it's... It's a ton of really awesome synths. And Sefero, uh, the head of Girlfriend Records, which is the record label that uh, this album is released on, uh, I was talking about it. I was, I was like, Sefero, I love all the stuff on Girlfriend Records, but this album, Join Us by Lamatos, is just like the tits. And, um, and he's like, yeah, he's like, isn't that a great album? Uh, he's like, did you notice like how many uh, like live drums, like actual, you know, like real drums they have on the album? I was like, what? I 
was like, no, they don't have live drums on the thing, it's all synths! Like, no, he's like, listen to it again. I'm really sorry for the frames dropping. I have like zero internet right now. Of course. Of course it would have to be right now. <laughs> the frames. Oh my god. Well, uh, I will just say... I know you're probably a busy man. And I, I have a video game to play. Uh, but, um, I, I will stop talking about you and your awesome freaking band. Um, uh, man, do you know the Sarkoolid shows right now are pirates? I know they're cheaters. Yes. Yeah, I just love that I can't even do a broadcast right now. It's like, oh, good, look. Uh, I'm just still shocked. Somebody came in. Oh, uh, JP. One moment. Louder, Louder six, pounder. six pounder. Welcome to Welcome mankind. To mankind. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. So very much so for, much the, for support. the support. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I am just I falling, am just over, falling myself. over myself. myself. Because I'm I'm so fanboying fan out. Fan yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Lamatos, they are also gamers. Um. So um. Somebody came in with somebody subscribed with the username L'Enfant Terrible, and I was like, Oh my God! I was like, L'Enfant Terrible, and I'm sorry about my accent. Um, I was like, I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, L'Enfant Terrible has subscribed. Welcome to Mankind. I was like, are you, are you, are you them? Are you that guy? And L'Enfant Terrible said, yes. I was like, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, <laughs> I am honored to have this guest here. And then, and they're like, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Anyway. I can't even... I'm, I'm just white girling right now. I can't even. I'm just gonna let this finish. Youth of yesterday, okay. Yeah, I know. I know now. Now I know. Um. All right. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, as always, uh, I will link to where that is available. Best ten bucks I ever spent. Oh. Uh. I usually don't, uh, let's see, this is just their band camp, um, be aware, uh, if you wish to purchase the, uh, Join Us album, uh, you actually have to go to the Girlfriend Records, uh, band camp page for it, there's a link right there, it says, uh, if you wish to purchase it, blah blah blah, hey, go there, uh, usually I just link directly to the Girlfriend Records uh, link, which I, you know what, just in case, because there's always somebody out there, like, why can't I buy it, I don't understand, um, so, there you go, um, anyway, I think, since you did, I, I'm just still learning all this stuff, but, um, I believe, and I'm sorry I keep saying this, but, L'Enfant Terrible, uh, is, like, a production company for you guys? Yeah, I'm dropping frames all over the place. This is actually the worst time for me to uh, broadcast. I shouldn't even be casting right now. So, yeah, I just know that 
I'm dropping frames because God hates me. That's why. So, all right. Anyway, now I know. Youth of yesterday. Oh my God! Please, that didn't work out so well. By the way, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, I'm playing Wings of V. This is a, a new, incredibly difficult 2D uh, platformer with some shooting elements. It's very difficult. I've been playing it for a good while now. It's made by the guy who made... Oh my god! Nope, that's a failure. I'll just get eaten by the spikes. Your film crew! Yes! See? I'm not crazy. Uh... <laughs> Yep. No. And, I'm and that's not even it. That's not even it! L'enfant. I really want to learn French. I do. I'm inspired to learn French so that I can go to Montreal, watch you guys live, get my mind blown from a live uh, Le Matos uh, concert. I was so sad! That I couldn't go, uh, I, I couldn't uh, uh, go to the concert uh, with uh, uh, you and college, because I also like college. The music producer, not actual college. I hated college. No, I like college. Anyway, but yes, the thing that's so cool about these guys, the more that I've learned about them, is um, they are equally in love with film uh, as they are music and that's why pretty much every track that they've released almost is a reference to a movie oh god just don't oh man almost made it alright Tomahawk nice Wait, why did you guys bring up Tomahawk? Because, yes, I love that song. God, hates a coward, Sonny. Got a date with your VCR. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hopefully I'm not dropping frames. Come on! Oh! Oh! We got a real chance here, guys. We got a real chance. Oh my god! It's close. But do you see what I have to do? I must touch the satchel four times. Four times. Then the gate will open. It's funny. It, it, I swear, I feel like I'm doing this broadcast on, yes, like a dial-up modem. Like, if somebody tried to make a phone call from my house right now, uh, my cast would go down. Uh, yeah. Turbo Kid. Turbo Kid. Why did I do that? Doesn't matter. Those sour Kool-Aid boys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is hilarious. Shout out to Sword Man. Oh. I should not be live right now. I should be hosting them. I should be hosting them do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you should go watch Sour Kool Aid Show. They they are they are just flat out better than me. They are outshining me. Oh man, and many 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 of the other uh, casters here on Twitch. Um, basically, I'm addicted to sitting here talking with you 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 beautiful people. I don't have much else going on in my life. Um, but yeah, someday, Montreal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see Limatos. Um, 
obviously you guys will hook me up with a backstage pass. <laughs> um, and then because I will have been studying my French, uh, we'll just chill backstage. You know, we'll just we'll just have an awesome conversation about art. Uh, uh, all in French. Pretty boy, Pretty boy Lee. Lee. Welcome to mankind. Pretty boy. Came to the right neighborhood. There you go. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for the, the support. Pretty boy Lee, good to have you here. <laughs> Deal. Uh, I will do it. I, it will happen someday. All right. Um, let's do it. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? Chip, chip. Nope, not that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Youth of yesterday, treat me, yes, to your finest poutine. I have only had poutine one time. And it was A&W poutine. And it was okay. It was kind of salty. Sorry. Amateur. Not professional. Okay. Pretty Boy Lee, you were the first person I ever followed on Twitch. You got me to stick around. Well, I'm doing something right. Thank you so very much, uh, again, uh, for the support. Um, <laughs> it's great to have you here. Pretty Boy Lee. Okay. Whoop. I don't know why it's making that so difficult. It should not be that difficult. What is poutine? Poutine, uh, well, if I may venture an answer as an American, from what I understand, poutine is French fries or potatoes with gravy on it and cheese curds. How'd I do? Oh, there you go. Poutine is a classic... Quebec meal. You know what's funny? It struck me as a um, poutine when I first saw it or heard of it. I thought that is that is a very American thing. You know, some French fries. You just put some gravy on that with some cheese curds. It's like why has I, I don't I don't know why it never caught on in America. All right, that's the simple answer. Yeah, you could probably okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds American to me. I really should not be behind this VPN here, but... Yep. And cheese curds are the important part. I didn't know. Anyway. Most people do not know what cheese curds are, sadly. They're like... Cheese... Turds... But curds. Oh my god! This is hard. It's very hard. Um, let's see. From my experience, Americans don't like gravy and fries. Let's see, but why? The, everybody, hey guys, hey guys! It's that awesome, that awesome guy, guy you know. You know. <laughs> Breaking, Breaking my sub alerts. Come on, Come man. On, man. Welcome, back Welcome back to mankind. To mankind. mankind. Thank you, Thank you for the, the boy, continued boy, support. Continued support, support, support. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Fixed it. Um. That awesome guy, you know. Welcome back. Let's go. I gotta stop messing around. I do way too much messing around. It's just I'm very distracted right now. There, there, there's a, there's a gentleman that who who's work I greatly admire. Greatly admire. True. Oh! Nope. Ah, oh, come on! Difficult. Uh... <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh... Squeaky cheese.
I am on the outside here. Can somebody explain squeaky cheese to me? I am still going. I'm all lat el malo. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. I'm all lat el malo. What planet are you from? Okay, those are also a thing, but gravy fries are popular here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Ship, ship. And you blew it. I just blew it. Squeaky clean cheese. Fresh cheese curds squeak when you bite into them. Wow, I feel like I have been living a lie my entire life. Cheese squeaks. I've been eating shitty cheese. My cheese, when I bite into it, it, it sounds like this. Kind of. Uh, I have never heard... So, squeaky cheese is like a thing... Like if I went to a restaurant, I'd be like, oh yes, and an order of squeaky cheese. you are like, what? It makes a squeaky sound. You just eat them by themselves. I was going to say, it's got to feel like biting into like a mouse or something. Okay. Come on. I think I'm making, I'm making this a lot more difficult than it actually is. Um... Do it. No! Fresh cheese is normal. Okay. Usually for me, cheese that squeaks is like melted cheese. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm already over the cheese discussion. I've already, I've already spent way more time talking about cheese than I ever uh, wanted to. <laughs> okay, here we go. Chop! Chop! Um, I cannot, right now I'm just thinking about Turbo Kid, and uh, I can't wait for all the uh, over-the-top violence, oh god, Ooh, I really, really need to get it together, um, Let's see. Ma Magis River Cross says, "Man, I'm from Wisconsin. Cheese talks don't ever stop. Really? Really? Is Wisconsin like that stereotypical? Like, are they just like dairy cows walking around everywhere, like sacred cows in India? It's like, don't touch that dairy cow. It's worth more than your life. Oh golly. Well, why would you do that?" Uh, time for me to build a shelf. Everyone enjoy daydreaming about poutine. We'll do inverse phase, ladies and gentlemen. Love that man. Uh, just look at his band camp. Um, here, hold on, hold on. Do uh, there it is. Boom. Inverse phase. Thank you so very much for hanging out, man. Uh, uh hope to see you around here a lot more. what to talk about now. All I really want to do is um, uh, just talk to JP about uh, join us. And uh, ah! I'd also love to hear the story of how um, how join us came to be released on the Girlfriend Records label. Did, did Sefero uh, did he seek you guys out? Or were you looking for a label? I don't even know. I, I don't know how that stuff works. Okay. <sighs> well, again, screwed it. Whew. 
Um, here we go. Am I still dropping frames? I think I'm good. I am going to venture raising my bit rate. Just a, just a bit. Kind of both. How is Sephiro? Is he uh, is he just a jerk? Is he is he just like he's just like Lamatos? Look, I need you. Finish the album, okay? We had a deadline. It was to be released on this day. I already have marketing <laughs> materials printed up. Uh, oh god, hold on. Because he does. Sephiro seems like a giant. Just, like, he'd be so difficult to work with. <laughs> if you've been here before, Sephiro, uh, Sephiro comes by the, ca uh, the, the cast, uh, every now and then. He is, on Twitch, he is GFR underscore Sephiro. Girlfriend Records, Sephiro. And, uh, yeah, he's just a really nice guy. And I'm so thankful that he got in touch with my friend Zeke and was like, hey, do you want some music to play on your cast? Here you go! And, um, that is how I found out about Lematos. Changed my life! Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 3,000. Skipping 2,000, going all the way to 3,000. Come on! Come on, you bastard! Okay, so the quality of the cast... No, oh, no, 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 we're dipping already. I'm sorry about the weight, guys. Um, I'm just... Trying to do what I can with the shitty internet that I have. There you go. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yes. Sephiro's a geek. I know! That's why, that's why, that's why Sephiro, that's why he hangs out at this website. We are geek strong. The geeks shall inherit the earth. It's already happened. Uh. What was I thinking? Pardon me while I just lower my bit rate back down to, uh. The ridiculous 1,000 kilobits per second. I, I, I'm just... It's just a bummer. It's bumming me out, man. Alright. Alright. Oh my god! Thank you for the host, Bananasaurus Rex! Hello, Bananasaurus Rex viewers. Let's see, why don't you and Zeke just move to Seattle already? <laughs> I have a very good reason why I have not moved to Seattle yet. Believe me, it will happen. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Um, I think somebody hosted me earlier. Oh, uh, Miss Cookies! Miss Cookies! Miss Cookies, thank you, uh, for your host as well. The hair, dude. Oh, here you go. Severe Serenity. How can you get permission to play music on a broadcast? Really... Just try to contact the uh, the artist. Um, in the case of well, like girlfriend records, uh, uh, you know, talk to Sephiro. Uh, Sephiro is he's all about it. But you still you still need to get the uh, the permission. You can't just say like, oh, he's cool. Well, then okay, that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost made a joke that I was going to move to Montreal. Um, I think... I don't know. The winter. See, I live in Montana. Which is very, very, very close to Canada. I don't know... I don't know if I could take the winters. The snowy snow winters. Um, oh, man. Chaotica. So you, you were like an extra viewer for me? Thank you. Uh, look for license. Look at that. Inverse phase. We'll tell you all about it. Oh, God. 
Come on! Oh! This game is hard. Bulletosaurus Rex! You heard I beat the twins? I did. Oh, by the way... Mm, I don't think Solgrin was here when I beat them. Um, <laughs> we have good internet. You also have good healthcare. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I could happily live in Montreal, absolutely. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm just I'm right here. I'm I'm locked right here for the foreseeable future. Um, what was I gonna ask? Play the game. Play the game. Um, keep getting distracted. Well, it's gone. Oh, oh, Banana Source Rex! I wanted to ask you, um, what are your, um, strategies or how uh how do you go about uh uh killing the the orc twins now that i've beaten them myself i'm curious because it definitely felt like there was a a hook or you know some kind of strategy that i was not picking up on either that or it was just just a bitch of a battle so that's that's what i really want to hear i want to hear you say like there's no trick it's just hard. You just gotta dodge all the bullshit and learn the patterns. Here we go. Would you please? Mmm. It's hard. Yeah, the internet here. Like, I can't even tell if I'm online here. Uh, let's see here. How did you even beat them? Uh, let's see, what you were doing was pretty much it, except I have consistent ways of killing the dogs. Well, and that was the thing that I kept forgetting. Like, I, um, after a while, once I would, you know, focus, um, I had, yeah. Because that's, you absolutely have to. You have to consistently get those dogs out of there, because they're so freaking, uh, random. Uh, let's see here. Uh, except I have consistent ways of killing the dogs. memorized. Well, of course, because you're, you're banana, so it's right. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, well, that's, okay, I'm happy. Uh, yep, the dogs, and then it's just, yeah, knowing the patterns, and, uh, I got it. Would you please? <laughs> Man, this is just a bunch of ballyhoo. It's a cavern demon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um... Please... Madam! Sometimes my brain doesn't even work. Okay. Uh, what's going on? The post-traumatic <laughs> stress disorder. Well, this is just... Oh, boy. Yeah, this game. It's like, how much longer am I going to be casting it? <sighs> like, uh, you don't want to know, actually, man. Mm -hmm. There's one little tip there that I think I could try and just touch the tip. Tippity tip tip. Mm -hmm. No, no, you touched way too much. So how's everyone doing? This is just so odd. Oh! This is just such a, uh, you know, long-winded, late in the, you know, in this, this broadcast, because I've been going for a very long time. So it's like, I'm looking haggard. I don't really have much to talk about. I'm dying over and over on the same game. I just keep thinking of the first impressions. Still very happy. I can't. I. Uh, I'm shocked that uh, you dropped in. Youth of yesterday. Okay. 
Well, it's definitely... Oh, man. It's definitely uh, uh, guaranteed that I am not going to beat this game before I leave for PAX South. Mm, let's see here. Crazy Chris, hello. Oh, hello. Ow. Do it. Would you get your shit together, please, lady? Lady. I want to see the next level. You, know, you and me both. You have no idea. This game. This game was made by a sadist. He likes. He likes. He, li he like his uh, the the guy who made this game. His gift to the world is pain. And suffering. Uh, get, making progress in this game is like... You make tiny little bits of progress. Like, getting to the next screen is like... Oh, good, I did it. For me, anyway. Don't ask Banana Source Rex. He'll be like, uh, actually... Uh, once you get the patterns memorized, and uh, you get yourself a custom-made controller... Uh, <laughs> it's actually not that bad at all. Um, let's get a link up. Man, tell me your impressions of first meet with Scarecrow from Batman Arkham Asylum. Loved it. Loved it. Blew my mind. Blew my mind, balls. Mm! <sighs> you gotta get back up on the thing. Um, people have been telling me about your B-Rex impression. Did I do, did I do a uh, Banana Source Rex impression? I don't think it was. Well... All I was thinking of was, uh... No, yeah, what I was doing was, um... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening, guys. Uh, normally, you know, I just, I start a game and, uh, you know, I get a good run going and then, you know, I get a, a decent time and then I just move on to something else, but, uh... uh this, this never happens. Uh, this, this, I, I don't know what's happening, guys. I, this is crazy. Uh, I don't know why I cannot get a run going today. That's basically all I heard. Uh... During the, uh... The... <laughs> the Banana Swords Rex broadcast. I heard. Hit and we're dead. And you're dead. Oh, come on! All right, I'm gonna try. Uh, whoops. Oh man, I feel so inadequate right now too because my my audio setup is yeah not very good. And one of the guys who just scored. Uh, a feature-length film and also released one of the best-sounding fucking albums I've ever heard Just sitting here thinking he really needs to turn down the gain turn up the main monitor or whatever the hell I'm just like okay um the problem is it never happens another one of my favorite Banasaurus Rex quotes oh just chop my dick off Jeez, that escalated quickly. Oh, oh, do you have an idea that if I could possibly just make it back and forth, that could be a thing, but probably not. Would you please? So difficult. Yeah, I have to hit this thing. Uh, yeah, basically this, this pulsating thing that's sending out globules to the thing. I have no idea what it is. Four times! I have to hit that thing four times! And then wait for the gate to open! All while trying to... Uh, you know... Hold on to the... Okay. So that kind of showed me that I don't think I can just stand on the very, uh... You know, edge... Piece. Yeah, you'll notice it kind of count down. Four, three, two, one. Just, why is it so, like, particular? It's like, can I just stay on it and then it'll, uh, you know, disappear? Excuse me. Seeing all that up there seems very interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, what about that? What if? Nope. There's no enemies, you idiot. Uh, 
No! Why do I do that? Why do I keep doing that? I keep doing the same thing. Alright. <clears throat> Please. Please! So, I mean, how's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? <laughs> I have nothing. Nothing right now. Mm. This is pretty much par for the course around here. Okay. I'm gonna try... <laughs> Julie's new word was splooge. Thank you for reminding me. Splooged all over. Don't you do it? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Just give me close again. Just give me close. Okay, you just found out that DC Comics has a multiversity. Oh, yeah. 50 Earths. Oh, yeah. They have their crisis on infinite Earths and all that shit going on. Which, again, I just I feel it cheapens uh, the impact of stories and stuff. To think that, like, well, you know, there's Batman, and then there's, like, 50 other Batmans. It's like, no. You want just the one Batman. Make the jump! I can jump, uh, I can jump twice, and then I have, like, a flutter ability, so, like, I can jump twice in the air, I also have a flutter kind of thing. Thank you, Scary Beauty. I also, uh, applaud your ability to not go completely, uh, in s Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, um, we'll dig there at Gary Busey, for no reason whatsoever, because... Comedy! Oh shit! I do, I do enjoy corrupting poor Julia. Hey man, have you ever read the Chronicles of Wormwood comic series? I have not. And King Crew, I am past the orcs, so that's why right now it's like I could make no more progress today and be totally happy. Okay, um, it's pretty amazing. Oh, you're playing this game? Yes, yes. I don't... I, you know, I need to do some science. I need to get some science going on here. Uh, do I have any coffee? I don't. I haven't taken break break for a very long time. Okay. Uh, I did beat the snoo snoo. I surpassed the snoo snoo. Death by snoo snoo. Come on, you know what? Just slide it back. That, this is horrible. This is atrocious. Okay. Mm, nope, too early. Oh, it's so there. I think that's. I. I think that's. Well, I think it's possible. I'm gonna say it's possible. It's probably like a pixel perfect kind of thing, but oh well. <laughs> Oh man. Uh I don't know whether to call you JP or Youth of Yesterday. Youth of Yesterday, um lately I've been on a Robocop kick. I'm getting ready for uh Turbo Kid. With the uh the good old eighties over the top violence of Paul Verhoeven. Who, who, I, I know I mispronounced his name. I was told very explicitly, stop mispronouncing Paul Verhoeven's name. I'm sorry. Come on, I... Oh. Just, just, just get, the, get the bones out of there. So the man celebrate when he bet it between orcs. Um, you bet I did. You bet your sweet ass I did. And I did it again. C 
See, even this here. Even this scenario right here. I don't like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's a huge sub wave and uh, with donations. It was uh, insane. Nuke! I just watched RoboCop 2 last night. And um, I remembered uh, 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 the screenplay was written by Frank Miller. Awesome comic book uh, writer. Um, oh god, what are some of the lines now? Ro I, I've been quoting RoboCop like uh, the last couple of days. The sequel's great. I started... I tried to watch RoboCop 3. I couldn't even... I couldn't even. It was not good. Also, Peter Weller didn't return for RoboCop. Stay out of trouble. Um, really? Well, I, I know there have been bigger subchains than mine, because uh, I usually kill any kind of, you know, sub or donation momentum that happens here, because... I start getting too paranoid about uh, the content being just the act of watching people shower me with money, and I get very uh, uh, <laughs> tense. Um, is RoboCop the one with the Yakuza? Or RoboCop 3? I don't know. It was just boring. I couldn't believe how slow it started out. It was like half an hour into the movie, and like... You haven't even seen RoboCop yet. That's why the sequel, RoboCop 2, it was just so good. They just, bam, they introduce him right away because you already know the story of RoboCop. Um, yeah, the nuke. I love the fake drug nuke. Nuke. Uh, oh, and the, the villain Kane. That was always great. Did you like the remake? Hold on. Really quick. You th uh, 3 is the one with the Yakuza. Okay. I'll have to try and watch 3 again. Uh, it was difficult because it wasn't the same RoboCop. Um, hold on. Let me thank this person. Kazgrax. Kazgrax. Thank you for the donation. It says, <laughs> Yes! <laughs> The message uh, simply says, I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> oh my god. Um, fucking A. I would buy that for a dollar. And you know what? To answer your question, Youth of Yesterday, the remake, it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. But to me, the remake, it just, it paled in comparison to the original in, like, every way. Like, the original was just better in, like, every way. And so, for me, for somebody, like, if somebody hadn't seen any RoboCop movies, I would just absolutely recommend the original, because the remake was just, frankly, it felt kind of, uh, ballless. Uh, especially with uh, the, what was it, like PG-13? You don't give RoboCop, like, PG-13? That is a R rating. That's a hard R rating. I don't know how they do ratings in Canada, but... Um, yeah, it was sanitized. Yep. Let me, hold on. I need to use my translation uh, uh, software. Oh, man. Man, people complain about English having difficult tra uh, um, uh, pronunciations. Hold on. So, I don't know. I just felt like there was no reason for that remake. Because all they did is they just cut out everything that made RoboCop great and just put it out there. Uh, and I, I kept asking myself, why is Samuel L. Jackson in this movie? Hang on. Pardon? <laughs> I get it. 
It's French for, I'll buy that for a dollar. All right. It was fun. That's it. There, I mean, there's one scene that I remember, and uh, so there, there was one scene that they that I feel was powerful, um, which was, of course, the uh, the scene where they reveal to RoboCop just how little of his original body was left. And they just kind of like pull him apart, and basically he's just like a head with lungs. You're like, damn. That was, that got to me. Like, that, that, um, I felt like that was a cool, you know, thing. But, otherwise, I, I just love Paul Verhoeven's, his science fiction movies. Because, the over, you know, the, the, the violence. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's just badass. And also, he, ha he does, uh, satire so well. With all the, uh, fake commercials. The 6000 SUX. Because bigger is better. I love how everybody's driving around in their uh, 6000 sucks cars. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's let's freaking do this. Um, Samuel Jackson. I, I I agree. It was like what? Yeah, I don't know the original. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I'm biased. The original to me. Uh, why? Well, excuse me while I just throw this down the toilet. Okay, let's see if I can just do that again. No big deal. Would you... See, there's so many classic lines from the original, too. Because right now, here's what I wanted to say. Bitches, leave. Well... You just fucked with the wrong guy. Bunch, hello. How are we on this fine day? I, exactly as I was the last time you were here. What? Uh, let's see. Have you seen Prayers for the Roller Boys? That was a good weird drug future film, like the nuke thing. I have not even heard of prayers for the Roller Boys. I popping open a window with that right there. Uh, Roller Boys. <laughs> um. Uh, what was the car security system in RoboCop? Uh, that is, yeah, I think that was the beginning of, um... I think that was the beginning of RoboCop 2. But yeah, it was like, lethal security, something like that. I know! I don't know what to say! I don't know what to say! <laughs> what?! <laughs> I love it! You're that guy! You're that guy! Go ahead, name another movie! And I'll tell you, I haven't uh, seen it or heard of it. You're like, what? I will blow your mind uh, when you find out uh, how many movie movies I have not seen. Okay. Um. All right. Sundance Festival. That's got to be exciting. I w is it in Utah? Is that where Sundance happens? I had no idea. It's apparently, it's, uh, it happens in Utah? Or did I just get bad, you know, the wrong information? I don't even know. Why would you do that? I need to save that flutter so I can get back there. Being a dummy. Yeah. Oh, X10 Dead TV! You are the guy. You are the guy who hooked up the Tommy Wiseau. Oh, um, I think youth of yesterday will appreciate this. Um, you know what? Uh, you're lucky you can watch for the first time. I will have to check it out then. Because people only say that when they cherish 
uh, something. Um, I actually do need a break. I need more coffee. Um, let me let, let me give a let me give this a few more good goes, a few more tries here, uh, and then I might take a, a quick break. Let's see, Park City, uh, near South Lake City, uh, or uh, Salt Lake City. Um, I can't go. I can't go. I would. I would absolutely love to go. Are you kidding me? Just, I'd love to just go to Sundance uh, Festival anyway. But uh, yeah, to watch uh, the premiere of Double Kid. I am the Turbo Kid. Um, yeah, Rise of Turbo Kid. I played on this broadcast so many times. I love that remix. I love. Uh, it's kind of like a reworked version of, uh... I'm sorry about my horrible French pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce 58 minutes! So I... To me, track number four is titled 58 Minutes Pour Vivre. <laughs> what is going on? Ban Shadow. Shadow, what are you doing? What are you doing? Salt Lake City, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Um. Okay. Uh. As long as you have seen Jurassic Park, seen it. I lived it. All right, let's go. RoboCop Two. Part man, part machine, all cop. Am I excited for Arkham Knight? I got a big fucking boner for Arkham Knight. Absolutely. Come on now. Flutter. That's it right there. You're fluttering too soon. Yes. Silly son of a bitch. Man, he has never seen any Star Wars movies. Liar. Get out. Now. And go watch the original Star Wars trilogy. Do not watch the prequels. If you must watch the prequels. Watch them later. Long after you've watched the original trilogy. <laughs> because the prequels will all they will do is just destroy everything you loved about the original uh, trilogy. Anyway, um I'm just kidding. There's so many everybody here's the thing. Everybody has classic, you know, highly regarded classics. That, um, you know, when people find out, it's like, what? You haven't played through Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fucking prequels. My God, George Lucas. Why? See, and that's the thing. I swear, the prequels, like, in so many ways, I'm hyped. I'm, you know, for the new Star Wars movies, uh, uh, or this new Star Wars movie, Episode 7. New Star Wars movie, that's cool. Also, new Star Wars movie that does not involve George Lucas in any way. Very cool. Um, there's just a part of me that, um, ever since I, you know, was burned by the prequels, for me, it's like, Star Wars now, I've just pared back all the Star Wars shit, and the, the, the only Star Wars things that I really still kind of cherish and, and truly love are, of course, the original uh, trilogy. Mm, so I'm kind of apprehensive, of, you know, about the, the new Star Wars. I think it's, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. I mean, the prequels, George unfortunately set the bar so low that basically as long as they don't have Jar Jar Binks in it everybody's gonna love it <laughs> no I don't know uh, oh you just read the new comic by Marvel um, wait a minute I've heard it, people have been talking about um, is it Secret Wars because um, um, I uh, yeah apparently Marvel is they're getting ready to, like, combine the Ultimate Universe with the Marvel Universe now. They're just gonna... 
the analogy they used. Imagine you've got two pizzas, and we're just gonna cross the pizzas. Like, okay, great analogy. Imagine the universe is a pizza. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I've been playing this game all day, mostly the, the same boss, and now I've got one of the members of Le Matos in here. By the way, did you know excessive profanity? Have, how long have you been uh, watching? I just got—I want to let everybody remind everybody. Uh, youth of yesterday is uh, JP of the goddamn French Canadian uh, electronic supergroup. Le Matos. Kind of a big deal around here. Um, so yes, Youth of Yesterday is one of the members of Le Matos. So, just in case you weren't aware. Okay. So yes, ask him all kinds of questions. Uh, if the universe were a pizza, would you eat it? Okay. Um, I was very excited. Youth of yesterday subscribed. I even <laughs> I felt like such. Um, I don't know, because I, I have such utmost you know so much respect for you guys and what what you do. Um, and so like through some of the uh, Twitter messages we were sending, I was like, hey. Uh, I know you guys are really busy, you know, working on the freaking score and the soundtrack to Turbo Kid and all that. But if if you have some time, uh, and you drop by Twitch, uh, you, it's like, uh, what I can do? Just let me know your username. I can mod you. Okay, I use a sub only chat. Uh, really, you need to subscribe to to get in. Uh, um, I'll let you in. No charge. It's on the house. You know what? Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, I think JP responded. He's like, "Cool." <laughs> and he was like, "Uh huh. Awesome." <laughs> oh my god. Um. But um. Yeah. Um. Uh, so. Anyway. Just so. Awesome! So cool that you're here, man. Cause I just assumed you would never stop by. Cause you're just like, oh yeah, no, I'm busy. I'm busy making like, like fucking soul, uh, the uh, moving music, I guess. Uh, the VIP. That's right. Hey. JP, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll take care of you. <laughs> Seriously, though, just putting it out there. If you ever need anything from me, I am there. Alright, have you ever seen Last Dragon? Um... No. I know I should. Zeke quotes it all the time. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm gonna succeed right now. Oh, I can't wait to succeed! God damn it. General, General Merck, Merck. I, presume. I, presume. I, presume. I presume. Evening, General. Evening, General. Evening, General. Welcome, Evening, General. Welcome, welcome, welcome to mankind. To mankind. 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 Use, use, use this great, this power, great power, power that you now possess, you now possess. Now possess. Wisely. 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 Join us. Join us. Join us. In the man cave. Man cave. Man cave. By the way. I've been saying that long before I ever knew about Join Us. You the yesterday, goddamn! I know he's like, would you play the game, please? Here we go. Here's the win right here. Dedicated to my man, Youth of Yesterday. Don't fuck this up, man. <laughs> oh my! I'm gonna fuck it up. It's really disappointing knowing that I'm going to fuck it up already. Here we go. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. We've got a good thing going here. So let's do it.
for youth yesterday. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. I like that. Here, here go. Whoop, shoot, drop, plop. Mm, you did it wrong. You did it wrong. You dumb son of a. What is going on with the hair there? Orlando Bloom singing, taking the hobbits to Isengard, while watching himself saying it. Uh, the movie's awesome. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. Okay. Almost. <laughs> yes. Uh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, you got it. You got the touch. You got the power. You got the touch. You got the power. It's a pretty good singing voice. All right. Uh, I mean, if I do say so myself, and I do. Well, uh, come on. Would you please? Oh, 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 oh. I think I have to do the flutter last. So it would be like, jumper, jumper, flutter. There you go. Fuck you! Oh! We're getting there. We're very close. We got a plan, though. Man, your hair's messed up real bad. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. Uh, Miss Kiatika, I love the shit you say. Like, groovy. You dumb son of a bitch. No! <laughs> I can't even, like, act this way. No! Okay, let's go. That was it. That was a test. Run! You... <laughs> Come on, do it. Do it! Yeah, okay, okay. Now we got something. I did beat the Twin Works. Thank you. Yes. Everyone, if you're coming in here just now, you should all be aware, I have been spending the last few days fighting one boss. That's the kind of game I'm playing. Here we go. No, you dumb. Here's the busy hello. Yep, now I have to beat the the quad scrotum. It's a difficult boss, very difficult boss in the game. The uh, the infamous quad. Testy scrotum, satchel, hammer, hammer, newt sack. You get it. Balls. All right, here we go. Keep it classy, <laughs> like I never do. Um. Mm. Mm, see, I'm hoping I I want to get that extra, you know, little punch. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, my God. Would you? I had another flutter. Okay. And if you're worried about me, like, oh, poor man. He just looks so disappointed. Like, it's fine. I'm used to it by now with this game. Like that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump, jump, flutter to Valhalla. Here we go. Oh, oh, and the flutter. Oh. There's a step I'm missing here somewhere. Um. <laughs> Look like cousin it. Well, at least it, uh, you, you didn't use the standard line that my dad used to always say, like, can't tell if you're a guy or a girl! Okay, um... Let's go. Stop. Stop messing around. Fucking... Like, a third of Limatos is here. And he wants to see the next screen! Show him the next screen, man! Dear God! Feel like uh, <laughs> uh, 
I don't even know what to say. Yes, yes, oh my god. <laughs> like, why couldn't I have been playing an easier game? Look at that! Bullshit. Dylan! What's this tie business? Get to push it too many pencils. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Just touch the testes. Get back. See, man. Oh boy. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the flutter. Oh! Mother of God! Oh! Yeah! Boom! 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 Let's not celebrate just now. Hold on. I see two S capable. Uh, that's Spanish. Right, let's go. Oh, and there's the save. Whoa! Play back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nailed it. You see, youth of yesterday, that's how we do shit around here. <laughs> Usually takes a few hours. It's fine. It's fine. All right. I need to take a quick break. And um, uh, youth of yesterday, I don't know how much time you have. I, I just... Uh, I just always assume that you're very, very busy. Um, so I might, I might roll something before the break. Um, but, uh, let's see here. Hmm, what, what music should I play during the break? I've got it! Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, it's gonna have a new spin on an old thing. Uh, here we go, how about... Oh my god, that's right, um... Oh... Hello, Kittle. It's my cat, Martin. Hi, baby. Want some food? He wants some food. I'm gonna give this cat some food. I'm gonna get myself some caffeine. Some uh, coffee. Hi, baby. You wanna make out live on the broadcast? Say it in French. God damn it. You guys told me once. Uh, you told me once what 58 minutes is in, uh, in French. Or 58. Cat, you got a big old butt. You got a big old butt. We're just gonna make out. I hope you guys don't mind. My cat and I, we're just gonna break her out. So. It, this is the most awkward makeout session ever. Oh, baby. <laughs> Um, le tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the salsa. Hi, baby. Anyway, I am going to take a break, feed this guy, water him, let him go outside, air his butt. Um, I'm going to keep going. I mean, why stop now? We're making such good pro uh, progress. Was that Bruce Willie? So, the song. This is a track called Rise of Turbo Kid. And, uh. Oh, baby. Uh, this is actually a reworked, uh. version of this track. Uh. 58 minutes. Paul Vivre. by Lamatos. Um, anyway, enjoy the music. I will link to where uh, this music is available for purchase. Buy all their shit, if this moves you at all. And if it doesn't, get out! 
now. No. Um, all right. Sorry, I have a little tender kitty cat here. He's very fragile. Hell. I will be back. Give me like three to five minutes. Um. I'm gonna pause it really quick because I just want I just want to show this to uh, youth of yesterday. Oh, I think I tweet minutes per vive. I can't pronounce a single French word. I'm going to work on it. Anyway, um, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, I will keep the music going, but uh, uh, y'all got to hear this, and uh, I will be right back. Hey, this is Tommy Wazaw, and you're watching Men vs. Games. What about that? Be cool. Yeah, watch it. Maybe you learn something. Peace.
every damn time. Yes, youth of yesterday, I was just going to ask you. Hold on, let me bring my haggard face back up. Hi. Welcome back to Man vs. Game. Thank you so very much uh, for your patience. Thanks for uh, waiting. <clears throat> the broadcast is what it is right now. It's been going on for 18 hours. I have no idea. That track just now was titled Montrose. Uh, I believe it was track. Uh, I don't know. It's from Join Us, um, which uh, same album that this track is from. Uh, let me link that album one more time. If you're not picking up on it, uh, I'm pretty... I want to say not infatuated, because I don't think it's uh, infatuated to me. Uh, you know, it, it implies that it's it's a, it's a short-lived kind of like you know fling. But uh, oh my god! This track is called "Light Again." Uh, it is a collaboration between Lamatos and uh, Electric Youth, and uh, it's glorious. She sounds, her voice fits so well because she sounds like, well, she reminds me so much of uh, like 80s Madonna. Anyway, anyway, I could sit here and just listen to join us from start to finish, again, with you guys, the whole time, just talking about how great it is, but, uh, you know what, I have video games to play, uh, so, let me link the damn article, I just said the article, um, let me link the album on Bandcamp, such a great song. This is the this is the only track on the album uh, with lyrics <clears throat> that features a singer. Beautiful. And uh, hold on, there it is, right here. <laughs> so, I and this is how it happens. In case you're wondering, um, youth of yesterday, in case you're wondering how I managed to, like, help sell, you know, so many, however many copies of your album are being sold, uh, this is all I do. I just play the music on the, on the, uh, yep, this is light again. Um, I just play the music and then, uh, link to where it can be purchased. That's all I'm doing. College and Electric Youth, yes! Uh, that track from uh, Drive. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Youth of Yesterday, I'm sorry, we have to just... We gotta just mute you, uh, your, your beautiful music. Mute and mute and zero. 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 zero! The Alpha! The alpha. The alpha. And the Omega. And the Omega. Welcome, Welcome to Mankind! To mankind. <laughs> Mutant Zero! zero. 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 And thank you for your support. You for your support. Come on into Come the, man, on in cave. the man, cave. man cave! I'm just fanboying. At the moment. Cause... One of my faves. One of my current favorite uh, artist is just hanging out, just chillaxing in the man cave. I was going to mention, um, I don't normally do a lot of like Skype calls or you know like you know like bringing you on to, to talk. So um, you know, I hope you're not offended that I'm not asking you on. Um, you know, uh, I'd love to at some time. Uh, you know. Uh, we could like schedule something, you know, and, and we could, uh, you know, do like a co-op 
play through or something. I don't know. Just put it out there. <laughs> um, so yeah. Basically what I'm saying is, sorry if you feel like I'm just, you know, not not bringing you up onto the, uh, the broadcast. I normally don't really do much of it. But, without further ado, let's get to uh, uh, some freaking video game playing. You just got join us. See? It's just that simple. JP, that's all, that's all it is. Just bam. And uh, that would be cool. I would love it. Um, <laughs> I love what I... Uh, uh, oh, what was it? Shit, never mind. Um, yeah, so many people. It's so funny, and yet kind of sad, but not really sad, but, um, I have so many people who tweet me on Twitter, say like, man, thank you so much for introducing me to Lematos. I've been listening to nothing but Lematos. They're so great. They are awesome, blah, 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 and they never link you. They never link the band, and so I'm always like, oh, so thank you for telling me, but you should also follow Lematos. In fact, you know what? Check this out. Ultimate pimpage right now. Uh, Twitter.com slash. Uh, I think it's, uh, here we go. Lematos. Yeah, is that, is that, is that y'all? Yep. They're on Twitter. You can follow them and tell them directly how much you like their music. Uh, there's also a video that they just recently tweeted out that gives a sneak preview of two tracks uh, to the upcoming Turbo Kid soundtrack that they did. And uh, there you go. All right. <laughs> that link, though. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I know, I really, I am just gushing. I gotta just, you know what, just ignore him. Just ignore youth uh, of yesterday. He's, he's nobody, doesn't matter. He's, you know what, he's just another viewer. He means nothing to me, nothing. Oh god, I love it when he gives me these previews. The Eye of Sauron. He's just gonna take me on a little tour here, like, so, uh, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Look at this bullshit. Nice. Play the new tracks. Well, it's um, it's actually it's a uh, it's like an interview with the three directors, which is interesting. Um, it's an interview with the three directors of Turbo Kid, which is going to be uh, featured at the Sundance Film Festival coming up this week, uh, this weekend or something like that. Anyway, um, but. There are a, a couple tracks that are playing in the background. And so, I will honestly tell you, you know, as I was watching the video, I was like, you know, I, it's really interesting hearing about why you wanted to make Turbo Kid and how you guys met your producers and everything, but I just want to hear the music! <laughs> also, and as I was listening to it, oh, next week, okay. As I was listening to it, um, you know, I was like, by the way, and I love, I love how down tempo they are. Very relaxed. Um, you know, the, the the second track obviously has a more ominous tone to it, but the the clean, glorious synths. Oh my god! Like I tweeted to you, I was like, I love the 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 chill, uh, sort of like down tempo sound of the, the the two new tracks. Can't wait to hear those action scenes. <laughs> Just amazing. All right, let's go. Stop, stop, stop fucking around. I honestly, looking at this, I have no idea what the fuck I am like supposed to do. Oh, I like that. I like that right there. Man, this is bullshit. Hup! Yeah, I got a flutter. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's see. You did watch the vod. It was awesome. Let's go. Get. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't want to watch that. Destroy this mother father. Uh, okay. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I, I, I'm a slow learner. Slow on the uptake. Windows 8? I am not liking Windows 8 much at all. Here we go. Why, hey, ho, ha, ho! Okay, I guess you got sucked right into a black hole. hell is going on? This is really weird. Ah, there it is. I, I, I just want to kill this thing. I don't even know why. Thank you. Windows 7 is still the best. I, my PC right now that this broadcast is coming to you live through is running on Windows 7. There are so many movies I need to watch. Um, so many of the movies that the tracks in Join Us reference. Because you asked earlier, does anybody know uh, what Montrose uh, is referencing? And I kind of cheated. I cheated. Well, I, well, I cheated big time. But, uh, but uh, I need to watch those movies. Some of them, watch them again. Other ones for the first time. And I'm not about to tell you which ones. Because if I told you which movies I need to watch, Youth, youth of Yesterday would just be like, WHAT?! He's like, You're no fan of mine?! Oh, God. <clears throat> uh, Windows 8. The, the, for me, it's just a clunky, uh, poorly executed mashing together of, you know, you had the, the desktop, the operating system here, that's fine. That's wonderful. Then they had Metro. Something that was really only for people with touch screens. They just fucking like basically just like they just like mashed it together. Like one on top of the other one. Hate it. It's clunky and shitty and and I know every time I bitch about it, somebody's like, uh, actually, you know man, you can download a third party thing to blah 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 and I'm just like, whatever. I don't care. See, there's Robocrump. There's nothing wrong with Windows 8. Yes, there is. It is bad design. It's, it reeks of bad design. To me. Oh, God. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, progress. A little bit of progress. Best dogs on Twitch. Windows 8 is cool with you. Get out! You know what? That's just going to become a theme around here lately. Get out! <laughs> uh, why is there a jelly guy up there? I don't... Okay. She veils. She veils. I'm trying. To, I'm trying. To, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fucking with this. All cast long. Um. <laughs> best dogs on Twitch. Did you just sub today? You are awesome. God, I am so slow with the games. I. It's. It, I. I. I'm. I'm my mind is preoccupied with other things. As always. It's like, when are, when are you not, you idiot? Oh, I, I, I love all the spikes. It's like, you don't just die to the spikes. They eat you! Alright. Being a Microsoft partner, I have to sell Windows 8, but I personally like Windows 7. We play games, TV. Your secret is safe with us. You're like the Pepsi, uh employee that's like sneaking a coke all right <laughs> cunning linguistics hello one of the things here here and this is the thing I'm judging Windows 8 oh my god obsolete one three seven why would you why do, would that? do that, 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 that. dropping a twenty dollar bill, bill. bill. On my, on my ass. Thank you. Thank you. It says, obsolete one three seven. Says, if you are here on Friday, I'll give you more monies. If not, I'll give you some next week. Have fun at Pack South. P.S. I have tacos. Enjoy. Enjoy le tacos. Um. Thank you so very much for. The support. I am going to be in Texas. Uh, I'm going to be at Pack South this weekend. 
Um, so, yes! Yes, yes! Okay. Here we go. You prefer Pepsi as well. Uh, I, I like Pepsi myself. It is the choice of a new generation. Why is that? I don't understand why that thing is up there. It's making me ill. It's making me feel ill. There's a ledge. No, that's background. Shit. Alright. I gotta hurry up. You man, this is tight. Uh, it's gonna be a tight fit. I know something that you don't know. It's gonna be very difficult for you to understand it. Pepsi drinker? We can't be friends anymore. Get out! I, I don't even mess around with soda pop, okay? I drink coffee from dusk till dawn. Uh, Coke for life! Whoa! Ho -ho! Uh, I might, I might be having a change of heart about, uh, you know, my musical tastes right now. I don't know why. I don't know if I can like. A musician who swills down coke. The absolute truth is, I drink coffee. I don't mess around with pop, the soda pop. I drink coffee. You know what? In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Let's go. Okay. Whoop. This is impossible! Pepsi versus Coke. Come on, Pepsi! Come on, I thought you did yesterday. I thought you were all about the 80s. Michael Jackson? Choice of a new generation? Come on! No, I honestly don't care. <laughs> mm, Alright, get your skinny, narrow ass over there. Oh, well, that's not. Oh, I have to kill them all. I get it. I just got it. I have to kill the little blobby dudes. The floating gumdrop alien things. Start a straw pole. No. <laughs> Kelly go has it. Pepsi is trash. Oh my god. Yeah, people are gonna get like uh He lost his hair for Pepsi! Yes he did! And you don't even care! And you still won't drink it. Uh, we're talking about the incident with Michael Jackson where his hair caught on fire! Shooting a Pepsi commercial. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do Michael Jackson. Mostly because my voice is... fleeting. <laughs> uh, well, that's a, that's a bummer, man. Alright. Crystal Pepsi! Bring back the Crystal Pepsi. Um, yeah. When I was younger, like in high school, I just drank stupid amounts of uh, Dr. Pepper and all kinds of shit. Soda pop. But, um, really now, the, mostly the, the only time I, I, I drink pop is uh, uh, when I'm getting fast food. <laughs> My god, I didn't realize the Pepsi Coke thing was still going. I thought it was like a joke. It's a joke, guys. Settle down. It's like we were talking about like like international, you know, uh, uh, politics and economics. Uh, somebody tried to get us into religion and stuff like that. It's like we handled that fine. It's like you mentioned Pepsi versus Coke. It's like, I will murder you if you say one bad thing about Pepsi. Sorry about the feedback. Okay. This feels like a. Uh, let's see here. One of the. Uh, we don't joke about coke. Yep. Oh man, this is gonna take some doing. Don't you want a Fanta? Oh god. Nope. Nope, not at all. In fact, uh, fruit flavored 
anything. A lot of fruit flavored stuff. I don't like it. Could you stop? Will you please go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? Youth of yesterday, have you seen Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? I have this strange feeling that you have. I love that movie. Will you go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? Cut him, cut him down. Oh man, this is gonna be, yep, gonna take some time. It's gonna take patience and time. Whoa! Sea Wings! Still there! You broke it! Broke it! Me and my janky setup. I used to be. I used to set the standard for professional broadcasts here. Now look at me. Now look at me. Every time I have to reset that thing, it's like the fist is like, yeah, we're still working. Um, <clears throat> alright, let's go. Oh, oh uh, the, the donation! Seawix, thank you! Uh, yes! Okay, Seawix, man, you're still streaming. Shit. I'm drunk and all alone in my apartment still. I was just gonna ask, how's it going in the, in the new place? The message continues. You and mankind uh, are what keeps me going. Here's to another work day. Seawix, fight on, brother. Stay strong. Keep on keeping on. And all that. It's hard for me to sit here and be like, yeah. Do it. Thank you very much. What? Youth of yesterday, you haven't seen Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? Oh my god! Get out! I thought you were a true artist. Wow. Wow, I'm disappointed. <laughs> um, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. Fucking great. Uh, Kevin Spacey's in it. Al Pacino. Uh, Jack Lemmon. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Oh my god. Alec Baldwin's monologue in it. Forget about it. Anyway, you should watch it because I quote it here all the time, just so you'll know. Anyway, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, there's so many great actors in it, and uh, it's one of the lesser-known movies. I have, I gas, have and gas, and it keeps, and it keeps escaping. 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 Is the name, is of, the the name person of the person who just, who just resubscribed. resubscribed. Welcome, back Welcome back to Mankind. To mankind. mankind. I... I... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did I miss Zamando? Zamando? Zamando! Welcome to Mankind! Did I miss... Did I miss... Did I miss... One. One. Anyway. Welcome back. I got... I got gas and it keeps escaping. Good to see you again. How you doing? Are you still suffering from the gas? All right. Uh, yeah, that name. Yeah. So good. The dialogue in the movie so good. It's uh, kind of a. It, it on paper, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross sounds really boring because it's it's basically just a, uh, about a bunch of uh, real estate salesmen, but the dialogue and the uh, uh, performances from Kevin Spacey, Alec Baldwin, Jack Lemmon. So many. There are so many fucking amazing actors in the movie. It's crazy that. Uh, and I will. I have a tab open. Youth of yesterday. I will watch. You know what? Tonight, I'm gonna watch Prayers for the Roller Boys. Roller Boys. All right. Let's go. Now, enough about film. I'm gonna talk about games. Video games. Yeah, there's so many classic lines. Put that coffee down. Glengarry Glen Ross was originally a play, and the monologue uh, that Alec Baldwin 
just destroys uh, was actually not originally in the play, and it was, uh, 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 I think it was written specifically for him. So good. Alright, anyway. Play the damn game. See, I just hear it in my head. I hear the, I hear the, the, the people who are on the outside of the man cave. Play the game! Stop talking and play the game. Are you happy, trolls? You're in my head! You're like the dream police. You live inside of my head! Oh. Man, this is doo-doo, baby. Big Brass Balls, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. It's... It's crazy. I don't even remember how I found out about it, but, uh... I just remember seeing it, maybe at, like, a, a, some store. I was like... When I started seeing, like, all the, uh, the actors in it, I was like, What is this? So good. Tons of classic, uh, lines. Here. Just do it the cheesy way. Or don't. Oh my goodness. Will you go to lunch? Oh my god! Okay, this is gonna be uh, a little bit. gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Uh, it's embarrassing. I wish that I had better matos. <laughs> Sorry about the feedback. What I'm saying is I need better equipment. I'm sorry about that. I'm so very sorry about that, guys. I don't know what the hell... What was that? That was feedback in my headset microphone. <laughs> from my hand. Alright. Uh, yeah. Get the guy. Just kill him this way. Kill it, dude. Don't work hard. Work smart! Would you please work smart? Okay. Okie dokie. Um, Saturday Night Live's Christmas sketch. Oh. So many tweets. Oh, I need to get my tweet deck, deck up there. But yeah. Oh yeah. God, I'm so pissed that I'm missing out the on the uh, Sour Kool-Aid Show pirate uh, broadcast. Oh my god, those guys. Those Sour Kool-Aid boys. They are something else. Oh my god. I wonder what time is it? Is that it's actually getting later? I'm gonna I'm going to raise my bitrate just really quick. Just really quick. I just want to see if I can venture into three thousand kilobit per second uh, territory. I know. I'm gonna dream the impossible dream. You got the touch. You don't have the internet. Sorry. It's working. It's working. Wonderful. Power, Power up. up. You're like, is that really? Is that is that the only effect you use? The answer is yes. It would be way too much work to scroll through and find some other special effect, or, you know, audio effect. So I just spam the shit out of that one. Oh. Uh, let's see. Man, have you seen the Saturday Night Live sketch uh, from Glengarry? Do you notice how I never say skit? You should say sketch. Skits are like... That's something that like, you know, little kids put on for the parents. It's like, did you did you see the skit that the kids put on at the church play? It's all oh, precious. Uh, that's a skit. Okay, if you want to talk about comedy a written performed short comedic piece that's a sketch it's not a skit okay. <laughs> I feel very strongly about that C-Wix sounded like D-Wix C-Wix uh, congratulations uh, you broke the damn sub alert again thank you for another dope nation I gotta go. I'm the slowest game player in the world. Seawick says, here's five buckaroos for you to watch The Last Starfighter. Ooh. If you don't, 
Then so help me God. Bob Barker's losing horn. Oh yeah. How about a sketch? Uh, those are shoes, I thought. Or or those watches. Stop distracting me, Dorcas, with your inane, foolish questions. Dorcas, how are you doing these days? I like when Alex screws up the always be cobbling. What? Oh, I haven't seen it. So that, yeah, that's why I'm confused about that. That would be why I'm confused about that. So, what am I doing? There's, uh, I'm like not even coming close. <laughs> and I shoot through here. Oh! Ah! Oh. Okay, nope. Sketchers. Swatch. <laughs> uh, oh, skitch! Skitching is like uh, uh, if you hitch a ride on the back of a car with rollerblades on. That is skitching, my friend. That is fucking skitching. God damn it. See Wix, I will check out The Last Starfighter. Um, I also need to watch The Stuff. I need to watch. There's so many movies. There's so many movies I need to watch. Um, uh, see, if I start rattling off all the movies I need to watch, uh, Youth of Yesterday will probably leave. And I will have a sad. <laughs> Bladen, ooh yeah! Extreme inline. Uh, blading. The stuff. The stuff. I gotta ask. Is Lynn Matos named after the stuff? The movie? Uh, okay. Because I have a strange feeling that, uh, the track, The Stuff, see, at first I thought, well, it probably all works together. Uh, when I saw the track, The Stuff, I was like, that's, that's Lamatos in English. I get it. And I saw your SoundCloud, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> um, so it's just like, it's just like, uh, the equipment, the stuff, the goods, the shit, the whatever. Hmm, interesting. Seriously, Youth of Yesterday, I could just sit here and pick your brain for hours. The stuff. The stuff I'm sure is named after them because it's the 80s. Yeah, that's, I'm sure. Come on, come on! Oh, it just doesn't seem uh, doable. What? Weird science. Plastic tubes and pots and pans behind open doors. Bits and pieces and bits and pieces and bits and pieces and my creation Is it real? My creation It's flesh and blood Oh my god, I have seen Weird Science so many fucking times Wait, wait, Chet? Oh shit! You know, why didn't you tell me Chet was gonna come over here? Like, you know I don't like Chad. Fucking weird science. That, that weird science is like... Weird science is like my childhood. Uh... You two! Oh, man. I'm really... Uh, annoying myself with the mic. Uh, you two... Can't even take a shower with a beautiful woman without wearing your jeans. <laughs> Fucking love that movie. Uh, okay. Uh, Man vs. Game. Are you gonna play Bloodborne? I'm gonna play the shit out of Bloodborne. 
Are you kidding me? I am going to live Bloodborne. Yeah. One of the best films of all time. Oh my god. Gary and Wyatt. Shit! That, that opening scene where Gary is shaving. He has nothing to shave, and then, like, when he's done, it's just, like, the fucking, like, mess right in the sink. Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, and then the, the scene in the bar. The fucking, uh, the candy bar. Let me, let me tell you a story, man. I was crazy insane for this little eighth grade bitch. Crazy insane? Crazy? I was nuts for the woman, man. And what got me was these big titties she had. <laughs> and oh my god. That whole scene. Oh my god, one of my favorite scenes in Weird Science. They're at the candy bar. Uh and they're at the candy bar. And Wyatt goes into the bathroom. Uh he sees like all this the uh all of the urinals are taken out, like these three like fucking huge dudes to like, turn around. And then Wyatt's like, "Hi, dudes!" <laughs> and then he like backs into a stall, only to see that somebody is already in the stall. The fucking door closes. Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, <laughs> the picture of Gary and Wyatt. <laughs> oh, I wanted to live. I wanted to breathe. I wanted to aerobicize. I don't know. What do you think? You know, uh, anything bigger than a handful, uh, you're asking for it. I love it. I love it when they break into the database. Well, I love how they always show hacking in movies. They always have to like visualize it to make it, you know, look more. You know, uh, or you know, to make it more uh, exciting, and so like the way they handle when uh, Gary and Wyatt break into this like database to make this woman on their computer—it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, we have to check that link with sound. Hold on. Mm, can I? Hold on. Uh, let me mute, mute the game for a second. Uh, okay, this is what I'm looking at here. Link from, uh, JP. And voila, le matos. I want to live, I want to breathe, I want to go besides. Le matos. Love it. Oh my god. That, and you know the line in English. That is so funny. Uh, that line is well. That's about the best uh, we could do with my sh with my stuff, like with like with my equipment. He's like, really? Are you serious? Uh, did, did did you get did you get a free toy store with this too? That is hilarious. You just blew my mind right now. You just blew my freaking mind, Lamatos. You know what I honestly thought? I honestly, um... Oh my god! Ugh, such a fucking retard. Uh, anyway. There's tons of information on there that you guys shouldn't be seeing. Um... Anyway, um... The TV show wasn't as good as the movie, I agree. Um... He's like, well, that's about as, uh, as good as we could do with, uh... Oh, I do. I have seen Weird Science so many times, and finding out that Lematos is, is actually from a quote in Weird Science is so great. I always thought, and it works. I mean, like a lot of great names, it works on multiple levels. Uh, I, you know, because it's, it's slang, like, you know, the stuff, the shit, the equipment. Uh, I always thought that you were referring to all the synths and all the equipment that you guys use to make the music. So, like, the, the band is named after, you know, the equipment that you use. 
No, it's you're fucking quoting uh, <laughs> weird sign. Either that, or you're just fucking with me right now. Oh my god, man, do I stream with OBS? Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's like we're in. We're in trouble. This is highly illegal. I... I don't know, man. I do stream with OBS. Yes, 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 I do. Uh, Pearly Nerfic, hello. Oh, this... Uh, I, I, one moment. I, I, I have to adjust this mic. It's driving me crazy. Sorry about that. It's probably still going to be annoying and shitty, but, uh... Seawix! You're drunk! You've already done too much! <laughs> uh... Oh, Seawix, here we go. Hold on, it's a, it's a YouTube link. Oh my god. I love that guy. Uh, what's his name? Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for yet another donation, man. Um, I gotta play the game. I gotta play the game. But I'm just hanging on youth of yesterday's every word. Uh, it is based on the fact that we have an obsession with gear. So I wasn't far off. I was not far off. Yeah, the gear. But this, expre this expression, le matos, is from that quote in Weird Science. I get it. So it's kind of like, like both. Awesome. Just awesome. Just knowing that... <laughs> you, it's like, it's kind of a reference to that fucking line in, uh... Uh, Weird Science. Makes me love you even more. <sighs> the scene where Gary and Wyatt are showering with her for the first time. Hello? Gary Wyatt, we're, it, it's really fun, don't you think? By the way, uh, thank you. Uh, you, you've done an excellent job. <laughs> and then Gary's like, thank you. <laughs> Tourette's guy, thank you, yes. This mic is going to... Right, me. Do I get another jump after I kill something? Is that what's going on? To ferret, what is up? <sighs> I get a little obsessive, uh, especially when my mic keeps making like, like crackly noises. Uh, it is eh, annoying. Mm. <laughs> um, actually, hold on. I don't want that weapon anymore. You just watched the vod of the fall of the twins. The subtrain, yes, nuts, absolutely nuts. Um, oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Can you please, though? This, this shit right here. This is uh, pretty ridiculous. What's going on, Rooney Mara? Some Star Wars shit? IGN. Tatiana Maslany and Rooney Mara up for the first Star Wars standalone. What? What are they screen testing for the first Star Wars standalone film? What? I don't understand. I'll get it. Uh, all right. Okay. Stop distracting me. I need to make progress. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually going to. Yeah. Look at 
this shit. So I have to kill those three enemies so that the wall will disappear. And then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump through here. I mean, that's nothing. Jesus. Alright. Let's see. Man, I love and I don't need to be a pest on donations. I'm just bored and etc. Hey, it, hey, Wix. You're good, man. You're totally cool. You are absolutely... We are solid. You, you... Please. Know that I appreciate it. Disney will milk Star Wars. Y you think? That would be so unlike Disney to, uh, you know, to use a purchased uh, intellectual property and then just squeeze the blood uh, right out of it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Disney. Uh, I spent a lot of time ranting about Disney and blah, blah, blah. And it's not like, you know, everything Disney is ever made, you know, I like hate it or whatever, but, uh, uh, <clears throat> I always, I always get so tired of, like, Disney getting recognition, recognition for, like, Pixar films, for, uh, uh, even the way they, you know, uh, they released, uh, Studio Ghibli, Hayao Miyazaki films over, over here, you know, it's like they released these, uh, Studio Ghibli films over here, and it's like, big, giant, Walt Disney presents... Uh, you know, uh, castle in the sky or whatever. I'm just like, you didn't do shit. This microphone is driving me crazy. It's gonna, it's gonna drive me crazy. And it'll go all streak. Okay. Delicious blueberry muffins. Dumbo. Oh god, yeah. I was talking about that earlier. Ignore the mic. Damn, I guess I have to return these all-expense Disney World passes I got, man, for his birthday. Cobalt Streak. I am not even joking. I know you put a kappa there. I know you didn't actually do it. I would not go. I went to Disney World. I've been there. I left early. I came home early from fucking Disney World, man. Not my scene at all. It was hot. It was muggy. Fucking... Tourists everywhere, people, tourist trap, shit. Call me, call me, uh, call me what you will. I did not enjoy Disney World at all. Disney World sucked. I did not enjoy it. Anyway, um, Princess Mononoke, that was, that was the movie, uh, that was the first, uh, Miyazaki movie that I watched, and, um, blew my mind and I watched all the other ones and I feel bad because it's just like it's like, like another, another level like whenever people talk about like what is the best anime and stuff they're just like eh, Studio Ghibli and Akira and Perfect Blue uh there's others anyway Extra credits, what's going on? But the magic man, yeah, they're, they're all about wishes and dreams. I was watching some kind of like promotional video, it's like <laughs> Take the family, uh it's like This summer take the family to Walt Disney World where dreams become wishes that come true. It's like What the fuck are you blathering about? Oh god. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop's great. Usually, I'm mostly talking about, like, feature-length films. I also like End of Evangelion. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Need more coffee. Spirited Away. You know what Spirited Away is in Japanese? Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi. It's a good change. Mm. Le Roy et le Sol. Is that uh, the red pig? Or uh, 
Fantastic Planet. No. I don't know. I don't know! Evangelion, yes. Shinji. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know what? I identify with Shinji. I really do. I got that whole fucking son father thing going on, so I'm just like, oh my god! Why are you pressuring him so much, Gendo? Lay off Shinji! That's really what it is. If you don't have a fucked up relationship with your father, you're probably not gonna get the whole Shinji Gendo thing, but that that's that's really to me, that's what uh drives the whole fucking uh <laughs> uh series. God damn it. Alright. You like Asuka? Asuka Longley. She's great. Uh The King and the Bird. I think that's another movie I need to watch. I think that's another movie I need to watch, because I bet that movie is referenced in another song. Alright, I gotta go. Stop distracting me. Playa! I don't understand what they want me to do. Alright, um... Sao? I say you? What, what? Okay. Why, why you gotta put the freaking... And then that thing is there. Just being annoying. Well, and that's just silly. Okay. What is your favorite angel? In the game, or... I don't know. Are you, are you talking to me? If you're talking to me, don't. <laughs> Stop distracting me. This is some happy bullshit here. Okay, there you go. Excuse me, happy horse shit. <laughs> There's spikes everywhere. There are spikes everywhere. Every damn place. Uh, oh, I have an idea. There's a little hole down there. I could jump, jump. Uh, yeah, Kira, people ask all the time, like, not all the time, but occasionally I will get the question, Man, what is your favorite anime? And I say Akira! Katsuhiro Otomo. Brilliant. I also like Steam Boy. Not nearly as good as Akira, but Steam Boy was great too. <laughs> Alright, uh... Here we go. This is the shit. This is, this is the shit right here. Here we go. Oh, ah, uh, nope, I, okay, Just trying out a different, new plan, new, new strategy. Okay, Too Funky Fresh out on Twitter says, hey, was wondering if you have a band camp. I don't! I don't know why! I didn't even know you could do that! I thought band camp was like for the people who made the music. I don't know, you could be some schmuck who just buys the music, and then have other people follow the music you buy. <laughs> Uh, I found that out through excessive, excessive prof profanity. Way too many, too many syllables for me to deal with right now. You know, right now you are, you are Cody X. Uh, <clears throat> I did progress. I'm making mad progress, yo. Okay. Do good, do good, do good, do good. Um, I really. Goddamn spikes eat me. Uh, has anybody seen Mind Game? One of the best new school anime. I haven't. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, Cosmo! You broke it! Welcome to mankind! Thank you for being so kind. And you broke the goddamn thing. Come on in the, man, on cave. the man, cave. man cave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a sadness. What a bunch of shit. Yeah, get the fi get the fist out of here. All right. Ninja scroll. Oh my god. When I was in Japan, I kept looking everywhere for ninja scroll. I was like, why can't I find ninja scroll? I just want to. I don't know why, but I'm in Japan, and I just want to watch Ninja, Ninja Scroll. I don't actually remember what the title is in, in uh, 
in Japanese, but it is not anything close to Ninja Scroll. Anyway, if I could think of something like Jubei, something, something, something or other. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> this can't be. There, there's something I'm missing here because, because I mean, good God, the distance is just. You awful piece of shit. Okay. What's so gory? What, what was gory? Oh, uh, Ninja Scroll? Yeah. I love how, uh, uh, like, she is the antidote to, like, this poison. Okay. Um, yep, bad idea. Man, this is ass. Ass! Yeah, I need to, I need to watch more anime. I, I, uh, <laughs> hadn't watched much anime. Oh, my God. And it'd be good for me to get back into it because my Japanese is just, it's deteriorating. Man, have you seen the movie Edge of Tomorrow? Yes, I have! Loved Edge of Tomorrow! It was a, a wonderful surprise. Starring Tommy Cruise! Can you please... See, I don't have another jump. Um, I've tried getting into Attack on Titan. And the the uh, I don't get it. There's got to be something. There's got to be like an extra jump or something. I can, I can get in there. Uh, yeah, Edge of Edge of Tomorrow is great. Uh, I try not to talk about it too much because I, I feel like it's one of those movies. If you go in, the less you know, the better it is. I, I think that, I think that's true for like most anything because those expectations, expectations. The power of expectations are such that you can go in with super high expectations of something, like you know, a movie, and if the movie does not meet those expectations, then you're disappointed. It might still actually be a really good movie, but you'll still be disappointed. So, that to me, that's the secret to happiness in life. Uh... Keep your expectations low. <laughs> Alright, um... I've ever watched any of the Gundam series. I haven't. I, I, I've talked about this before. It's very difficult for me to get into, like, anime series. Uh, in particular, uh, like, uh, long-running series. I usually try to stick to just, like... Mm, theatrical release, you know motion pictures because <clears throat> it's usually well the animation is way better um, it's you know more visually uh. <laughs> you know it's more visually uh, thingy and uh, it's more visually engaging stunning whatever the fuck and um with the series, I just get, honestly, I hate to say this, I'm painting with a pretty broad brush here, but with the series, anime is so bad for being so formulaic and f having filler. I'm just like, I don't have time for this shit. It's like, just, just, just tell the goddamn story and get on with it. Uh, now, having said all that, I still have watched my fair share of anime series, like, yes, uh, Samurai Champloo, uh, listen to this microphone. I love Samurai Champloo, but yes, uh, like, a short-running, you know, maybe like 12, 13, uh, episodes, I'm down with that, because that means they don't waste time with filler bullshit that just pads out the length of the, uh, uh, the series. Yeah, I really have to, you know, I have to try something new here. By the way, uh, did you all see uh, Extra Credits is is hanging in the man cave? You should totally follow them. They're great. Lonely Cation, 
that Rooney Kenshin was the like that was the first like long running anime that I watched the entire series of. I was a huge Rooney Kenshin fan, uh, and I watched them. Um, uh, I would borrow the freaking uh, the subbed uh, uh, VHS tapes uh, from this other like otaku dork in college. And, uh, and so I enjoyed watching Rune Kenshin that way, but I remember I, I learned from that. I was just like, man, I love so many of the stories and characters and stuff, but like there have been so many episodes that I could have just not watched at all and really not missed at all. Like I loved uh, Saito Hajime, the episode uh, with where Saito Hajime comes back. Love that. Um, and then, of course, the the whole Kyoto chapter that was all great. Other than that, like, there were just tons of episodes where I was just like, "Man, this is just fucking boring." All right. Yikes! <laughs> VHS cassette tape. You could play them in your VCR. Got a date with your VCR. God hates a coward, Sonny. Uh, what's that? Anyway, okay. I still have my Evangelion. Oh, for the love of God, my Evangelion uh, VHS tapes. Um, and that's the Evangelion Japanese version, uh, the Japanese VHS tapes. So there's no English dub, there's no subs, it's just the anime. G give me a moment here. I'm going to mute myself again, and uh, I may snap this microphone in half before your very eyes. I'm going to try not to do that. I'll be right back. Test, 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 test. Good. Okay. Uh, the thing that is bothering me is like the just the there are like so many moving parts on this uh, headset, and it gets all like like not a big fan. Uh, okay. Another cult classic from the '80s. Space Sheriff uh, Gavin, French version song was a big influence. And the Japanese soundtrack is amazing. Hang on. Space Sheriff Gavin. Uh, I can have another tab open. I'm sorry. I can't stop. It's it, seriously. It is a uh, it's a compulsion. It's it's just like I don't even think about it, and then like if just one little thing bothers me, then it's just like the rest of the whole cast. I'm just like. <sighs> Space Sheriff Gavin. The Metal Hero series. Oh man. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. Alright. <clears throat> Lord Jesus. Please don't let me kill this child. Unknown with the five dollar donation. Thank you so very much. Oh, and go for Tony! He's making his way through the what the fuck happened here? Little mini, mini, mini sub chain, sub -chain, -chain. Golfer, Golfer Tony. 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 
Kawiler 21? Welcome to Mankind! I thank you so very much for your support! You made a very, very wise decision this day. <laughs> Come, join us! As you begin... The dawning. Dawning. Wait, dawning. Wait, 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 as we, as we, as we prepare, 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 prepare for the dawning, dawning of a new paradigm. New paradigm. The, the year in the man cave. Welcome. Thank, Welcome. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta work on that. I really gotta work on my like, 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 like cult welcome. There you go. Damn parrot. I'd probably give you an extra, you an extra syllable, 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 but welcome, welcome, back, welcome back, back to mankind. To mankind. Thank, you so Thank you so very much. Wow, what the hell? Just right out of nowhere. I'm not even playing the game. And there's the donation. Five bucks from unknown, and the message is... Kawiler, thank you very much. At first I read that uh, that comment, I thought you were saying, You are shit, man. You mean a lot to me. I was like, oh, okay. Whew. Let's fucking do this, man. I, I really, uh, right now, I can genuinely say I have no idea how I'm even expected to get over to that platform. Uh, Golfer Tony, I don't sub to you, but to our gorilla lord, Tacorilla. Oh no, that's not. That's right. Uh, earlier, I did the uh, close encounters. It's like, uh, oh uh, god, <sighs> this stupid clock sound uh, song in my head. Ta ha ha ko, ta ha ha ko. Yeah, I'm a Tacorillian. Everybody. Um, okay, those spikes eat you as well. <laughs> you are loved. I feel the love. I feel the love. Thank you very much. Merci. Hey, man, I'm out. Next time, I need you to get more than one stream. I will! You don't understand, youth of yesterday. Get out! <laughs> um, can I, youth of yesterday... Thank you. You totally, totally made my day stopping by. Um, just a reminder, Le Matos. They're fucking amazing. Check out their music. Uh, let me, just really quick, before we take off, um, thank you, thank you so very much for stopping by, man. This is so cool of you. Um, Twitter.com slash Le Matos. You can follow them there. Uh... I believe. Let me find uh, the Facebook. Um, that is. Uh, check out their uh, Facebook right here, and I know I just missed somebody. Um, but yeah, dude, have a blast! at the Sundance Film Festival. I want to know when I'm going to be able to uh, watch uh, Turbo Kid. And, dare I say, more importantly, when I can hear that soundtrack. Uh, but have a wonderful evening. Thank you so very much for stopping by, JP. Uh, Merci beaucoup. <laughs> wow. See you later, man. I will watch those movies. And next time... Uh, next time... We can talk about those movies. Okay. One third of Lematos, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, then. Okay. Call me Caleb. I'll try to remember. The sad truth is, I will not remember. Um... As soon as I can, I will send you a new jam. Je t'aime. <laughs> the 
the immortal. Oh my god. Uh, I could kiss you. I'm going to kiss you. So be ready for that. When we meet in the flesh, I am going to kiss you, JP. I'm gonna grab your face and kiss you. No. Take it easy, man. <laughs> oh my god, and I missed somebody. Uh, hold on. Barbie Edge! You think straight edge is cool? No. No, no, no. Fucking Barbie Edge. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Uh. I don't know. I don't know. I just. I just play with Barbie toys. Barbie Edge! Welcome to mankind! You're probably referencing a barbecue. I just thought about that. And Quarler, yes! Yes! What do I try so hard in these games? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Belgium! Belgium! I almost missed you. Welcome to mankind! Thank you for helping support what I do here without you. I am nothing. Come on into this freaking man cave. It's filling up full and fuller all the time. Uh, okay. Why do you try so hard at these games? Because I get off on it. No, I, uh, that's really part of it, though. It's because I enjoy the challenge, and it's difficult, but when you make it, it's like it's actually satisfying. It actually gives you a good feeling. You know, there's something to be said for games that are just kind of like a, you know, a virtual experience. You kind of just kind of... You know, it's, it's not about the challenge of can you get through this area, it's just more like look at this area, experience that, now experience this, blah blah blah. That's the beauty of video games, they can be whatever, they're actually... That's the crazy thing is that video games, it's kind of a misnomer. Uh, because they can be so much more than games, but um, I definitely enjoy the game aspect, the challenge, and I enjoy the uh, the satisfaction of like when you finally get the thing done so maybe I should you know work on that Ugh. anyway I feel uh, I'm just gonna say I feel uh, uh, lame you know like uh, whatever talking about like video games and stuff like that with extra credits in the room I'm just like I'm like the uh, I'm like the noob trying to like sound smart next to the actual like Intellectuals. That's why you should be following extra credits. Alright. Uh, <laughs> eventually every game will be like Protus. Yeah, Proteus, yeah. No, I don't think so. Alright. Is money an issue? It is. Please send more. No. <laughs> That is a joke. God damn it! Uh, I don't quite know what you mean. Is money an issue? It's not. That guy from TV says, okay, it's not 100% like, oh hey, tits! It's more focused on the ludicrousness of everything. Including the tits. What the hell? Oh, kill a kill, okay. You're talking about anime. I was like... <sighs> Fan service. Prevalent in a lot of anime. Yeah. It's like... I don't even know... Yeah, it is what it is. It's just... Gratuitous. Uh, very suggestive shots. Can you live your dreams without the crazy donations? Mm. I could. Uh, I could. Um, well, to an extent, I do, I would still need, yes, support, um, with, like, the subscribe, uh, subscriptions and, and donations and whatnot, um, but, uh, I guess the reason I said yes at first was because I was, I was factoring in, like, the, uh, ad revenue and, uh, subscriber stuff. So, like, without donations and stuff, you know, I could get by. 
So that's why it's just it's crazy what y'all do. Whoa. Okay. Little Faye Valentine with the short shorts. Oh my God! How many times am I gonna get chewed up by these spikes? I did beat the twins. Paper Raven. Hello. Hello. Oh God. Mmm. And I said, sure, there were tit and ass shots all over the place, uh, but they only took place during fights and only for 10 seconds. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. For me, right now, it's just. It's a. Uh, uh, well, I'm thinking of like Bayonetta, is really what I was going to. I was going to bring Bayonetta into this discussion of fan service and all that. Um. Months of 780! What's the matter of you? Matzo! Welcome back to mankind! Thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Join us in the man cave. At your leisure. Kawhiler says, my next question is, do you love me? Absolutely. Because you answered three of my questions, and I just subbed. Hey, that's right. Hey, I want to. You just got in here, so yes. All these other people, bored of their shit. They're like blah, hey man, blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, no, I got that. Okay, I am sick and tired of talking to you. I want to talk to the, the fresh meat, the new blood. You got that? Everybody else, shut up. Okay. Worst anime. Man, there are some duds out there. I don't, wanna, I don't even want to take a m moment to you know, try and consider uh, what would be the worst anime. It's like when people ask, like, what is the worst video game? It's like, uh, the one that you've never heard of that is like a barely playable fucking, you know, horrible ripoff of Pong, you know, that some guy made for his college class in, you know, whatever the fuck. I don't even know. It's like, I don't even want to, uh, I don't even want to waste time thinking about it. Worst video game, E.T. Yeah, I mean, E.T. It's got charm. It's even got the, the theme. Burning, do 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 Raskris four. I'm gonna say welcome say back. Welcome back. <laughs> For the first time. First time. First time. First time. I'm sensing multiple accounts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the crazy For the awesome sports. Awesome Join us Join in the us man, in man cave, cave, cave if you like. Like. <laughs> like. See you guys are crazy. Thank you for the donation. The Emperor, I'm probably destroying your name too. Uh, it says, the Emperor says, this is for the smiles and laugh you give me and mankind. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. It, it, it keeps me going, guys. It absolutely does. You make me feel real good. Oh my God. That sounded when it's chewing on me. Uh, Raspberry's four. <laughs> I love those arms. Um, epic line pop. Man, you deaf to orc twins? Uh, yes. Uh, I did defeat the orc twins. Yes, I did. Come on, man. No. Nope. This is so weird. Uh, there's something I'm not getting here. Uh, you are awesome. I've been watching for a while, mainly, uh, oh, Dark Souls 2, but you rock. Thank you. You guys are just, like, seriously, my ego, it's, it's already, like, completely, uh, out of whack. And you're not helping. I'm thinking of more shit to ask you. Hey, that's what it's all about. And I will think of shit to say in response. Man, can you read chat in a Norse accent? A Norse? I can't. I don't want to. 
They had to. This is what happens when I have to work wild man games all day. I miss boss kills. I'm sorry. That was based solely on Skyrim voices. Mm, the owl cast. Oh my god, did I just miss the ogre ladies win? Mm, not really. It's we've been sitting here a while. Uh, it, you know what? You didn't just miss it. God damn it. There's gotta be something to push me on through. That sounds Jewish. Oh. Hey, Jewish! Fuck! Hi! Again? With the Jew. Hey! I could, do, I could do the Jewish! You want Jewish? I could do the Jewish. You don't want the Jewish? Fine. What do you know the Jewish? Uh, the Norse. I have no idea. That's just like. I have no idea. Cut right. Dr. Zoidberg! Okay, maybe it did sound Jewish. Damn it. Well, that's right, man. Uh. See, Jesus didn't tap. You know what? I'm glad I tried. And failed. Where's your spoon? Where is this, uh. <laughs> it's like, is there something wrong with soup? Is it taste of soup? Is it flying soup? Is it. Taste the soup. It's okay, I'll taste the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha! Aha! Purring! Drop a drop five dollar bill, bill on my bill on butt bill cheek. On cheek. cheek. Push, push, push. Make it hurt so good. Thank you so very much. Purring it says, I love your streams with the heart. I don't have the money to sub monthly. What if I donate when I can? Uh, oh, but I will donate when I can. I love to see your enthusiasm with games. Good luck. Thank you, Purring. <laughs> oh! Well, oh. just too kind. Too kind. I, now, I need to make some kind of progress here because this is... It's starting to piss me off! Ooh, you're really pissing me off! Very, 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 very bad man. Uh, coming to America, yes. Good morning! Fuck you! Yes! Fuck you too! Uh, alright. Oh yeah. Well, this game is way, way more polished than Bashi. Alright, I did beat the orc bitches. Body time, time with the demonic, the, demonic, the, demonic, the donation, the donation of, the of the beast. Thank you. Thank you. Body time. It says, man, I have to say you're my longest subscription on Twitch, and the games really take a backseat to your truly honest and funny personality. You know, and I feel bad about that. So a lot of the time I do. It weighs heavy on my fucking soul, man. Uh, takes a backseat to your truly honest and funny personality that you bring through each and every cast. Thank you. No, thank you. For reals. It's, it's, is it not enough that you guys, like, actually, like, support me with the, uh, the financial you know, donations, but then you feel the need to send these, like, just ridiculous messages? <laughs> uh, thank you. Very much. Uh, you're gonna make me get all, uh, touchy feely here. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't have a, I don't have a lot more. I don't have much else going on in my life right now. This is kind of like, it's probably why I, I do these things, like cast for way too damn long. All right, the Macho Man. You can't. You can't. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Uh, he's you know you gotta, you gotta just, you can't force it. There's a reason that there's no spikes down there. I think I have to go down and around. I really do. I really, really do. Okay. Is there a highlight? I don't think there is. What the fuck are you doing? Somebody 
Ah, people have been saying that they've been watching the VOD. The video on demand. Man, you have a lot going on in your life. Yo, you bring happiness to millions of people. Well, it, it, that's what I'm saying. It's all through this. And, and, and it is. I mean, it is. Uh, it's absolutely. I love it. I really absolutely do. Because. I have a blast. You guys seem to enjoy it. And then you, you, you praise me for, you know, what I do. So it's just like, I don't ever want to stop. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Just turn off the lights. Now glow. Um, can she slide? How can she slide? She can! That's the secret right there. Why am I being such a dumb ass? John, John Roughneck! Who's Roughneck? John's Roughneck! My, ru my neck isn't so rough. 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 Come on. You want to live forever? Welcome to mankind. John Roughneck. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Come on in. We're just busy talking about how great I am. Again. Still. Yep. Oh, and, yep, you just flutter, flutter, flutter there. Oh my god, I can't believe this is taking me this long. This is part of my problem, like, uh, saying that the game takes a backseat to my personality and blah, blah, blah. I, I, I absolutely take that as a compliment, and I appreciate it. However, I'll be damned if I don't wish that I really, you know, could be, uh, you know, just slightly better. Well, I'm fucked. Everybody knows shit. Fuck! You're dead. Uh, let's see. Name three things you like in this over Bashi. Though Bashi is still the shit. Uh, well, I'm gonna say... Um, the, the, uh, the variety of... Um, really, just the variety of, like, gameplay. Having uh, two jumps and a flutter, uh, or, like, an action button uh, makes for... You know, some, some more varied uh, platforming setups. Uh, also, the variation in, like, the, the, the shooting style. You have, like, the orbs. You can shoot up, the, you know, you have three of them. Shoot three of them at a time. Um, support Barry Hawks! Nope, Barry Hawks! Nope, Barry Hawks. Barry Welcome Hawks. to mankind! mankind. You've, done right You've done the right thing, thing Barry. Thing, Barry. <laughs> Join us in the Madden Cave, if you like. Alright, let's go. Um, I gotta, I really have to get past this area. Whoa, that's how you do it right there, son. And, uh, yep. Well, that's going to... Wow. A little bit of progress, a little tiny little bit of progress. Let's see, have I been casting for 24 hours straight? Uh... Maybe. I don't remember when I actually started. It's part of the problem. Uh, I know. You know, <clears throat> in Scare Trailers, I, uh... It really... I wish I, I weren't so, uh... Junior high emo on Twitter sometimes. Uh... I really, really do. Um... But, yeah... So it's an interesting year so far already. Okay, now damn it, now, now, now damn it! Oh, I love it. One little fuck up like that, and we're done. You did well, dying. Well done. Uh, what's another thing? You know, I'd have to say just the. Uh, y you gotta give it up for the uh, the pixel art because it's you know it's much more cohesive, uh, you know, realized world, you know, that uh, Solgren created, as opposed to just ripping uh, sprites from a Nintendo game. Which I know there is plenty of stuff 
that Solgrim did in, in Bashi. I'm not told, I'm not trying to discredit Bashi at all, but um, it's very clear that uh, there's a lot more uh, attention paid to the the aesthetic of uh, uh, Wings of Eve. About 23 hours. Okay, we're almost there, which probably should be you know. That's 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 like the cutoff time for me. I'm really getting tired of that bullshit. See, and this is why, because I start getting the like, how long have you been casting, man? And the, uh, oh my god, I just went and mowed the lawn, and then spied on my neighbor, rubbed one out. I come back, you're still casting. That's amazing. That's 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 what the chat fills up with. I'm just like. Ugh. I gotta go. All right. Um, are people asking how long I've been casting? It's another one that uh, I don't know why. I, I actually do know why, but it does bother me. Um. Uh, started playing Dragon Age yesterday. I forgot to do homework because I had a blast. Uh, this game is more fluid and polished than like. Jumbled inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Uh, you you can tell that like Solgren, this is his game. It's his game. He fucking he made this shit. And he he, uh, he really tweaked it, polished it. Uh, way more polished. Um, you know, with Bashi still for what it is, great game. Um, <clears throat> but you know, part of the the charm of Bashi is just that. Yeah, it's it's very clearly. Uh, you know, just kind of—I don't want to say slap together, but um, part of the charm is yes, that like he's—you know—the the level will have like a theme, and it's, you know he clearly ripped uh, textures and and sprites from uh, the game, and uh, the a lot of the brilliance in in Bashi is the you know the, the level design and the boss design, but yeah, it's all pretty uh, gorilla. Uh, Style. All right, let's go. Thank you. Oh my God. Honor meet. <laughs> Any honor meet discussion tonight? What is there to discuss, Matzo? I mean, I got your honor meet right here. Um, I've never actually like measured my honor meet because that's I don't know. To me, it's 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 like a you got it or you don't. So like, you know what? If you have the honor meet. Just be happy you got the honor, mate. You don't need to be measuring it. It's in poor taste. Oh my god, well, why don't we just fuck that up? Mmm. Uh, what's the... what, what? Ask Zeke about Bashi. <laughs> what? Where is Zeke right now on that? I know, I know he's on Sonic. Still. Um... As he kind of, uh, well, H1Z1 came out. And you gotta play that, it's mandatory. H1Z1 comes out, you gotta play it, everybody's gonna get on it. So he had to do that. He literally had to play the game. Um, nothing means nothing, yeah! Zod! 494! Kneel before Zod. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to say back. I feel like I know you if you haven't been here. You're Zod. Thank you so much for your support. Zod. General Zod. I will find him! I will find him! Come on into the man cave, if you like. Oh, man. What's going on here? All the sub-notifications are being posted in my chat. And your bot is responding to them all. What? Really? Subscribers to my channel are showing up in your posted chat? That seems... Odd. 
All right, Zod. Welcome back. You gotta love a guy who goes by Zod. Mr. Bacon Donut, sir. How's it going, man? So this is an expansion of Boss Chief. Not in the slightest. It's actually not related in any way, shape, or form to the Boss Chief. Oh, oh, hi. Solgren. I got five words for you, Solgren. Suck my unbosh dick. Oh my god. What? Um. What's going on? Nicole, hello. Humping all over his face, just like. Ah, yeah! It, it, oh, come on, now! How does this happen? Excuse me. Man, opinion on Man of Steel. I actually liked it. Sure. The ending... It's difficult. It's difficult. The ending is difficult. But otherwise... Yo, maybe it's because I'm an emotional fucking wreck all the time, but when I watched uh, Man of Steel, I fucking cried. Man of Steel made me cry. It got me. You know what it is? I told you guys before. So, any movie that touches on that fucking father-son thing, man. Uh... Oh, yeah, uh, uh, The Return of Superman. Yeah, I did not watch Return of Superman. I didn't hear, I heard it was not good. Uh, everyone always talks about the ending. Well, because something happens that is decidedly, ex you know, very un-Superman-like. Uh, also, you know, it's, it's a big spoiler. Do we spoil? Do you mind? Man of Steel? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody care? Um, uh, here you go. Spoiler alert. I'll, I'll go like this when I'm done. I don't even know. No, you, you better just leave, because people are going to be talking about it in the chat. Um, yeah, I'm going to spoil. So, here we go. Man of Steel ends with, uh, you know, big fucking, dare I say, epic knockdown drag out fight between... Superman and General Zod and his cronies or whatever and um, Superman is finally forced to kill General Zod and he does this by cracking his neck it's pretty uh, it's not like gruesome or anything but it's uh, uh, okay it's gonna be back. Oh my god, I hope I hope Inverse Phase got out of here. Okay, good. Um Can Bashi help you with this game? Bashi there is a Bashi in the game. I do know that, but uh As far as helping, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Oh. We're gonna get it. So I'm talking about crackle neck. Damn it. Forgot to play Crackle Fat. Or Youth of Yesterday. Guys, I'm sorry if uh, you guys all felt ignored while uh, Youth of Yesterday was here, but uh, I, I was fanboying hard. Obviously. Uh, the context way how to do it was important. I agree. See, I... Again, I, I think Man of Steel was a, was a great movie. I mean, personally, I loved... I loved... Um, all of the uh, sort of like backstory that they covered uh, on Krypton. I love that they really took their time setting up that whole dynamic and those characters and why Zod uh, was, you know, be, acted the way he did. And um, I just thought the pacing of the movie was was well done. Um, you know, you have like the the first area in uh, uh, Krypton 
then kind of like this middle section of the movie where it's it's Superman trying to fit in, and that's that's what I say about Man of Steel. Before Man of Steel, um, I didn't give a shit about Superman because I didn't really get the angle, um, and the angle of the movie really I felt uh, conveyed very well was um, that Superman is an outsider. He's a foreigner. He is a he's an alien. He is not like us, and so. He just wants to fit in. He just wants to be a part of what's going on. And, um, you know, I think that's something that, uh, you know, finally, that is an, that's, that's, that is a, uh, an approach to the character that makes Superman, you know, I can identify with that. It's like, I want to fit in too. Um, but, uh, uh, I really, I thought the movie was was great with the way they paced it. You know, the, again, the, the, the Krypton, the middle section where he's just kind of like trying to fit in. You know, he's, 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 his powers are, you know, he can't control them and blah blah blah. Um, and then I, I thought it was just really well done the way uh, they save. You, you just, the whole movie is Superman like holding back. You know, again because he's trying to fit in, so he's like he's not using his powers. You know, he's letting people push him around and all this stuff, and so you're just like, oh my god, Superman! Just, just fucking flick your finger on this guy, you'd kill him! And, um... So, I thought it was... Brilliant the way they just kind of, like, built up this, like... Desire to see Superman just unload with, you know, his full power. Which he does in, like, the final act of the movie... Against Zod, and that is when it's just, like, fucking, you know, summer... Uh, uh... Big... Big, uh, you know, uh, action flick, just fucking knock down, drag out, brawl, um, you know, superhero movie, and well, that was good. That was good. So, anyway, not the best movie I've ever seen, but good. I liked it. Whoa, now. Um, let's see. Personally, love the ending and how it was handled. It was very unexpected in Soup's reaction to what he had done. Yeah, exactly. It's not like he... You could tell. He was he was tortured. It weighed heavy on him. So... Uh, I'm excited. I am so psyched for Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. I hope Bat... I hope Batfleck doesn't fuck it up. <laughs> but, uh... Here we go. Trip. Take it in. Take in the love. I feel the love. I'm just going to take it all in. Uh, give me that love. Oh! Well, that was odd. That was odd. Uh, yeah. I don't know why the fuck they had to go with Ben Affleck. I still am not, you know... Well, I started out, I was a hater. I was like, why did they have to fucking pick Ben Affleck? And I, I repeat myself all the time. I say the same things over and over and over again, so apologies, but... Um, what I was excited about was the same way that they cast, um, to me, a relatively unknown actor to play Superman. Uh, was it Henry Cavill? He's probably huge. <laughs> You're like, you didn't know this fucking guy? I was like, not really. So to me, he embodies, like, he is now Superman, you know? Um, and I was really hoping that they they would do that with Batman. You know, just get, like, uh, uh, get a guy who just absolutely is, like, the spitting image of, of you know, what, what you'd imagine Bruce Wayne looking like. Uh, uh, you know, decent actor, and, uh, I love that shit. I would so much rather watch a movie... Especially with a, a, a well-established character like Batman and Superman and all that stuff. It's like, you don't need Ben Affleck to carry a Batman-Superman movie. You just don't. It's going to make fucking millions of dollars regardless of who you get. So, it was disappointing to me that they just went with the safe, you know, box office draw of Ben Affleck. So, I don't know. I'm just still hopeful because I have seen the teaser that is still potato quality on the internet, but I was just like, YES! 
That is what I wanted to see. Like, that right there. You, you got it. You covered so many things that I wanted to see in a Batman vs. Superman movie. I'm psyched. I'm hyped. It just sucks that we have to wait until fucking tw 2016. Fucking hell. Uh, you don't sound hello. Uh, why do I sub to you? That is a question only you can answer. Are you sure? Are you sure, headset? Are you sure you don't want to just cooperate? Stop being an asshole. Maybe I like the kid from Back to the Future, watch Man of Steel, Man vs. Game, and work on two games at once. I don't know how people do it. Oops! See, I can't even, like, talk and play the damn game. Oh, shit! That could have been, uh, could have been a good one. So, yeah, you gotta flutter. Jump, jump. Flutter, jump, jump. Question for the DC fans. Doesn't either Soups or Bat die at the end of the comic they are basing the movie on? You know what? Yeah, I'll let you feel this one, buddy. Aww. And the answer is no. No. Uh, I don't think they... Well, from what I understand, um, they're they're definitely pulling... Uh, um, from uh, some of the comics. Like, obviously, Ben Affleck's Batman is Frank Miller as fuck. Which, I still don't know how I feel about that. I think it's cool. I think I think it's it's uh, it's cool that, um, again, it's going to be like a new riff on Batman. Uh, like, I like I like the idea that he's, he's, uh, he's like an older, kind of aging, you know, you know older... He's been doing the Batman thing for a good while. Um, and, uh... <laughs> that fucking... This this thing. The Sauron eye thing. That, 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 that can just fuck right off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, why is a game no longer fun? It would depend on the game. Mm, let's see here. The zombie dicks. At the time, I was just high on zombie dick. Uh, Age of Ultron. That's gonna kick ass. Bulletproof, sir. Take it easy. Everybody, you really should consider following Bulletproof. Uh, or... Uh... I-3-U-I-I-E-T-P-R-O-O-F. Um... He does a great cast. Does a great cast. Um... Come on. Come on! I yai yai I don't know how this one ledge is taking me out so <laughs> nope my god timing on that's gotta be right on uh let's see here oh when is the game no longer fun um again we have to depend on the game there's a myriad of reasons when uh, a game could be no longer fun okay Night bullet. Uh, let's see. And thank you. Did somebody make a highlight? Did somebody highlight that? Thank you so much. I don't know who did that. This is mortal mode, yes. Mortal mode. Holy fuck. Mm, you buy? Would you please get on the shit? Okay, get on the good foot. Um, give us some reasons. I don't... Uh, your question is too general. You have to narrow it down. Uh, I really don't...
care to sit and talk at length about when a game becomes not fun to play <laughs> because that's boring. Oh god. Oh shit. I didn't and I used up one of my jumps. Ooh. Come on, pants. The work will be here. Oh, okay. Nicole saw the twin kill. Nice. Nice. So I would say kinda kinda dial in the question a little bit. Um it's uh, uh questions like that are just they're just too broad, too general. Well, why don't you hunker down? <laughs> I will of you. Thank you. I feel the of from up above like a move. Ha! There it is. Oh, you mother. <laughs> uh. Excessive profanity. Put a fist in the chat. What are you lashing out at, sir? With your fist of fury? Are you some kind of bad dude? Here we go. Uh, Sausage Biscuits asks the burning question. Man, how long is a piece of string? Um... Man! I got the diary of the brain. Um How long is a piece of string? Uh, you must try to realize the truth. That you're a fucking idiot. Sorry, that was me punching fuckhead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm being very patient. Okay, um... I think there's a lot of, like, language. Some language barrier going on here. Um... Yeah, ple please don't spam. Please don't spam. You know what? It's one of those things. You gotta understand, there's a lot of people chatting. And, um, if I happen to miss a question, you just gotta let it go. Otherwise, you become that guy. Okay, uh... Wookie OMG, how's it going? It's going well. It's going very well. I am, uh, having a good time. Uh, playing a wonderful game. Oh, pfft. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of in the afterglow of, uh, JP of Lamatos. Subscribing to my channel and stopping by and talking movies, anime, all kinds of shit, games. <laughs> I love how he's like, play the game, he's like, get past the screen, you. What kind of a man versus game are you? It's like, how dare I let you promote my music over here? Um. Okay, um. Here we go. Rut, drop, please, please don't chew in my head with the spikes. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, well, I mean, um, for instance, for me, when uh, when JP started talking about where the group name Lematos sort of came from, I figured it was a it was a reference to their their equipment, their gear that they use. Um, but I love how he also made reference to a fucking line from Weird Science. Um, Limitus. And it's the line where Wyatt is like, Well, that's about as good as I can do with my shit. He's like, Gear, he's like, Are you serious? Are you fucking serious with this? Did, 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 did you get a fucking free toaster with this too? Good night, three-eyed cat. Good night. Oh, Yasumi Nasai. How's the challenger doing in cold Montana? It is failing. I have never driven a car that is so bad on snowy and icy roads. It's horrible. 
Now, granted, I don't have snow tires on. That's my mistake. That is a huge mistake. Uh, but uh, this fu this fucking car will get stuck in like a fucking micrometer of snow. Ah, all right. Let's see, guess this is Bamber's game. You need that spaceship. Uh, what spaceship? Talking about talking about the Enterprise. Mmm. Thank you. <laughs> Push the button. Good. It's like a uh, uh, it's like a meat boy. Push the buttons. Oh my God! If you. Everybody knows shit. Fuck. Okay, um, is Weird Science the one with the babe? Yes. Babe with the power. Uh, it's the... Weird Science is the movie where Gary and Wyatt, two, two nerds, make a woman with their computer. And then crazy hijinks ensue. Well, goodbye. You bye. Really nervous. I mean, that's the thing. But the car not driving well on the roads compounds the the already you know the the situation of me not leaving uh, <clears throat> my house. Yeah, weird science is great. Well, I started just like quoting the whole goddamn movie because I I lived it. Oh, ouch! Weird science. Plastic tubes and pots and pans behind open doors. Bits and pieces and Robert. I was gonna. I was just gonna mention that Robert Downey Jr. is in it, and he plays such a douche. He is like the biggest fucking douche in the thing. Actually, he's like he's like assistant douche to like the bigger douche. But man, when you watch that movie, you're like, wow. He is an absolute douche in this movie. Okay, let's go. Come on now. Mm, uh, no one can do the quote. What did Crazy say? I'm sorry, Crazy. I missed it. Weird science. Uh, never buy a rear-wheel car for winter. Unless you have lots of experience with them, and even still, they aren't good a choi uh, good choice. Uh, my perspective is, uh, the winters here that I will have to endure are not long. Oh my god, if you would please just, you know, get your ass on the platform. Thank you, I would love to just, you know, continue making... Oh god, I fucked up, yep. That would have been it if I would not have if I wouldn't have burned my extra jump. <clears throat> Man versus guitar, hello. Man versus guitar. Uh, what are you talking about? It's probably because your cities are igloo towns in the middle of winter. What? It's because of weird science. Oh, oh, you're doing like a labyrinth quote? Uh, oh! Because I said, the babe with the power. Power voodoo, who do, do what? Mommy is the babe. I saw my baby. I'm crying all at me. Cry. What could I do? Are you happy? Adam Man says, yo man, other than being awesome at gaming. Uh, what are your other skills? Yo, I catch your sarcasm, and fuck you too! I'm just kidding, uh... <laughs> Jeez. Uh, did you, did you have a complex? Um... My other skills? I can, uh, uh play the guitar very poorly. Uh, I can... Uh... Bleh. Would you please! <laughs> um... I don't know. I really do like acting. Um, I kind of miss it. 
from time to time. I hope I can do more acting at some point. Uh, either live or, you know, any kind of whatever, voice work, film work, whatever. I'm not really going to actively seek that stuff, though. <clears throat> um, but I do, I do enjoy it. I miss the thrill of getting up on stage and becoming another person. Oh my god! And I fucked up again. My goodness. You cannot jump on off that platform. I know there's no sarcasm there. I was pretending to have a complex about how uh, awful I am at video games. Pretending, you see. Acting! Hey, goodbye. You have a great idea for a movie. Uh... What is it? Don't keep me waiting. Oh, there it is. Uh... Hold on. So here's the movie idea. This is your movie idea. Starring you as a warrior king. Wouldn't work at all. If you, if you think this kind of physique is going to be a, 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 a fucking warrior king that, that, that anybody's going to follow, you're out of your goddamn minds! <laughs> and your quest to tame a dragon to enhance your kingdom strength. Gotta tell you, I'm not feeling it at all. At all. Uh, sounds terrible. <laughs> oh my god uh, you know what I don't care I would totally act in that and I would sell it and in fact it would be a great excuse for me to get in shape I would go uh, Christian Bale on that shit god damn it okay if you could just not die and then do the thing oh my god I would have had it. I just realized I would have had it. Uh, a warrior king that works at Hot Topic. Hey, monkey! You can shove that crack up your ass. Hot Topic. You silly bitch. How many total deaths to the uh, the Twin Orcs? I think it was just over a thousand, wasn't it? I mean, it was like I don't remember. It was it was it was, it was a thousand something. Let's see. When do I give up? Usually, if um, if I'm not enjoying a game. Ah, uh, well, you done fucked that one up. Damn it. Let's take a moment here and see what the hell I have to do. So I have to get on that platform. <coughs> There's another platform down and around. I, I'm just getting the feeling that it'd be better to like go low. Um, I've given up. There are a few games out there. I am... Pain to admit that uh, you know I, I I I set to beat on this broadcast and I did not. Um, there haven't been any that were you know because it was like just too hard. Um, it was one of them was uh, The Witcher, and that was because I was just having like really weird, stupid audio issues with it, um, and I just the game did not grab me. It just didn't appeal to me, and the thought of just Drag, you know, just uh, uh, trudging through the entirety of a fucking RPG when I just didn't give a damn. Uh, I just didn't want to do it. Manhunt was another one. Can you believe that? Man versus game during October for manslaughter month. I did not want to keep playing Manhunt. 
And it's a very simple reason why. It was not fun in the slightest. And it was janky as fuck. And it was just... Oh. Um, it just was not... It just was not fun. It was not enjoyable. Um, and I think it was, You know what it was? I was talking earlier about those expectations. I think it's just because I had my expectations up. I was like, oh my god, Manhunt. This is the game you've been waiting to play. Uh, and it's absolutely true. Uh, when I thought of the, the manslaughter month theme for October, um, I was like, oh my god, yeah, Manhunt. That'd be perfect. And so I, I was going like, to kind of wait on it. And uh, Jesus. What a rotten piece of shit game it is <laughs> it's, i'll put it i'll put it this way i think it was it was definitely something you know you you might want to experience when it first came out just because of the shock value and and you know the greediness and all that but uh it is not aged well at all because it's it's that's all it is it's just like shock value that uh like now it's fucking tame as fuck you know, the, the executions and stuff, it's just like, blah, blah, you like, stab the guy, blah, 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 and it's, he was like, like, dude, if I could, I was just watching the, like, Mortal Kombat on this other Twitch channel, and, like, they're showing, like, x-rays of, like, like, guts being jammed in, and, like, skulls cracking, and it was like, you are not gonna shock me with this shit, and it really, to me, it, uh, you know, and I'll put it this way, I'll add this, one of the things that, uh, uh, that I was not enjoying was the, uh, the sneaking aspect of it, it just got really boring waiting for, uh, the, you know, these AI guards just kind of, like, lumber around the thing, I was just like, oh my god, so, there you go. That's another one. Yeah, Manhunt. Uh, Halo 4 is another one that Zeke and I started on Men's Day. And, uh... I can't remember what happened. We were, well, because we were, of course, playing through it on uh, Legendary. And it just was such a grind. And it was just so, like... I don't know, for me... At a certain point, I was just like... I'm, I'm good on the whole Halo thing. Like, Halo 3. I finished the fight. It was fucking great. Great game. Loved Halo 3. Right on. I'm good. Halo 4 was just like... You know, it had some new guns, and then there was like the new alien... Uh, factions and whatnot. Uh, there was just something about it that just... It was really grindy and really just... Ah, man... Deep down, I would still go back to it to finish it. Absolutely. Just immediately. You know, I, I can grind, okay? I can grind through some shit. Uh, but, uh... What's going on? Hold on. I did beat the twins. I told you. The nation. Isn't the nation a band? Why? What am I thinking of? I have no idea. Oh my god! Why do I have to keep sucking? The thing that sucks is I'm gonna get on that platform. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, okay, I did it. Now what the fuck do I do? Uh, let's see here. I like Cortana having more of a role in Halo 4. See, that was the thing. I will not lie. Um, I was never really, uh, totally, oh, the National, that was exactly what I was thinking of, I'm sorry, the National, yep, um, the story of Halo was never really, oh, never really mattered to me, it was all about that gameplay, all about that multiplayer, uh, all about that, um, Blood Gulch. With the warthogs and the tanks, the scorpions, fucking ghosts. That is all I cared about with Halo. It was a cool story. The Flood, Halo, all that shit. Um, but overall, 
it wasn't anything that I really got deeply involved in. <laughs> Just don't go from suck to blow. What's the matter? It's Mega Mate, sir. She's gone from suck to blow. Get the gun. Would you just fly high? You're never gonna die. You're gonna. Ma oh my God! In heaven, why? I get it. 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 I got it. It's right there. It's in there. Here we go. Well, there are rumors that the Halo Master Chief Collection will make its way to Windows 10. Oh, goody! I can't wait to dig into that pile of shit. Um, sorry if I sound uh, a little sarcastic, because I've heard nothing but bad things about the uh, uh, Master Chief Collection. It's probably probably the rumor is that once they uh, fix the damn game. Then they'll do it. Okay. Let's see here. Would you? I'm sorry, did you say would you? Yes, a Jew made of wood. Um. The movie deal. Yeah, I. Uh, sure. Sign me up. I'll do it. Uh, Quiler21. Just calm down. Just calm down. Uh, the multiplayer is pretty much shit. But the campaign is still awesome as ever. That's good. Really, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, all, all I've really heard about is how they're, like, the matchmaking is just baroque. Like, baroque -in. Mm. <laughs> I'm interested in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. A little bit. Uh, a little bit. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, yeah, I might like to play a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 5, but uh, it's uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, or you know, the Grand Theft Auto series has never been a series that I really got sucked into. I know. <coughs> the kids love this one. Spaceballs the flamethrower! Um, alright. Get your butt off! Get your booty on the bus tonight. Make my day. Make my day. Let a Schwartz be with you. Coffee. Let's see. If there, there is no and we're... Where is the end? Um, there's an end. Well, there's an end. I am not going to play a single solitary second of H1Z1. That is the hipster street coming out of me. Full bore. Um, it looks like a fine enough game. It does. The survival stuff. I I I, I have no interest in playing uh, 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 any of them, except for one. There's one that I really want to give a good. <clears throat> I want to do a man versus Minecraft session. That's the survival uh, game that I want to play. I want to. I want to. I want to as blindly as possible. I hardly know anything about the game. I really do not know much at all. <clears throat> um, but I would really like to just go in blind, see what the fuck the big deal is all about, and uh, and see if I can kill the Ender Dragon.
Big donut gets it. Yes. Um. So I think for me, um, the difference is uh, the world of Minecraft is just more engaging for me. Like the I love the the retro, very simple, you know, pixelated style. That's great. It's classic. Um. You know, these, like, gray washed out... Now, this is the thing. I am totally ripping on H1Z1 for the same reasons that uh, Chatia would rip on uh, Demon Souls. And I would defend it. Be like... Blah, 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 blah. But, um... Um... You know, I don't know. There's just something about the... Uh, you know what it is? Here's the thing. I bet H1Z1 is a, is a fine game. I bet people are having a blast playing it. And you know what it is for me right now? It is my fucking hipster streak in me. Where, like, all these people are playing this fucking game, and I'm just like, you know what? They're like, hey, do you want to play with H1Z1? And, and there's just something in me where I'm just like, fuck H1Z1. <laughs> like, just because there's so much hype for it and so much love for it, I just, I just want to be that guy on the other side that's just like, Fuck H1. I don't give a shit about it. There's a bit of that. There's a bit of that mixed with genuine, uh, you know, uh, own interest. I'm not interested in the game. It'll happen. I don't have any plans right now uh, as to like when I'll do it. Uh, it's very likely uh, it could be this year. All right. Let us focus on the task at hand, dear lard. Get over there, you silly boop boop. And see, it's just that easy. Hey! You goddamn surly fucking dumb drop looking piece of shit. Brain man is about to be motherfucker. I'm okay. Mm hmm. Now, going blind to Minecraft with no one to guide you might end up being frustrating. We'll, we'll talk about it. I love, I love, we can talk about it back there. Um, hey, dude. I, I can't get off unless it's frustrating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, I need that, uh, that auto-erotic asphyxiation. Asphy Should not have even attempted that word at this point. Uh... You know, I need that, uh, the frustration, the frustration, uh, I need the sour so I can, uh, savor the sweet. Okay, Lao Tzu. Where did you go? Okay, um, here we go. Boston. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, stop suching. I want to such. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say, just ignore it, guys. Vivi, uh, is it Vivan? Viv Vivian, Vivian, Vivian the Great? Asks, man, what game do you hate the most? Mankind? Uh... What game would you say I hate the most? <laughs> I'm expecting uh, two, two, two games to pop up here. Uh, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, that's one of them. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is probably that's the game that came to mind first. Um, yeah, it just yo, woo. Limbo was the other one. Yes, and the thing is, I don't hate Limbo. I really don't. Um, it just. 
whatever. I just <laughs> talking about limbo still. Oh my god. If I would have known the day that I played through limbo in one sitting, just fucking noob trapped my way through the whole fucking thing, just died on everything, got through it, blah, got to that piece of garbage ending. Uh, I don't know if I would have given such a strong reaction uh, if I would have known that I would still be talking about like limbo and, and trying to like go, it's, it's, not, it's not horrible. It's just blah. Now, having said that, I think I've shown this on the uh, on the cast before, but I, I just want to find this. Um, the vi- the video quality of this, uh, or you know, the uh, fidelity or whatever, the uh, uh, it is it is is blurry as fuck. Um, but uh, if you've ever wondered why, you know, people always you know, ask about limbo and stuff like this. Here is a quick edited video, video distilling my experience playing Limbo. Uh, why has it got to be like that? Why do you got to do that? Let me. I'm going to switch the scene manually here so that I don't skip ahead in the YouTube video again. Or not, because I have no idea. Hi! Pardon me, I, I'll be moving right along. Hey, this is no! It, no! It, oh, oh, it, hey, uh, it, uh, it, there you go. For fuck's sake, here we go. Man versus Limbo. The quick and dirty version. Limbo. Son of a bitch! Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit on me! Oh, I'm dead. Bullshit! Oh, balls! <laughs> No oh, balls! Another death. Hotel shit! Shit! Jesus God! Fuck! Fuck your blade! What are you doing, you dumb fuck? Ow, my head! Damn you! You fucking asshole! Fuck! Oh, fuck it. Fucking idiots! <laughs> what is wrong with you, you stupid fuck? What are you doing, kid? Stupid fucking kid! <laughs> Holy dumb fuck! Pokemon! Noob trap! My fucking head! We are having a good time. <laughs> we Shit. are having a good time. Fuck this game, man. Shit nuts! No, no, put the cookie down. Oh, fuck you! Fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Fifteen dollars for this piece of shit! And that is, that is. The T is 44, I love that. I, you dumb fuck! Whoa! Man. Noob trap, my fucking head! My fucking having- head! Alright, I couldn't see what anyone was saying in the chat, but, uh... Yeah, that was, uh... I can't remember how long it took me to play through the game. It was like three hours, four hours, something like that. So, that's pretty much what it was. It was just, you know... A lot of... A lot of noob traps. A lot of shit setups, like... Designed to kill you immediately, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, okay, I gotta do the blah, blah, blah. Um, and I, I just really didn't care for the ending. And, and uh, the thing, here's the thing, expectations. I keep going back to this. You know what? Today's broadcast is brought to you by expectations. Keep them low, if at all. If you gotta have them, keep them low. Um, I went into limbo knowing that um, it had already won uh, Indie Game of the Year uh, at the prestigious Spike TV, whatever, Video Game Awards. So I was like, well, I, this one, and, and it's visually, you know, uh, appealing, and looks cool, and I gotta check it out. And so, just as I played through it, you know, it was fairly short, and that fucking ending was just fucking lame. I'm sorry. It's just such a fucking... Boring, <laughs> it's like a non-ending. Um, and so, yes, so when I got to the end, that's why I, you know, I had a pretty strong reaction. Oh my god! $15 for this piece of shit! Um, again, the, the, a big, big, well, where that was coming from was I had been 
living and loving Super Meat Boy for months already. Like, I was just smitten with that game. Um, uh, obsessed. Played it all the time. Uh, it was a it was a big draw on the cast. Loved it. it was packed, like jam-packed with content. Fucking Danny Bernowski's amazing soundtrack. Uh, Tommy's fucking just beautiful control. Uh, Edmund's designs. It's just the whole thing was such a sweet package. And so, you know, I had pretty big... Yeah, I had some pretty uh, hefty expectations for Limbo. And I was just like, not even close. Not even close. Game Spine Joe! Are you new here? Are you here? Around these parts? 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 Well, 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 well. Let me just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Friend. Friend. For the support. For the support. For the support. Welcome to Man. Kind, 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 kind. Game spying spy show. show, 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 show. What, do you, what do you and do you and do you and do you think about limbo? Think about limbo. <laughs> <laughs> no boy. Um man, did you play Braid and did you enjoy the puzzles? Braid. Um <clears throat> what was I saying? I have a braid of feces uh, in my undershorts now. Sorry about that. Really, really sorry about that, guys. God damn it. Um, uh, what was the question? Oh yeah, Braid. Brilliant. Love Braid. Braid, uh, the puzzles in Braid. Fucking gorgeous. Glorious. Um, <laughs> the thing is, uh, with Braid, uh, I really, ah, I really appreciated Braid from the, you know, the mechanics standpoint. Um, and, and just the aesthetic of the game, like the, 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 the art of the game just looked like a fucking, oh man, it's like a painting come to life, it's beautiful. Um. And uh, it's crazy. Did you guys know that uh, the character, the original character designs uh, of Braid, uh, are actually the work of Edmund McMillan. Um, and I think, like, late in the development, um, uh, I think Jonathan Blow ended up having the the artist who was uh, doing the backgrounds, just kind of like you know do his style of the character over the uh, 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 the designs of, of Edmund just to give the game a more cohesive look, I think. Anyway, but that blew my mind. Um, did I play Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I fucking played Kingdom Hearts. Sleepy Walker! With that with ever that popular, popular donation, donation of the beast! beast. Oh, what's going, on? what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Sleepy Walker, thank you so much. Says, if you hate Kingdom Hearts, how do you feel about the upcoming Final Fantasy 15? I have no opinion on it because I have no idea what the fuck is even going on with it. It's just not even a blip on my radar. Uh, the message continues. I personally think it looks amazing, and I look forward to the Kingdom Hearts style combat for a new Final Fantasy game. That right there, that I think is good. I think that's cool uh, because the combat, uh, the way they handle it in Kingdom Hearts, all of my complaining and hatred aside, was very well done for a JRPG. Holy shit. If Kingdom Hearts had, like, you know, the usual, whatever, standard, uh, you know, like, fight, magic, you know, whatever, rest, run, you know, menu navigating style. Uh, combat. I don't even know that I would have been able to finish the fucking game. Um, so that's cool. I, I think it's cool that uh, they are apparently uh, giving the Final Fantasy some little bit more tactile kind of uh, combat. <laughs> All white. Let's go. 
I'm so money on this part. Damn. Uh, oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Let me see here. Uh, tactical, a tactical black man. Uh, why well, hate on Kingdom Hearts? Because I fucking hate Disney and uh, I hate JRPGs. <laughs> Not all of them, but uh, put it to you this way: the mixture of the Disney characters with, uh, like, you know, Square Enix kind of Final Fantasy type anime kind of characters felt clunky and and all I gotta say is Sora Th that is the protagonist you give me that I'm supposed to fucking identify with and like you know connect with and feel for it's like you gotta be out of your fucking mind I mean, yes maybe if I'm five years old or eight or ten whatever and I'm sorry I don't mean to I really don't mean to offend people who are fans of the game I really don't. I'm sorry, because I know I implied right there that, like, it's a game for kids. <laughs> but, oh my god, Sora is just fucking annoying. I remember playing through the game, I was like, this guy is just so dumb. He's, like, too dumb to live. It's like, and this is the guy that I'm supposed to, you know, root for through the whole fucking thing? Fuck that. Anyway. Uh, let me just catch up here really quick. Okay. You're gonna make the ending any better if you think if you think about it, provided the amount of closure that the game series demanded. Uh, I should think. Oh, we're talking about Mass Effect. Okay, I thought you were talking about the limbo ending. I was like closure. Uh, okay, none of your complaints are invalid. Well, and that, it's it's subjective, right there. My complaints is just like I don't. I I was not enthusiastic about walking around with my fucking, you know, teammates being Donald and Goofy the whole game. And, yes, the protagonist of Sora was just excruciating. <laughs> Alright. Enough bitching. What? 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 Goodbye. Uh, so, but I, I totally, you know, agree the combat was for a JRPG fucking incredible um one moment <laughs> sorry it's a habit Solgren where were you in my time of great uh, victory what is going on man there was a there was a moment after I won. I was like, "Did the soul the soul I was like, "Did I say something?" And it's like it's like you know, I'm just not thinking rationally. It's like no, he probably had shit to do. It's like people they're not gonna sit here and watch you for these stupid long casts you do. The entire thing. Uh, all right, let's go. So yes, progress has been achieved. And I was talking a little bit with uh, Bulbasaurus Rex about, uh, you know, strategies. You surly son of a salty swine. And uh, there really wasn't, you know, I don't think there was anything that I was really missing. Um, it was, I was, the thing I was missing was the dodge. I was tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Inverse phase, you are here. I like your style. Uh, all right. He's in like Lemley. Uh, hey, it's cool. Hey, come and go. You come and go. You come and go. Come and come in. Yes, law. Would you get? Hup, chup, pa. Now, oh, oh, I was so ready. I was so ready for it. Stuck with you except for that morning nap. Nappy poo. Uh, did Zeke get past Sonic today? I, I'm going to guess no. Here we go. Kyan with uh, the question that uh, everyone else is afraid to ask. So who here thinks we should legalize murder? Uh, anyone? Anyone? 
Vlandil Bratskiller. That name. That name. That name. That name. That support. 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 That 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 that. Thank you for the uh, uh, <laughs> thank you for the support, uh, Varandil Bratskular. Dear Lord, anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Varandil Bratskular uh, says, "Thank you, man, for still being online. So pleased for seeing that you've finally beaten the Orc Twins. You and me both, and many other people, I'm sure. I'm definitely going to watch that video and get my cheer on." In the downtime, keep up the good work. Enjoy, enjoy the strange kind of you know. It's like it's like a celebration with probably more like relief. <laughs> it's like at first like yeah, it's, it's like a burst of. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling it. Enjoy the video. I'm sorry, I spoiled it. And here we go, anonymous. Thank you for the donation. Just a question: Kingdom Hearts 2.5 run hype. Sure. What will probably end up happening uh, is, I swear to God, as an atheist, uh, that at some point I will relinquish my selfish, uh, you know, decision to, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Choose the games I play. I, w- I want to work out some kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, like, pattern. Like, I pick the game maybe, like, twice in a row, three times or something like that, and then, like, you guys can pick a game or something like that. Maybe it's like, I pick, you pick. Something like that. Um, because I do. I want to get back. I would love to have you guys uh, have the chance to vote on, um, you know, the game we play. And so, of course... My assumption is that, you know, you're all a bunch of fucking trolls, as you made very clear. Uh, the first, and so far the only time, not really the only time, but uh, the, the last time that I uh, let you guys uh, uh, pick any game, uh, the Cadgar Brothers uh, were able to set up on, you know, MVG.TV through the, uh, the poll system. People were able to just write in uh, a game and that's really what I wanted I didn't want to have like a selection of games because I'd done that before in the past and they're always they're always so predictable because I would try and get like a good you know selection you know like I'd have an indie game I'd have you know whatever like a or like triple A game here blah 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 but down the line never failed Whichever game was the biggest release, or whichever game was, you know, the most popular, that's the game I would play. And it just got boring. So, I loved uh, having the opportunity uh, for people to just write in the vote. And it worked very well. And, of course, what did you guys do? You squandered it and made me play fucking Kingdom Hearts. Pieces of shit. And, uh... (laughs) So, I don't doubt that the next time uh, we open that up... And it is going to be Mankind Only. So that's the difference. The first time it was anybody could vote. So there were tons of votes. And of course, well, my hope is that uh, maybe this time around we'll get, uh, ah! yeah. get some more, uh, you know, like genuine like votes. Or like what you want me to play. So that is something else I want to do. Uh, we'll get back to, oh, 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 oh. Oh no. You killed the shit poop! Last optional boss can suck it. Uh, are you talking about Kingdom Hearts? With the. Wait a minute. You, oh yeah, oh yeah, Cobalt, that's right. I was watching you playing some Kingdom Hearts. And nobody even made you do it! <laughs> Sucks at games. I'm sorry, man. I tried to rig the poll system so that would happen. Wait, I mean, not happen. Sucks the games! I'ma kill you! It packs south. I'm joking. Well What I'm saying is fart on it. 
Would you please? Would you please? Bullseye, Bullseye mayhem! mayhem! Are you a video game? Sound pretty fun. Pretty fun. Welcome to mankind! Thank you for the support. Come on in. Come on in. We're just talking about talking about talking about talking about Kingdom Hearts. Bullseye Mayhem, thank you so very much. I think that's pretty, uh, uh, it's probably a, uh, uh, welcome back, too. Okay, it's so cold outside of my bed, how to get out. Oh, you're, you're like, you're, it's, a, you're like, it's like, uh, uh, you're in the womb. And you don't want to let the stank out. <laughs> Gross. Get down. Oh, hey, watch your head now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one's a doozy. You hear that clicking? It's bad. It's bad. You don't want to spoil. Uh, I'm not too worried. Uh, <laughs> Bland Hill Beyond Skiller. Didn't you see the game? The spikes ate me! Whoa, my. Okay. Uh, that looks not so bad. Here's the game list that man has played, finished. Yes! That's really. That's really. Uh, got so much shit for me to do. Um, that is, uh, I believe, upkept uh, by. Duff Mana. Whose name is actually Duff Man A. But because I played Magic the Gathering, when I first met him, I was like, D and now is, is your name Duff Mana? And from then on, he became Duff Mana. Oh! Fuck you! Oh! Whoa, man! Whoa, man! Whoa! Oh! Dear. Bag him. Wake of Osiris! Sir, what is going on? Wait a minute. Hey man, how goes the wings V? Sadly, I have been trapped at work due to ice and shitty weather. Oh, oh my god. That's, that's kind of sucky. Uh, not to just totally downplay how shitty that actually is. Oh, you're stuck at work because <laughs> Shitty weather. Oh, that's kind of sucky. Yeah, kind of sucky. What do I think of Metroid Other M? John Matrix. Why are you guys just like feeding me these like these obvious troll questions where you just want to hear me rant about piece of shit games that had no business even being considered uh, to be included in the canon of the the glorious classic series that, 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 that they tried to jam it into. You know what I think about Metroid Other M? It was phoned in and off-putting. Uh, it was absolutely horrendous. Um, listening to the fucking soppy, sappy, shitty dialogue they gave uh, uh, Samus. I'll just say, uh, in having Samus talk in the first place, removed a whole, you know, lifetime of mystique and just fucking cool, badass swagger that she had. Listening to her go on and on, drone on about the baby, the baby. But what about the baby? You're like, what are you doing to one of my favorite characters? And that's not even the worst. That wasn't even the worst part. Uh, Metroid Other M was great. It was shit. It was absolute shit. The gameplay wasn't even that great. And and and, and the 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 the, the, you know, the game the gameplay was like whatever. It's like serviceable, great. Uh, it wasn't engaging. It was nothing like uh, Metroid Prime. Any of the Metroid Primes. I would. 
play any of the Metroid Primes over Metroid Other M. Metroid Other M was um, just a mess, just a fucking mess. And um, uh, the worst part about it was, uh, 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 yeah, the way they <laughs> made Samus a subordinate. Uh, she, she was like, you know, she was at the beck and call of, uh, you know, some random fucking asshole, like General Dillhole, whatever you want to call him. You know, she, like, it was so dumb that they used that as, like, part of the reason why she couldn't explore areas in the game. It's like, you want to go in this hallway and be like, uh, Samus, I'm sorry, I can't allow you to make use of your fucking, you know, proton beam to get over there. He was like, fuck you! I'm a goddamn, I'm the most badass bounty hunter in the galaxy. So why don't you uh, take your direct order and stick it up your ass? I mean, I get it that they were trying to use it for, like, you know, why you couldn't explore that area yet, but it was just stupid, and it, and it was just, it made Samus look like a, a weak, uh, uh, you know, powerless against subordinate. She was just like, uh, it was stupid. There was that, and then, uh, oh my god, sorry if I'm spoiling this for anybody, but uh, the meeting with uh, 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 Raiden, Hold on, that's not right. God damn it, hold on. My brain. Help me. Help me. Uh, of course, Samus was subordinate at some point. You weren't born a, a great bounty hunter with military training and shit. Um, but didn't Other M take place after... Metroid, Super Metroid, all that shit. Ridley! Thank you. The fucking scene where she fucking fights Ridley. She just like breaks down. She's like just... <gasps> <gasps> fucking like... Fucking Ridley. What a horrible character assassination of, you know, a truly badass... One of the great... Um, feminine role models in video games. Such a rarity in the first place. Yeah, thanks for, uh, you know, putting her back where she belongs in Other M, taking orders from a man, and then standing there pissing her pants uh, when Ridley, uh, an enemy who she was already very familiar with, she had defeated multiple times already, they have this full fucking scene where she sits there and like, just like, <laughs> you're like, what is this fucking bullshit? Other M is shit. Other M is absolute shit. Uh, I think there's a reason why a lot of people, myself included, don't even consider it canon. It was a complete mess. Nintendo made a huge mistake trying to work with uh, Team Ninja on that. Uh, fuck that game. Fuck that game to infinity. The gameplay was dry and bland. You didn't even have to fucking uh, to like shoot enemies in the room the way it was set up. It was just like a fucking you know four way axis. It's like you just had to like turn in the general direction and then it would just automatically shoot an enemy. It was just just watered down bullshit. Not even worthy of the Metroid name. Fuck Metroid Other M. And I'm done. Well, congratulations. You did it. You got me. And who was it? Was that a donation? Nope. It was a uh, sub. Or something. Judge Raw. Judge Raw. Zero, zero. zero, 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 zero. You are the Raw. Welcome to Mankind, Welcome to Judge, Raw. Judge Raw. Thank you so much Thank for your support. So support. Feel free to join us in the Man Cave. Where you are now one of us. One of us. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but I fucking hated Other M. Her dialogue was horrible. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible fucking game. 
And, and, and I remember I was reading about Metro. You didn't hear. I am still talking about it. Um, I remember reading about Metroid Other M, and for a while, like. It was planned as like a fucking like on-rail shooter. Am I making that up? Does anybody remember that? And you could tell to me because it's so simplistic. The the gameplay was just so phoned in. I don't know. And yeah, whip, chip, pa. Now, really, Shimone. Mm -hmm. Sucks the games. Not for me. Yeah, it was bad. It was just really disgusting watching uh, Team Ninja just sexualize uh, 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 Samus, which in and of itself, not such a bad thing, because you could be sexy and powerful. Uh, the thing that was just so disgusting was watching them turn her into some kind of like sexual object, make her subordinate to a man who was giving her orders throughout the whole fucking thing, and who was like, he was the th he was the mechanic he was like the thing that kept you from like going into areas <laughs> it was ridiculous uh mixed with that and then um uh yeah just as far as i'm concerned well never mind never mind and i'm done again all right <laughs> excuse me Uh, nobody would cleanse the Metroid ballot than Super Metroid Prime. Dude, Metroid Prime. I have said that I suck. Mm, big giant throbbing cock. Multiple times. I've said that. Kingdom Hearts is good with combat, but with the cross over part and steery. Yes. Mmm, wings V. Mm, big booty bitches. I did. I totally put those big booty bitches in the place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nigel told him, What's wrong with being sexy? Uh, I think, uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with being sexy. Um, it was just the mix of, of them taking away her power, giving it to a man, putting her in the zero suit all the fucking time, which again, in and of itself, not a bad, not a big deal. But it's the mix of the two that, that just really, I swear to God, I, I really feel that game was like fucking character assassination for uh, Samus Aran. Shrip. Get down, get down, oh! Now here's the thing! Oh, I do declare. I hit the wrong button. Alright. Uh, ooh! Bullseye Mayhem. Hey man, what would you consider to be the best 2D Castlevania game? Oh, shit. Right off the top of my head, I'm inclined to say Akumo Joel Densetsu. I am inclined to say Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Uh, now hold on, hold on! It's so difficult. Because I have <laughs> with the whole <laughs> I feel so strong, not strongly, but uh, like, like uh, uh, Symphony of the Night. Because after I said that, I thought, wait a minute, Symphony of the Night is a 2D Castlevania. The way my brain interpreted your question was, what would you consider to be the, the best 2D, um, you know, um, non-Metroid-like <laughs> Castlevania? Um, and yes, so thinking about that now, yes, Symphony of the Night would probably be it, yes. But in terms of, yeah, if we're talking about the best Castlevania game, you know, like the classic, you know, level with the boss at the end, uh, uh, linear. If you're talking about the, the best linear 2D uh, Castlevania game, yeah. Castlevania 3. Super Castlevania 4 was fun too. 
Anyway, super aggressive in gumbo. Uh, I could see that. Super aggressive in four soundtrack. Fucking, uh, it's great. Yeah, it's absolutely great. <laughs> Pearly nerfing. Yeah, that would be a lot of Castlevania. A lot of Vavania. <laughs> what a horrible name that occurs. Oh my! Hello, highway for you. The torch is real. Uh oh. Man, it's stream. But my cruel internet will not allow me to load the stream. God, I hate that shit. There's just. The shit internet is, uh. It'll get you. Gosh darn. Let's just really do this. What are you doing? Oh my god. So does it mean the walls have digestive systems, intestines, poop? I don't know. What's that there? An anus? I say yes. Come on now! Oh! I just... I gotta get that timing down. Uh, I've actually been casting now for about... 30 hours. 30 or 32 hours. Something like that. Whoop! Missed it. Damn, 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 damn. Man, have you ever watched the shows The Man Show and Mansers? Mm, briefly. Like, just... Not really. I really, really, really have not, I guess. Oh, oh, now. Would you please? Oh. Really, man? I've got this shit. <clears throat> the mantra. The thing is, I don't even have, um... I don't even have TV at all. I don't need it. Don't want it. Didn't ask for it. It's, to be quite honest, the idea of waiting to watch something uh, instead of just going out seeking that thing I want to watch and watching it now is incredibly outdated to me. <laughs> I just don't care. TV and you know, like HBO and stuff like that. I'm just like. We had TV uh, for a while um, for a couple of series. Breaking Bad and, uh, of course, Game of Thrones. But uh, there's just really nothing on TV anymore. And the thing is, <laughs> our cable service was, was shitty. Like, uh, I remember we'd be watching it... Um, and uh, it would just like start getting all staticky. It, like the screen would pause, you know, and which of course just pissed us off to no end. Uh, so after I think after a couple weeks of watching the the show on you know through the fucking cable service on HBO, and the fucking the 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 thing was so uh, unreliable. Like, the picture would just get shitty and stuff. You know, uh, yanking us out of the, the immersion stuff. Yeah, we just started downloading it. And you know what? We felt fine because we were paying for HBO and blah 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 and fuck it. I'm just I'm just glad that they're finally, you know, get, getting it, uh, uh, you know, updated so that, so that people can pay HBO to download the show or watch it or stream it or whatever. That's what they're doing now, right? I think so. And it's not tied to, like, you know, having HBO on your cable, you know, uh, bill. Just so stupid. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, the internet uh, is definitely just... It, it, it has completely taken over in terms of the source of entertainment, 
socializing, research, you know, whatever. It's, it's just so, like, uh, I don't know. Even, like, uh, I remember our cable service, um, when we had TV, we also had the, the on-demand uh, channels. And they were a joke because they were <laughs> there were all these shows that I think originally were like they would bro- they'd be broadcast in like HD, but like all the on-demand options were like fucking SD. Uh, it was that thing where like okay, you're watching it on a uh, on a widescreen TV. Can you see it there? Can you see the widescreen TV? How about this? The box I mean, your widescreen TV. Uh, so then it would be. Uh, it would be uh, the SD version of that, so it'd be cut off on the sides, but still letterbox. So it's like you know, you have the, the the box here, but then it's like just this tiny little fucking widescreen box in in the box. It was so uh, just waste of time, waste of time. Okay, um, uh, it hasn't been detailed. Okay, it can't be worse than what they've got right now. Uh oh, let's see here. I love man versus game. I think you should probably go talk to your girlfriend, um, because all you're doing now is just making it so that I don't want to play the game. Sorry. I think you need to learn a thing or two about human psychology. There are better ways to get what you want without. Boldly and directly asking. So, uh... Who else has got any questions for me? Questions? Anybody got any questions? Um... I'm going to really enjoy not playing this game for a while. Um... Juice! It's time to drink juice! I love juice. Mmm. Juicy, juicy, juice. Haha, <laughs> Gumbo. Hey, man! Do you like questions? No. Sorry. Man, are you going to do a Bloodborne run when it comes out? Yes! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, uh, I love Man vs. Game. Uh, just, just so you're aware, um, people tell me to play the game. Probably one of the most fucking annoying things you can do. <laughs> And it really genuinely makes me not want to play the game. <laughs> Alright. Juice! Uh, I got the fresh pots over here. Alright, so. But I am going to play the game. <laughs> not for I Love Man vs. Game, though. You are free to watch. <laughs> if you'd like. Man, I have a question. Do you think the moon landing was staged? Absolutely not. Alright. Here we go. Uh, pot! Come on out! Aww. Oh, you shit sucker. <laughs> let's dust off limbo. Yeah, let's go for the 100%, brothers. What are you doing? Don't! That thing being there is it's very awkward. You hear me, Solgren? Awkward! Anyway, uh... Do we have some front page viewers? Hello. Hi, everybody. Hanging out at the Twitch front page. Welcome to Twitch. Your home for live video game entertainment on the internet. Welcome! Welcome. Welcome. Also, 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 who is that? Who is that? 
I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, what the hell's going on? Sorry, this Sorry. is very embarrassing. Uh, it's not really the kind of first impression you want to get if maybe you're visiting this website for the first time. Just know that this never happens. This, this usually doesn't happen. Uh, who is it? I didn't read the damn thing. And I have no... I have nothing. Was it vertible? Hold on. Play that goddamn game. Vertible! So very sorry that I missed you. Uh, welcome back to mankind. Come on in. Save me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? There we go. Survey set! Bam. Now, this is easy. Earth girls are easy. We have Twitch front page viewers? I don't even know. I have. I don't even know. Probably. People are telling me. I'd like to believe it's true. Green Man 360. Hello. Mm. This thing. Yeah, look at that. It's my special gun. Oh! <laughs> Fuck it. I go to the front page. I mean... I do a lot of, like, just typing in of URLs. I do. I just say, hey! Oh! Oh! Now! Would you please? Oh, my God! Mmm. I get up there. Don't jump. I love how I got onto that fucking platform the first time. Uh. Alright. This is your starting page? Oh, Bone Hero, that's awesome. Or wait, do you mean like Twitch? Either way, it is awesome. Shoutouts to Sleepy Walker. Sleepy. Any more sleeping or walking? <laughs> Have you talked about the Marvel thing? A little bit, Judge Ra. I would love to cover it again because I don't fully know what the fuck is going on. Down time! 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 You did it! You did it! You're in! You're in. You're in. Welcome to mankind! Uh, Come on in! Go on in. Whatever, 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 do, do the thing, thing, just, thing, just, just, you know what, you know what, you know thank, what? thank you, thank you, all I want you all to know is that I appreciate it, okay, I'm still going strong, like my erection, I'm about to wreck shit with this erection, okay, now, uh, don't fuck this up, man, uh, pow, I fucked it up, Hmm. Let's see here. On the front page, if you're mature, 18 plus streamer, uh, does it ask if you are over 18 or whatever it says? It does not. So, you are taking a bit of a risk when you visit that home page. You might hear some fairly coarse language. Like... Shit talk! Or... <coughs> Balls! Uh, that's weird. Cal time subbed. Showed up on the, the alert and then it just showed in the chat. What the hell? Honor meat! 
You might hear the term honor meat. You might wonder to yourself, what's honor meat? Sounds delicious. I'll tell you what, friend, you don't want none of that. Oh. Okay. Maybe you do. I don't know. Oh, the Marvel thing. Uh, apparently Marvel has plans through the uh, new Secret Wars series they're going to do. What I all I gathered from the the article that somebody linked here was that uh, it's 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 not really going to be like a reboot because somebody came in and, and said that it was going to be like a like a Marvel Universe reboot. It is a full reboot, not a full. I, I feel like that fucking idiot, Joe Drar. Joe Drar's comment actually said not a full reboot. But it's a big shakeup. My eyes just went to reboot. And I was like, is it a full reboot? I was like, oh. Reading can be fundamental. It's fundamental. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, Rob Tillian. Thank you. <sighs> let's go. Let's, let's uh, go. If. This ain't no, this ain't so bad. This, the, I'm so money with this shit. Oh, God. Dial time, yes. Oh, support incoming. Jago, 88. Welcome to mankind. Thank you. Thank you. So very much. Thank you so very much for your support. Thanks for joining the community. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. At the moment, we're talking about, we're talking about talking the Marvel, about the Marvel Comics, Comics Universe, universe. And, and the weird kind of kind of kind of pizza mash they're doing. Mashes they're doing. <laughs> From what I understand, the biggest you know ramification of it is yes, they are combining the main universe and the Ultimate Universe. I. I don't know. I guess I just don't really care because I never really uh, read a lot of the. Uh, oh, oh man, I never really read a lot of the uh, Ultimate comics. If anything, it's kind of. I mean, yeah. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it right now, it's kind of a really dumb idea. Dumb really dumb because you know the the ultimate uh, comics were like a separate take on the characters but you know definitely like the same recognizable characters so you know, had like ultimate spider-man uh, ultimate uh, x-men I don't know whether ultimate comics they had but like so like basically now there's just gonna be like two sets of the same heroes in the same universe? It's like... That's dumb. Like, we're gonna have to refer to, like... You know... Uh, Spider-Man is a little bit easier, because, yeah, there's Miles Morales, um... You know, Peter Parker. You just call him that, like that, but, uh, you know, it's just like... So now... Well, well Wolverine's dead! Uh... It's always fun to see how long, you know, that'll last. Um... Oops! But it's like, are you going to have to say, like, well, ultimate Cyclops, you know, met with regular Cyclops, and they 69, and then the universe imploded, and nobody gave a shit. Um, it's, bye, goodbye. I don't know. Thinking about it now, it's just, it's kind of a dumb thing. It's like, why would you do that? It's like, here's an idea. I was actually... When somebody came in and said it was a full reboot, I was excited. Uh, you know... It's not perfect or anything, uh, and I haven't, I haven't been reading a lot of the comics, but... Um, for me, the DC New 52 reboot was um, perfect. Uh, because I had never really gotten into a lot of DC characters. Um, because... Just like with comics, it's, it's so daunting because uh, you've got like hundreds and hundreds of issues, you know, and storylines and plots to, to pick through. It's like, where do you start? 
So yeah, noon 52 was great because you could just start at number one and they would be caught up to speed. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, why are you mashing the ultimate? You really don't know. Blabber. <laughs> uh, let's hear. Okay. Or oh, do you think this is why they had the guts to do to Wolverine what they did? You know what's funny? I didn't even... That's probably... Yeah, they had that in mind. So they're like, well, let's just kill off one Wolverine, and then we'll have Ultimate Wolverine take over. Bam! Okay, um... You just tried Dark Souls 2 because my brother bought it. Rage quit after 20 minutes. Game is stupid hard. It's also stupid good. <laughs> um... It could be... Punishing. Yeah. Could you just get your butt cheeks on the platform, please? Mm. Let's see here. So, man, how much am I going to hate myself if I actually go through with Soul Level 1 No Death Bonfire Run? <laughs> a lot. I would say a lot. I would say, have a beautiful time. That's, that's nothing I would ever... Oh, my dear sweet Jesus! Uh, I need them sound effects. Damn, damn! Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like what I've been talking about like with this game. You know, dying over and over like on this scene. <laughs> the progress is been quite slow for me. I am just a slow gamer in general. But oh. um but yes, exactly. It's a, if it's genuinely challenging and genuinely difficult and you really have to push yourself to 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 achieve or you know succeed or progress, it feels really damn good. Whoops uh, daisy. <sighs> oh man look at me Uh, let's see. Marvel is going to destroy Ultimate and most of its cast. Okay, okay. That's even less interesting than, like, the mashing of the two. Uh, so it's more like DC's first crisis with one universe surviving and a few survivors. I only react like that because, again, I, I never read any of the Ultimate, uh, Comics. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere that is like, No! Don't take the ultimate universe away. And I feel genuinely sorry for that person. It's not fair. Okay, man, what do you think they are going to do for Civil War? Make it a carbon copy of the book or take some liberties? Oh, they'll absolutely take liberties. Um... We'll take the liberties. Mordecai, yes. It happened. It really did. And it was just so, like... It was a run like any other. Oh, damn, damn, damn me. Uh, let's see. You felt like the controls weren't very responsive, and when you get hit, you can't do anything. Kind of ruined it. Hmm. I don't know what to say, and I fuck. I keep fucking it up, like every single day. Blow me down! Blow me down! <laughs> sweet, sweet, juicy, juicy Jesus. Oh, man! How long has it been? It's been a while. Because, uh, my bladder. It is... It is, uh... Stop it. Okay. Oh, God, guys! I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a quick break. I need more coffee. And I need to... Get rid of some
some excess coffee. Oh my god. Hi. Uh, let me get some music going here. What do we got? Beautiful. Beautiful. So, stick around. There's going to be more broadcast after this. Oh wow, this really snuck up on me. Ah! I'm going to roll a few ads. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Enjoy the Lemato's music. Eww.
April died in 1996 and 1997. The entire population of the world. This freaking music. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Man here. <laughs> and you're tuned in to Man vs. Game. You know, you tuned in on the fucking internet, right? Uh, I got myself some coffee, and I'm still. I still have content to, uh, you know, experience. Uh, with Wings of V. We just got to a new room. I'm saying... Let's fucking do it! How's everyone doing? I finally lost my cool a little bit. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Maybe not a long, long time. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Tiasu, what is up? Lots of content. Oh, what you want to do? If you're looking to be a video game developer, you want to get an idea of what you want to put in your game, and then just stuff it with content. Just to the, to, to, to jam it in there. Just keep jamming it in there, ramming it in there, ramming it in there, ramming it in there. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> the Jesus didn't tap. I love that. I love that name too. Jesus didn't tap. You got that right. He didn't. Uh, did you guys know that Tiasu makes awesome music as well? It's actually absurd how many amazingly talented uh, musicians, composers, producers. What do you prefer? I always thought you'd like producer. I don't even know. <clears throat> Join Us is so good. And the two tracks that uh, I've heard so far from the new Turbo Kid soundtrack... Sounds like it's going to be more the same. Very clean. Very... 80s. <laughs> I think they prefer content. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I fart out content. Um, like right now. <laughs> content. Suck on that content. Okay. Um... Let's go. Th again, thank you so very much, everybody, for your patience. And, you know, I know, I am a slow-moving motherfucker. I really am. Big it, big it, big it, Would somebody please? Thank you. Oh, well, that's not it. That's the that's the highlight of me beating the, uh, the Twin Orcs. I don't even want to watch it. Uh, man, barbecue and Mexican food await you here in Texas. Yes! I love... Real Southern Barbecue! How much content is there going to be at this barbecue? Um... Any ideas for my own hearty boat? No. I've just given up. It's pretty nerfed just like... You guys a fucking idiot. Bryax! 115! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Idiot, yeah, Bryax 115. Just want to make sure I get the number right. Get the number right. Welcome to mankind, and thank you so very much for the support. Goody, goody, a new member. Boom. Um, we need man turtle. I can't even. That face. I'm glad somebody caught it because it's like I don't even know how I made that face that day. Can't do it. Uh, Solgren's talking about. My current uh, Twitter profile pic. There it is. Uh, that one. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, the thing that I I wish you could somehow get an animated GIF uh, profile pic again, because this picture is actually. I forget who made it, but uh, the background was just like a, a... It would cycle through different uh, scenes in space. It was beautiful. Anyway, uh, I don't know how to work a computer anymore, so... Uh, there we go. What's happening? Um, okay, there's a Secret Wars. Prayer of the Roller Boys. Gotta check that out. Also, what else? I don't even know. Space Sheriff Gavin. All right. How about that face? Someone made an emote out of it, and it was awesome. God damn it! <laughs> wow, I look like uh, I don't even know an alien. Anyway, I'm excited. To work my way, continue working my way through this organic, uh, living uh, thing. What the? F One moment. We're good. Am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? Get the goddamn controller on there. Tesla three forty three. Welcome back Welcome to back mankind. To mankind. Yeah? 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 <laughs> You're like, no, I've no, never been here. Been here. Well, well, well. Get your ass, get in, ass here. in here. Thank you so very Thank much for the support. support. Mm. 
I really, really genuinely need to work on some freaky cult-like welcome uh, material. Because <laughs> that's what I keep wanting to do, and then I just have nothing, and I'm just like... <sighs> Does not make for good content! No, I give that content a thumbs down. I, I, uh, I gave that a down vote. Gave that content a down vote. Uh, uh, reminds me of Willem Dafoe for some reason. Ouch. I just want to say... Ouch. Solgren. That hurts. Okay, anyway, uh, come on in, join us in this man cave. We are... Talking about shit. I'm still seriously I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm in the afterglow of JP coming in and hanging out a little bit. That was really, really fun for me. Just really fun seeing like uh, what a fucking cool guy is. He's all about film, anime. We started talking about the differences between penises and vaginas. I was a little weirded out, but uh, I was just like, whatever! You know, he's French-Canadian! <laughs> People who weren't here are like, what? Uh, this looks like ass! By the way, is I Love Man vs. Game still here? I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume that you would be. I want to say I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> yes! Mr. C, the OG, motherfucking OG, what is up? Um... The worst kind of candy, you know what? It embarrasses me to, to, like, admit this, but, uh, does anybody remember longtime viewers early on? Do you remember how I would seriously just talk shit about French Canadians? Like, way more, uh, often than I probably should? Oh god, here we go. <sighs> this is gonna be ass! Let's do it. I am stalling! Oh! What in the fuck? Yeah, that's a good idea. Wait until you are directly under the platform before you try jumping onto the platform. Uh, who was I just talking about? Um, if you ever see Youth of Yesterday in here, that is a member of Le Matos, my favorite uh, band. They're a band. They got a drummer and synths. They're a band. Okay. Uh, the music skipped while it was loading. Uh, what a piece of shit game. <laughs> ah! Ah! I love knowing when Solgren's here. So I can just really, really... Like, you don't get it enough anyway from everybody. God, I hate this game. It's stupid. Um, oh well. Uh, your favorite? Matos. I did. I, and it, well, it wasn't to irk your tea off. Uh, it's just I was being, well, I was stereotyping. Jesus, God. I just realized I'm going to have to hit that four fucking times. Wow. Yes, for reals. The ass is real. Sparkly rainbows, you did. You did, you did miss the glorious moment where I beat the twin orcs. Uh, I was... Uh, I, I, I went over the top. I was pushed to, to, to victory. For the sheer power of... Zombie dildos! Zombie dicks. Zombie dicks. Zombie dicks. Zombie dicks. Button spaz. Button spaz. Button spaz. Button spaz. Welcome to mankind. I thank you so very much for making the choice to, 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 to seriously, seriously support what I do and join the community.
Man, you did it! You really did it! You blew it up! You made it! You blew it up! Damn you! Damn you all the hell! Button Spaz, you love me. Uh. Well. Well, I love you. I was gonna get all like. Get into the groove, or you'll have to prove your love to me. You're like, what? Madonna, what are you talking about? She's basically saying, like, you better dance now, otherwise. You are gonna have to fuck me really hard later. I'm sure the guy was just like, uh... No, I'll, I'll totally prove my love to you. Later. I don't want to dance. Alright. There we go. Uh, nice! You've introduced a few buddies to Elementos. Dude, it's so awesome. I love hearing about it. I love, I love seeing... Uh... Great music spread like wildfire. Like with Le Matos, seriously. Like anytime I play it on here, um, and link it, it's great. And they, uh, JP, the guy who was in here, uh, pretty sure that he he runs uh, the Le Matos Twitter as well. Um, and so you'll send me a direct message to be like, hey, thank you for the promotion, man. That's really cool. The zombie dicks. Really? Was I talking about zombie dicks? I <laughs> I don't even. It's all all of it. It just go into like a. Uh, um, uh, this is why I meander and wander so much because so much of when I'm broadcasting, it, it just becomes like uh, um, like a uh, uh, some kind of like hypnotic state for reals. And I say shit I haven't even thought of before. Uh, man, every time I hear your voice, when someone subscribes, I think of the president's speech from Independence Day. <laughs> yes! Uh, today, we celebrate our Independence Day. <sighs> well, show's over. It's funny, if you, if you stop and think about, like, video games, uh, uh, you know, like, the idea, really the idea is that, like, it, it ends up being, you know, a chain of all your successful attempts. You know, that's how, that's their, excuse me, that's their adventure. Um, but imagine, she gets all the way here, just to like, try and float off, and then, you know, they like, fucking, you know, teeth grab her head and, and eat her head first. And she's done. All that, all that work, all that uh, progress. Nothing! Uh, Mr. CDOG, yeah, see, that's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh man, I'm, I suck. Oh! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how long it takes. It's all about whether you did it or not. Oh, why the hell? Weisenheimer. Loosh baggins. You just went shopping and wow, man, you're committed to the cause. I am. I really am. This is, this is around where, like, I really you know, kind of I end up having to end the cast because the number of comments that are just commenting on how long I've been going and asking how long I've been going and the focus of like how long it's been going it just it just gets overwhelming and then and it's like that's all it is it's just boring um bonga donga ton what's going on uh Luke Bacon says man you should try and move to Montreal so you can become a Lemato's hype man on tour oh man I was thinking about that like seriously, like I was just beaming when I was, you know, I was talking about moving to Seattle, and uh, JP was like, "You need to move to Montreal." <laughs> uh, I could absolutely be happy in Montreal. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'd probably have to send some French. Parlez-vous français? Trip! 
Now, kick it. <sighs> Listen, you big booty bitch. She's not a bitch. She is fucking beautiful. God damn it. I want V to just jump through the TV like Cool World style and just, oh my god, ride my dick. Oh my god, I thought I was thinking that. Yes! There's some free bonus content for you. Bonerific bonus content. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Love Canada, hit the climate. That's the main thing I thought about. Well, and I, I mentioned that. Oh, my dick! You know, I'll just go for that shock value. It's been a while. I really, really wonder how she got up there. God dang! You're all welcome for the Rule 34 Man vs. Game in V uh, uh, prawn imagery in your head that you're having right now. Doggy style. Reverse cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever this is. <clears throat> you're welcome. Content. Bam, it's yours. For free. No money down. Slap in the ass. Push, push, push. Alright. Uh, two loot. <laughs> Rated, uh, oh my god. Man versus game, I'm sorry to tell you. Your uh, Rule 34 Wings of V prawn uh, has been ruled. Two loot for Stryans. And it has been effectively banned. Tough luck. <laughs> Delta. The sex move is called Metroid Other M. Well, thanks. I was getting worked up. Flaccid. Insta flaccid. <laughs> you killed my dick. All right. Uh. No money down unless you suffer don't hey, hey, you know what? And that's optional. So thank you. For keeping it going. Oh god. Paint it forward. Oh! <laughs> I'm doing the wrong thing! See now, because I have to touch that, uh, 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 the quad scrote. Uh, the quad scrote. Four times. Not one. Not once. Not twice. Not thrice! But... Four times. We're gonna sub the. Uh, is it Cherno? I've always said Cerno because there's no C H there. Excuse me, there's no H there. Tell me. You can't fall asleep to this. Too hot. I know. You gotta work it out. All right, V. What's it gonna be? You and me? To a T? You gotta take a P? Don't you see? Simplicity. Um. Bonga Langutan, yes! Gonna be holding down the booth with Dance Gaming on Friday. Uh, somebody else said Towley's gonna be there? I love it, man. It's crazy. The music is a uh, uh, badass. It's by Ashton Morris, and I've not linked the uh, uh, the Bandcamp all damn night. What an ass! Oh god. Why? I don't even have a plan right now. I'm just sort of like hoping I don't fall. That's that's my plan. It's like, don't worry, Captain. I have a plan. Step one. Hope you don't fall. And there you go. It's just so simple. It's foolproof. The Quaid Hunter! Wait a minute, Christ, that stream tonight though. Wait a minute, were you talking about uh Sarkulicho? Got to take a beat! You got to Breathe, take breathe. So 
Richard Vash lives only one hour away from Pack South, but I can't afford because of work. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. JP of Limatos. He was like, you should come to Sundance Film Festival. I was like, oh, I can't. I fucking can't. Here we go. And, hey. Whoop. See, I, I fucked it. Hit, and you... And Solgren, do you have anything better to do than just dream up this stupid shit? <laughs> just now is the time to just you know. I am going to play the 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 delirium card. It's happening. Okay. Oh, you were talking about Sour Kool Aid Show? Yes. For the love of God, please follow them. Love them. Fondle them. Okay, so we're gonna move there. Fire up, hit it once. Down. <laughs> Jump down, touch the ground. In the mood for food. So bam once, bam twice, three, four times. Yes! Alright. Let's see here. In Nebraska, that's our nation's bread basket. I keep, uh, for some reason, I, was, I, kept, I kept telling Evie that she lived in our nation's bread basket. She does not! Solgren owns the weapon shop in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the game. Yes, Sarkulit Show had like a pirate sword fight on the beach. Like for real. Ah. There you go, Mr. CDOG. Thank you for linking up my brother's law. These goddamn throbbing testy satchels. Shrap up now. That platform just can't handle this much ass. Get your button gear, lady. Come on. Oops. Ah, don't do it. I fucking... I've already made... The sacrifice. Uh... Another sub... Experiment. Oh my god. I had to, um... Yeah, I had to, I had to dial back my subs. In all honesty, I... Oh my god, no, no. I can't. I at least, I at least gotta keep the, uh... The reciprocity... Alive. Up. Uh, what are you doing up there, me? This is gonna take a while. Man, are you doing a no death run after this? No. I'm going to get a hundred percent up. Would you stop? Uh, I'm gonna get a, a hundred percent completion. Uh, in Dark Souls. Uh, with the Steamworks achievements. And I really want to try and go as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like to think that it'll go quicker. Quicker, quicker. You mm, bad? Um, I like to think that it'll go quicker than, uh, you know, it otherwise normally would have. You always say you don't speedrun games. I was just thinking, for some reason, about the Speedstick Challenge cast. That was, this, that was the closest I ever came to doing speedruns. Like, uh, when you were asking me about Braid. I 100%ed Braid because, uh, I think it was, wasn't, yeah, one of the, uh, speed stick challenge casts was, could I beat, uh, Braid in an hour? Because there was an achievement for that. And I did it! While wearing a goddamn suit and tie. It felt real good. Real good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you. Silly surly. 
so and so, curse your name. Who's on the scat man? Skippy, I have no doodle dope. You know, you, you can't flutter twice. You also cannot roller skate in a buffalo herd. Raid us pretty close to the wire. Uh, I was. The speed uh, the speed uh, challenge casts. I love those as well. And um, it's a strange legacy that uh, they've left because I have heard tell from uh, a lot of Twitch sales reps that they basically use those. Um, in the beginning, not probably not now. Who knows? They probably use them now. Um, but they basically they use those speed stick. Um, don't sweat it. Challenge casts to sell tons of other, you know, promo deals and casts. So you're welcome, guys. You are welcome for the uh, the corporate corporatization. Uh, the uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Um, yeah. Anyway. What's going on? Yep, Zeke is my best friend. He's my bestest friend. Best friend. Best friend. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate. That's a Roger Miller song. You might recognize, or you might know Roger Miller as the rooster from Disney's Robin Hood. Well, no town of Nottingham. That's Roger Miller. He's a goddamn rooster. And the narrator. Zeke Dump. I want an emote that's just like a giant flexing anus with a fucking... Nope, that's not happening. Uh, good night, rogue philanthropist. Keep fighting the good fight from the shadows. Okay, um... You only know that song from Jackass. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd? I only know that song because of Dan Paul... From the Sao Kool Aid Show. He's a big Roger Miller fan. Uh, man, do you like Well Rolls of London by Warren Zevon? Mm. It pains me to admit this, but I actually fucking hate that song. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have nothing against Warren Zevon. I like that uh, Lawyers, Guns, and Money, but. Worlds of London? Don't like it. I do not like it. Oh golly. Um, I can tell you why I don't like it either. Now. Let's see. What's going on? Avatar wants what emote? Ha <laughs> ha! That would even be better, actually. Because, yeah, you, you, like, as big as you could get the face. <laughs> How did I make that face? I have no idea. I will never be able to make that face again. Okay, I left that tab open. See what I can do. Okay. Language, man. Yes? Soren, how come your dumb game makes me uh, have to keep the mouse over on the, the other PC? Why? It's okay. So that is that the emote? I thought somebody had actually made like the the head, like the full cutout of the head. Damn. See now, here's the thing. Let's consider it. I guess you would just use it when you're acting like a fucking idiot. Uh, when you say something dumb or in response to somebody doing something dumb. 
I guess. Either that or when you're going to be like, BRB guys going to go hit this spliff. Okay. Griffin asks, Solgern, do you ever feel bad about how difficult your games are? Or is it just constant maniacal laughing? I bet it's neither. I bet he's really boring. He's boring. Um, I don't think exactly, well, you know, it's true. The man, well, you know, the, the only reason that uh, Man Dark, well, is in there was because at the time, yes, I was, I was not playing Dark Souls 2. I was living Dark Souls 2. I was exploring every nook and cranny in uh, Drang Lake. And uh, really, it was just because Julia made such... Well, first of all, the, the, the amazing uh, Solaire. The Chibi Solaire. I was just like, I gotta have that. Julia, give it to me! And then the next day, she just doodling. She's like, here's uh, Chibi Dark Lurker I made. I was like, yes! Get it in there! Now, I just, I'm already f fucked, man. Summoner Peyton, thank you for the host. Uh, oh, what is the... That's... that's uh, Sole of Astoria. <laughs> Engage in jolly cooperation. Sole of Astoria. A.K.A. Sunbro. One of the coolest characters in the Souls series. So good. So good. Where? Where? I cannot find it. Praise the sun! <laughs> Working on a plan right now. Yeah, he's great. I love where you meet him. Oh, God. Dark Souls is just so good. I can't... I honestly... Sorgren, I love your fucking game and everything, but, like, I am ready to just play through Dark Souls again. <laughs> the ribbing aside, the game, Sorgren, you did a fantastic uh, job on the game, man. I'm sorry, did you say the game, man? No, I didn't. Oh! Um... You... You... <laughs> don't quite know what I was thinking there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Rob Jillian, I have one more question for you. Would you be nervous in front of 5,000 people in real life uh, like you have on Twitch? Absolutely. Um, I would... Um, well, there'd be nerves. Yeah, absolutely. There, there would be nerves, but what I found with public... Uh, performing and whatever um it's always the nerves right up until you, you do it so you just deal with them you just jump around you just get going you just get revved up the second you hit the stage or start your uh speech or monologue or whatever the fuck you're doing the nerves kind of melt away for me if you know i'm properly prepared prepared all right you're doing a Sunbro Paladin build in, uh, in honor of Victor. God damn it, you TTLs. Spill the sea! <laughs> Spill the goddamn sea! Pumpkin Lumpkin! Diddly Dumpkin! Welcome! 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 To mankind? Are you coming to my? Have you been here before? Been here before? Been here before? Been here before? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? You know what? Bottom line. Bottom line. Bottom line. Bottom line. Thank you. Thank you. So very much for the support. 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 And uh, and uh, join us in the man cave. Man cave. We, are we are just fixing, just fixing, fixing, fixing to have the bacchanalia of the century. Of the century. And now you all know. 
That's why we're here. Sir, please stop getting the feedback on your fucking head mic thing. Uh, charged up by public speaking. It really is. I think I agree with Big Don. It's like you get um, there's a, there's an absolute adrenaline rush. You get that adrenaline going. You're just like I'm invincible, and uh, it's great. It's great. For me, again, it's always uh, the lead up to it, and then it's just like bam, and then you just go, and it's great. But uh, oh yeah, go oh, son of a bitch. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, Bacon Donut is still here. What are you doing here, Phil? <laughs> Bacon Donut, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's Bacon Donut. This, this is amazing. Crazy boy! 9020. Crazy boys. Bible thumb, Bible thumb, Bible thumb, Bible thumb, Bible thumb. Welcome to Bandkind, Crazy Boy. Crazy Boy. Crazy Boy. Crazy Boy. Crazy Boy. You may now. 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 Feel free, Feel free to call yourself, to call yourself crazy, crazy man. man. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Come on in. Come on in. Don't want to look at the screen full of defeat anymore. Okay. Uh, you'd be a mess in front of ten people. Well, you know what? You make a very good point. That is actually... Uh... No. Never mind. Well, it depends on the setting. I was going to say, I might get more nervous, like, talking in front of, like, ten people in maybe, like, a more intimate room than, say, like, an auditorium with 5,000, because then, then it's much more personal. And people can see, you know, you're sweating or some shit. I have no idea. Let's go. Okay, just lurking and sucking at some eyes. No, oh, man, I might do that. I might do that in a little bit. That's a good idea. Which was, please! Apparently, I needed something screaming in my ear that someone subbed a man. Time to press that X button. Hold on. JJ Chris. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome. Uh, you seem so familiar. I'm gonna say, Welcome to Mankind! Thank you so very much for the support. And, uh, just like all the others. Give you an open invitation to join us in the Man Cave. If you like. If you like. If you like. So what's going on? Crazy boy, thank you for the kind words. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Uh, the Twitch alerts. What are you talking? What's the Twitch alerts thing? We can see your sweat now. Well, I'm hot. That's why I'm sweating. Oh no! I ran into the stupid spiky flesh Pope hat. Of doom! Oh my god, the Pope had ate me. What a way to go. Be like, uh, what happened to V? Uh, she got her head bit off by a fleshy Pope hat. Wiggles. My name is Wiggles. Uh, good night to you. Gotta get back to work for the morning rush. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> my name is Wiggles. <laughs> There's something about that. Like everybody, everybody's username should be like, my name is blah. Like, it should, just, it should always be there. <laughs> Actor 42. Did you see my broadcast? A Pope hat ate me! Sick looking Pope hat. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm surprised this hasn't come up yet. Do we? No. What am I doing? Just trying to, like, you know, dive right into that subject. Never mind. You know what? If you don't follow me on Twitter, you're out. You just, you, you missed out. You missed out on uh, one of my shitty little, you, you know, two tweet uh, uh, tirades. <clears throat> I like to get emo on Twitter. So, there you go. Make sure you follow me for those wonderful Twitter meltdowns. You can be like, my name is Kid. Kid Rock. Ball with the ball, bang, bang, diggy, 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 diggy. However many letters, uh, you know, they'll allow. <laughs> Fuck the Pope. Well, I got three words for you, Pope Frankie. Fuck you, asshole.
That video was just... Ah! Oh, God, I love that video. Because, my God, did he make... Total sense. Anyway. Everybody else said, fuck! Okay. Yeah, that video was great. Yeah. Hup! Shop! Now! Oh! Oh, man! If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, what we are talking about, the Pope recently made some fairly... No, fuck that. Very controversial statements regarding, uh... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. You know what? This is not the time. Just, you know what? If you're interested in it, just go check out what the Pope said, and then wonder why would you say that at this juncture? What a fucking dumb thing to say. Uh, let's see, think the best Twitter you've posted, and I only see your Facebook posts. Oh, okay, um, is when you had your towel in the dryer, and you had to dry yourself with paper towels. That's, uh, that is not a lie. I wish that was a lie. I wish that was, like, some funny thing that I dreamt up. I don't recommend toweling off with a fucking... <laughs> I can't believe! It's not bother. <laughs> what the Pope say... Uh, did the Pope ever say anything that isn't controversial? He'd been he'd been doing okay up till now, till he started uh, defending fucking terrorists. Oh yeah. Fuck solo in the twenty fourth and a half century. Welcome to mankind. I like your style. Thank you. Thank you for the support. 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 It's good having you. Having you. Having you. Having you. Having you. Good morning. This freaking man cave. It's filling up. Filling up. Um. You just saw the conversation with Witwicks. Yeah, that thing was. I don't know. I was just. I was just along for the ride. That was Witwicks' brilliant social. Network engineering experiment, experiment or whatever. Um, dogs like the Pope. No fault of mine. Okay, so we're gonna have to bang this quad sack. We're gonna have to hit it, hit it hard. Here we go. Rip. Damn you and me. Fuck. It's a sad day. Um, more like the poop. <laughs> <laughs> More like the poop. I just that's wow. Can you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Now I'm not even. Uh, I just realized uh, I'm a giant throbbing anus. Not in a good way. I'm sitting here trying to shoot the thing. It's not doing a damn thing. This buck solo. What is up? Fuck! Everyone else says fuck! Uh, got it down to two testes. Um. Let me, let me try and get this out so I can, like, move on with some other thing. The Pope? I don't remember who asked him or whatever, but, uh, he was basically saying that, like, you cannot make fun of other people's faith. And he said something to the effect of, if Dr. Gasparo, whatever the, whoever it was, if somebody spoke badly of my mother, they could expect a punch. It's natural. It blah, blah, blah. He went off that. Right there? Fuck you. Like, that is crazy. Saying, like, it's natural to punch people. Really. Yeah, maybe in the fucking uh, jungle. Sorry, we live in a little thing called civilization. 
justice. Anyway. Uh, and so, yeah, in the timing of that statement, after the fucking atrocity in Paris where these dumb motherfuckers murdered people over a fucking cartoon. And the Pope has the audacity to say, like, well, it's natural. And I love that video. I can't, I can't say it any better than, than uh, what he said. Because he quotes that. Holy shit! Pop a pill! Pill! Poppin' peels. Thank you for the donation. What have you to say? Welcome to mankind, where men can be men. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, oh, I lost it, lost it, lost it, lost it, lost it, lost it. I'm an old man now. I'm, I'm an adult. When did I lose the ability to make fart noises with my armpit? Oh, man. It's all downhill from here. What are we doing? Anyway, uh, thank you for the donation. And that was the message. Or maybe I was supposed to say it like, um, uh, like the showbiz pizza theme. Welcome to mankind, where men can be men. Nope. Break your five, five fingers. fingers. Need that five finger discount. discount. Welcome, Welcome to, to mankind. mankind. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the support. Join us, Join if, us you if you care to. If you dare to. Dare to. Dare to. Dare to. Dare to. In the man cave, 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 cave. Okay, all this time you've been worrying over words when body parts were the true solution. Dude, dude, is that? Who is that? Is that a poem? Is that? Is that, is that Shakespeare? God damn it! Sorry about the the hair. I just, I really don't. This is why I try to tuck it behind my ear so it just stays there and I don't have to fuck with it all the time. Bigga boogie buggable. You try to do an armpit fire for the first time in probably 10 years. Zongo? That's exactly what I just experienced. I hadn't tried to do it in so long. It used to be like a talent. I could squeak them, I could make them flabby. You know, like how you want your fart. It's like, I can do that for you. I'm chilling with a gif. Mm, oh no! I was I forget what I was eating that day, but um, I think it was barbecue sauce on my lips. I think it was some kind of uh, you know I think what it was? I think it was a McRib. Hey guys, you know the McRib is back. Oh my fucking lord! This I thought this was going to be difficult. Uh, I was wrong. This is. Fucking crazy, man. Um, I was gonna show off to a girl when I was young by doing the majestic armpit fart. The only sound was like this moist queef, nervous sweating. I just imagining that scene. Um, Downy face. I'll, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm going to say this. You know what? Don't feel too bad. Because the second you tried to impress her by laying on a, a an armpit fart, you'd already you'd already blew it. You'd already blew it. So, no matter what kind of glorious flatulent noise emanated from your armpit, <laughs> so, you know what? Don't beat yourself up over it. Okay, uh... Big a boo 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 Get up! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, there we go. Shrup! Yep, good deal. 
not good deal. Mmm. Mmm. These rooms, like this area, so much of it, it seems like. Uh, oh my god! Pop, pop peel. Peel, 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 peel! I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Let's take a look take a at look, both, take, both, take, both of your donations. Take, 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 take. Kill Roy! Kill Roy! Domo arigato, Mr. Robot Talk! Domo, 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 Thank you, Mr. Robot Talk, for helping me! Welcome to mankind, Kill Roy! 2400 thanks for the support 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 welcome aboard welcome aboard welcome aboard welcome aboard welcome aboard dumb up dumb up bomb up bomb up kill roy here it is pop appeal here we are oh okay i got your for some reason i thought i i forgot the uh uh message pop appeal said um oh no what don't give me this jungle story shit the message says, Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the donation. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I didn't sing it, but uh, I, I ain't no monkey. Okay, here we go. Kill Roy. Oh. Uh, Thanks. First time I've ever been a sub to more than one person. And you're telling me you were sub to excessive profanity first? What does he got that I don't got? That was me joking. Welcome and thank you so very much. And you know what? Excellent taste in your uh, sub choice. If I do say so myself. And I do. Let's go. Okay, I gotta touch the quad sack like four fucking times. I don't understand. Rip. You can't even. White girls, white angels cannot jump. <laughs> the last dragon. I Zeke has seen it. Zeke uh, quotes it all the time. Not all the time. Every now and then. You Leroy. That's the only way I know the lines. Because I've never seen it. Well, that's, I mean, you get in that situation, and um, so that this, this can't be it. It's got to be something else. Did I mention earlier that uh, these areas are very much like, uh, like a fucking puzzle platformer? Mmm. Fuck, am I supposed to go? ZD Panther! Welcome to mankind! Thanks for all the support. Come on in. Man, guys, you're crazy. Thank you so very much. Okay. Ow, ow, ow! Pardon me. Just being a man. You know, just man things. There's an icy DJ. Hello. So, what is the deal? Because I have to, uh, I gotta touch it four times. Actually, you know what? No. Three. All right. I keep doing the same things, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I want to. I want to. Music's great. Ah! Now, hold the phone. Nope. Bye. Just doing some testies. Um, yeah! Now... Make 
myself a little bit more comfortable. Ooh, that Darth Vader uh, emote's pretty badass. Vader. Or which TV? I see. I see. You just made me think of the website Icy Veins, and I had like a split second urge to play World of Warcraft. Too many expletives? That is never a problem. Okay, um, jumping down to the platform down there seems stupid. Jumping off of this platform, at the very least, we can get uh, a hit in, so that's one. Man vs. Guitar, I am not shocked. Uh, having a cast going and playing, you know, a, a, a game like WoW is I think it's a very popular thing to do. Oop. I don't get it! Mm, I just keep thinking, like, to myself, like, well, maybe I jump in a different kind of way. I can break the laws of gravity. How does my green screen just like get keep getting worse? Keep doing like different setups with it. That's really cool. What the hell is that? That's new and exciting. Sharia two sixty seven, is that true? Probably is. I think that's new. New feature hype. Um. Well, can I just take this moment to say, uh, Sharia two sixty seven. Going double or nothing. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. You know what? You know what? You know what? I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So very, very much. People are just like, oh, great. He's going to do more of the goddamn uh, Echo shit. That's wonderful. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to really, like, reorganize my broadcast, the flow. I mean, when I get back to, like, actually uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no pop-up, yeah, as of yet. Um, really the, well, because it's, it's, yeah, it's not really like a, a sub, yeah, it's like a renew, yeah. It's like a renewal, so. You know what, and I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, I think we're, we're heading down a path where, like, literally every little fucking thing that happens will be popping up as an alert put over into like a little chart in the corner maybe perhaps paired with the goal for the day somewhere in the upper right corner there's a little cube for the game okay um see it shows up if you're hosting someone hmm Mm. Okay, I really need to just you know, work on figuring this shizzle out, and I'm failing miserably. What a miserable failure I am! All right, another man ramp. A little bit. That was a little. Well, because I, <laughs> it's difficult. It is a very. I mean, uh, bottom line is people are absolutely free to run their broadcast as they see fit, and um, uh, the other thing is. Uh, I'm sure it is undeniably effective. So it's like, whatever. Just like with, um, uh, when I get all this shit about sub-only chat. It 
seems to be working out okay for me. I'm okay with it. Joe Butt 69 took a giant dookie. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, just wow. Man, this 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 place right here, I really I'm uh, kind of kind of wondering like like why Uh, we can tell how long something is up. Um, I'll tell you guys, I heard about this. It was like a rumor that uh, they were going to really work on. Um, and I just want to say this. What I'm about to say, for some reason, it really bothers me when it's referred to this, but um, that's what it is. But um, loyalty programs, uh, which I think is very cool. I just hate calling it a loyalty program. I don't know. I get an image of a dog. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn it. Come on, green screen! Bugga 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 Um. Wait, 150. What's going on? What happened? Fifty. Uh, what did I miss? What are you talking about? Oh, the streak! Talking about uh, the current cobalt streak. Oh yeah, man, it's crazy, mind blowing. Seriously, it is just fucking crazy. Now you and others, like Dick Hammer, you have surgically just. Just, uh, well, taking that game apart, put it back together again. Um, man, there's the foam, foam. Yeah, the man caught your pick in Game Informer. Yes, I made it. I'm in the Game Informer. We'll pick with, uh, yeah, outside the, uh, I think I was outside the Twitch. Not the Twitch party, but it was the partner uh, meetup uh, at uh, Pax Prime with Chase, PR dude, really cool guy. Uh, caught your pick in the game for the other day. Not a big mobile guy, so finally I can look at you whilst I poopeth. Oh God! For some reason, it was taking me forever to get through that comment. I wish I just could have gotten distracted and gone off on another tangent somewhere. Uh, enjoy... Enjoy pinching a loaf, dude. You know what? I'll just, I'll just, uh... I'll cheer you on, brother. PUSH! PUSH! This juice is tasty. Poop juice. Here we go. Here's a good uh, question. Nordic animal. Hands up. How many of you guys have watched man while in a toilet? Um. I probably watched like a video of me, but not live, of course. That'd be just pretty weird. Mm. Looks like tomato sauce. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I'm drinking. Why it's V8 V Fusion Light Strawberry Banana. Uh, what this is gives you a combined serving, uh, one combined serving of vegetables and fruit. And that's eight flowing ounces. Ingredients. Water. Reconstituted vegetable juice blend. Water. And concentrated juices of sweet potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, beets. Uh, reconstituted fruit juice blend. Uh, apples, strawberries, clarified bananas, 
Contains less than 2% of the na of natural flavoring. Uh, I've never liked that, natural flavoring. That's just way too generic. You're like, you know what? You know, you know what you could label natural flavoring? Everything! Uh, you know, not like man-made stuff, but you know what I'm saying. It's like, uh, could you narrow it down a little bit? Like, natural flavoring, like, you could put shit in here. Like, well, there's some natural flavoring in there. Uh, it's naturally flavored like shit. <laughs> really? 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 360 no scope 420 blaze it! Yeah! Welcome to mankind! Uh, I'll be, I'll be picking up that, picking up that, picking up that podcast. One of these days. One of these days. So just hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Why does everything, Why does everything suck? Everything suck? There we go. Okay. I gotta do it. Exactly. Exactly. They could've put fucking poop in there. Like, oh, there's uh, less than 2% natural flavoring. Forgot to remove the thing. What, what? Can of V8. I love V8. I have V8 in the house. And the fruit juice. Uh, how can they call it banana and strawberry juice? Because the banana is one of the last ingredients listed. Uh, well, because... That's probably where the natural flavors come in. Because the juice tastes like strawberry banana, that's why. That's that's the important part. Oh golly! Okay. The future! Oh god. What is this? <laughs> oh god. I better know what this is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! Oh god. There was some cast, man. You just go in there and you're like... I don't know. See, this is why it's so hard, because I do it! I'm here right now doing that thing. I have a pop-up. I put, I do the echo thing. I get the gimmick going on. I, 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 I rattle the sub-chains. <laughs> um, what it is, is I'm just jealous that other people are better at... Uh... uh other people are better salesmen than I am. Uh, alright. How far am I into Wings of E? Let's check it out! Well, hold on. I love that. Uh, Sorin, I want to tweet that. 57.98%. See, this is like completion, but I'm sure there's a lot of like secret stuff and all that, so, uh, alright. Mmm. Just to be clear, what exactly is a clarified banana? <laughs> Excuse me, could you clarify uh, what a clarified banana is? What I understand is... Yeah, and then I'll retweet it. Solgren, I'll retweet that shit. Um, okay. Clarified banana, I yeah, somebody said that it was just like a, 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 like a dehydrated banana. Uh, that had been, like, keistered in a orangutan's fucking... Anal glands? I don't know! I don't know! I can't be bothered. Who the fuck? Heckle! Heckle! Look what she did. Look what she did. Look what she did. You're broken. You're broken. You're broken. Great. 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 Your generosity. 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 Thank you so very much, Heckle. Uh, let's get back in there. Shit. 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 Excuse me. Just gotta fix the old, uh... Sub-alert. I love it. Right after, uh... <laughs> because people shit about, like, what they have. I was like... Oh, I just my sub-alert. Uh, I just gotta... Fix it. Yep, there it goes. Oh, fist! You're feeling good. You got it. Blow! Blow! Yeah, you fade away. You fucking... You're too fucking handy. Okay, um, let me find this tweet so that I can retweet. Suck a tea. <laughs> Future of Cat. <of> <laughs> uh, see, people are gonna see me retweeting that and be like, "What an asshole!" He does the same thing. What a hypocrite. What a fucking hypocrite. 
That's okay. Because you know what? Maybe I am. Okay, it is. Top donator. Butt versus game. Uh, yeah, butt versus game. If you're out there, feel free to donate. Uh, 100 grand, pal. Wow. You know what? Butt versus game. If you want to take on, you know, like, butt versus my butt, uh, anytime. 100 grand. It's right there. Let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. The let's get back to the, let's get some coffee. I can't believe how time flies doing these fucking casts. I really do just have such a blast uh, laughing and, and joking and saying dumb shit with you guys. The video game seriously comes second. Whoa, you hit the wrong button. Is that ten grand? I can't. It the monitors. It's it's a lot of zeros. Okay, it should have been a hundred grand. You know what? For ten grand, have at her. Just ply away. Just keep ramming it in there, ramming it in there, ramming it. In there. <laughs> That's from Snuffbox, by the way. Which cat? Didn't you copy Man vs. Food or vice versa? No! I was around before Man vs. Food was anything. That's a fact, Jack. So if anything, man versus food got in on the whole man versus thing. Now here's the thing. Uh, yes, at the time, uh, there was a TV show hosted by Bear Grylls called Man vs. Wild. Um, it did not actually um, play into my uh, the idea to do a man versus game thing. Maybe it did. Maybe it did, but, um... It, it, uh, the whole man versus thing is more than just random shows. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an idea. It's, it's uh, the different types of, uh, uh, conflict. Uh, I think in literature, right? Like, man versus man? Like, or man versus self. Those are always some of the best stories. Man versus nature, man versus vagina. I don't know. Uh, there's a number of them. And of course, you have the timeless tussle between two titans. Man, man, man versus, versus game. Game, 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 game. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. So, yeah, when people are like, Did you copy Man vs. Food? I'm like, No! It's, it's an idea that has been around for ages. All right, there you go. Let's do it, let's do it. Um, God, fucker. Fuck! Okay. Shit. Oh, heckle, I'm sorry. I was I was too busy talking about the man versus shit. Oh shit! Fuck! Heckle, thank you for the donation. It says they want you to play COD. Then play COD. I don't even know. Wait a minute, that's a link. It's a broken link. It says don't read this part. I think I already know what you linked. And I don't even want to play that. But honestly, nobody, nobody has ever requested that I play, that I actually play uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Now, get. Hi! Mm, sorry. Fuck farts. <laughs> Your man versus gay? Uh. Maybe. Okay. What? Foom. What? Let me guess. Can you play COD? Um, sure. 360 no scope, 420 blaze it. That was rude. This is overplayed, yet long overdue. Uh, I'm a waiting. I'm ready for this one. I like how Foom sets it up. 
Bigga booga, bigga booga, bigga bigga booga. You're not a patriot. Otacon. Stroke my dick. I did, Squidish. I beat him. Uh. Can you play Blaster Master? Oh! The two games that you gifted me, man, they are still over there. And you know what? I have I have been having a hankering to get back to my fucking roots. It's so hard. This racket, it's a tough racket. Um I've been wanting to in my mind just let you guys in on what what I really would love to do. Upgrade everything across the board. Intro, logo, blah, just change it up. Just, you know, tighten up the graphics. All that shit. Um, get all that going. And kind of do like, uh, not not a reboot, of course, but um, just kind of like change um, the, the frequency uh, of uh, uh, playing retro games. Because when I originally planned all this out, that was my whole plan, was to be more, uh, you know, the whole, like, you know, the idea of conquering a game, beating a game, as a kid, those Nintendo days, you know, because that's, that's what I remember as a kid, it was like, it was like, uh, you know, you don't, you don't just talk about how great a game is, even though you would, it was always that one, you know, you know, very important question, did you beat it? Can you beat it? Did you beat Simon's Quest? Well, yes, I did. Of course, I did. I've got Nintendo power, or you know. So I always envisioned Man vs. Game as being way more like retro themed. Uh, it's difficult. At the rate games are released and the number of great games that come out every goddamn day, it's hard. It's getting harder every day. So many games. Yep, exactly. Games like Battletoads. Um, you know. Games that are infamous for being difficult. Ghosts and Goblins. All that shit. It's coming. Believe me. It's coming. Oh my god, is it coming. Nice timing on the sound effect. Have you ever played East? Uh, East? No, I have not. Digga, 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 digga. Alright, um, I remember when they played games, beating them is a fairly recent thing, to be honest. Hmm? Uh, I remember when they played games, beating them is a recent thing. In my circle of friends. Uh, look at this smug asshole. Somebody just tweeted me, uh, yep. I do look like a smug piece of shit. With alien fingers. It happens. Okay. I have a lot of uh, tabs open, but here's the thing: I'm blathering on about what man versus game should be and could be. Oh my god! While not actually playing the game that is sitting right in front of me. Uh, tasteless. Uh, I really, before I even knew anything about like shout casting and oh my god. Um, I really like Tasteless. I like his, uh, like his voice. Uh, and I like his body. It's rugged. Firm. Related to... Day 9. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I see DJ, what are you saying? Uh... There's, uh... What is it glitching? Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, the claws! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, the clipping. The clipping claws. See, and the reason I'm not playing the game is because you guys, you just keep talking to me. I don't mind. Sorry, dude. Hopefully you won't think that's, uh, because I just have the copy. No! I just sent the copy because I knew you appreciated it. The thing is, Foom... There's absolutely a part of me that never wants to open either one of those. If you guys don't know, King Foom, by the way, King Foom. Love of God, follow this guy. 
Love this guy. He's uh, and he's one of the uh, uh, real OG JTV casters. Um, um, long ago, long time ago, uh, King Foom gifted me uh, two NES games: uh, Blaster Master, well, two of the greatest NES games: Blaster Master and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not just any old NES games, like from a pawn shop and shit, like unopened in the goddamn, you know, uh, uh, shrink wrap and everything, copies of those games. And, uh, I don't, I, like, seriously, what I, what I want to do is absolutely play the game and dedicate both of them to you, but, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to get another copy of the game. And that's the thing, is I, you know what? I want to I want to start working on like a legit game collection which which is crazy for me to say because I'm all about digital and all this shit but um um I want to get I want to get a setup where uh, like I can just I can I can cast like the thing I want to like hold the game and, like there it is I'm gonna plop it in beat that shit whatever the fuck so just just some thoughts Oh, and then <laughs> I know I keep doing the same thing over and over. I know that. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Um. Everybody knows shit's fuck. Swimming portion with the electrified moss things. Hated it. Yeah, the dam was where uh, a lot of people stopped playing the game. Not me. I can beat that game. It's still just so stupid frustrating, though. Okay, do it in the same way. I really did with horror that the retro titles are disappearing from pawn shops and such. You start collecting before it's too late. That's the way I feel, man. And I watch, uh, I take great joy in watching uh, Angry Video Game Nerd uh, videos just over and over. I'll just go on YouTube and just put a playlist on, uh, you know, of his uh, fucking videos and just watch them. Um, so awesome. Like, all the all the old uh, collectible stuff he's got. Like, those uh, tabletop, like, arcade cabinets and shit. It's just great. Because I remember that shit. I'm that old. Sorry. Uh, I'm apologizing because uh, I am just feeling... The urge to bite my goddamn cuticles. Alright, uh... <laughs> Zod! 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 There was another there donation! Was another donation. donation. From, Heckle. From, Heckle. From Heckle! From Heckle! From Heckle! One moment, one moment. One Hold that thought, hold that thought, hold that thought, hold that thought. Oh boy, here we go. Thank you so much, Heckle. It says, last donation of the week for me, I think. Ordered the headset you're using thanks to finally losing my mind over headset band hair. Points to the massive dip in the center of his skull. Oh! Like the, uh... Like a... Like, like for... Like with a headphone? With a headphone? Oh! 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 Man! Oh! Oh, oh! oh! man! Oh! I just got, I just got hosted, hosted so hard. Hi. 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 I'm Man for Man vs. Game. You're probably seeing me uh, right now because LOL Renene hosted me. What a gal. Thank you so very much, LOL Renene. I think I fit all the syllables in there. Um, Lord Nene, thank you for the host. Hello, Lord Nene viewers. We're probably just filing out by the hundreds. Fine, I don't give a shit. You're really gonna miss out on the best cast of all time. Wrong. All right. Um. Uh, 
Oh man, this towel is just warm. I say warm like that because of Zeke. Normally I say warm. Warm. Zeke really emphasizes the A. Warm. Like shawarma. Play the goddamn game. Okay, uh, good to see Renee helping the small time streamers out. I know, right? <laughs> what it is, is uh, right now they're attempting to kill me with kindness. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Nobody else was following my streaming, and I've been there. I've been there. You're, uh, you know, you're looking at your following, uh, uh, you know, like who's streaming. You're just like, I don't want to. I don't want to raid that guy. That guy, his nose looks all looks like a looks like a rotten mushroom. I just want to punch it. Definitely not raid him. Why am I following him? Ugh, follow him. Ah, oh, that felt better. What was I thinking? Stupid mushroom nose motherfucker! Uh, what was I saying? Why do I keep doing the same thing? It's because I enjoy living in a time void. And it might result in you thinking you an angel. Whoop! You bye. Defeat. It's... A lot of agony. And mahogany. Don't dedicate shit to me. I just saw your uh, tweet, Foom. Alright. You were my first two subs. Crazy boy! Crazy boy! Thank you. Uh, seriously. For the support. Maybe the rotten... Maybe if you punch him in the nose, yeah, you get a one-up. That's the best one-up jingle I could buster. Buster. I could search for the soundtrack, uh, you know, the sound effect on my, my playlist. I don't give a shit. You get it. Hmm. Mm. Yes, I have not stopped. I can't stop, won't stop, don't stop. Uh, actually, I do stop when the questions and comments regarding how long I've been going start to overtake uh, any other discussion in the chat. Because it inevitably happens. Uh, did I ever play Super Mario RPG? No, I didn't. No, I did not. Hmm, stop doing the same goddamn thing. Blop, blop, blop. No. <laughs> Any chance of playing the game? Ha! <laughs> oh, I love you. Twitter trolls. Let me guess. Hold on. I'm gonna see. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god! I'm actually amazed. Two tweets. Two tweets. Welcome to the Twitterverse. Enjoy your stay. Uh, whoa, whoa! Oh, no, okay. There was a retweet. Okay, so you joined. You joined Twitter. Uh, I, like, I like that you joined Twitter in hopes of winning a keyboard. I hope you got it! Man, that would have been sweet to win a keyboard just for retweeting some other guy's tweet! Uh, man. Love it. Um, what just happened? Rise, Rise of gaming. 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 gaming! Take, Take your right, 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 place. right place. place. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right, right in, in, that little in that little fleshy, fleshy, fleshy nodule. nodule. Sorry. Welcome back Welcome to back Mankind, to mankind. Rise, of rise, of rise of Gaming. Thank you so very much for your continued support. Continue support. And I love I you. Love you. you. Alright. Alright, I'll do it. Uh, I gotta go. See, I would play the game, but uh, I'm just getting so much support. Then I got tweets coming in. People like, blah, 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 blah. See, the irony is, uh, you know what, it's funny. This reminds me of a story. Uh, I probably would have started playing the game had I not uh, seen your tweet come in. At which point, I felt compelled to read your tweet and then respond. And now it's this. So, you know. Uh... 
again, I think you need to, uh... No, you don't, you don't need to do anything. I need to do something. I need to look at the chat. Um... See, this is where it is. It just... There's no fun anymore. Um... Alright, Mordecai. You can get sex when you want to, but how often do you see man beat Snoo Snoo Twins? That's what I'm talking about. It's basically like... That's basically like sex. Hit! Ow! You don't talk to me like that! I drive a Dodge Stratus. I... Oh, you got caught up on the spike. That's fine. Um, everybody's happy. I'm talking. I'm reading. I'm pressing buttons. Um, this is seriously... It's like a fucking... It's like a... It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Uh, the completion, I think, is like 57. 57.98. So, you know, let's just call it 58. Let's just say 58. Um, come here. Just fucking... Ow! You did leave that. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything... Everything's cool! Oh! Okay, this is gonna work out just fine, I think. Rip. Mmm. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's total playtime? Uh, well over 200 some hours. Do you believe I played all those hours? Cause if so, I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona. From the front porch, you can't see the sea. Hold on. Support incoming! Grieve Ghost! <laughs> Grieve Ghost, welcome, welcome to mankind! mankind. Thank you so very much. You so just made it just in time. Just time. Just time. Quigly, 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 quigly. You know the man gave. Man gave. <coughs> We're just about, We're just about, just about to, start. to start. To start. To start. The ritual. The ritual. The ritual. The ritual. The ritual. The ritual. The Thank you for the support. <coughs> I forgot that. I forgot that part. Yeah, it's a Mexican. Dude comes in here and just starts using his own face. Oh my god. That's a good that is a good <coughs> gassy gasm. That's a good gassy gasm face. <laughs> um Yes it is. It is. This is absolutely uh I I was using the word earlier. Uh, the word I like to use is Mahogany, let's go. Oh my fucking lord. <clears throat> Need a chain train. Uh, we do not do the trains here. Trains, uh, that's, that's what we do elsewhere. Here we have chains. And then we use those sub chains to go beat on the other Twitch communities. Establish that pecking order. Pa! <laughs> Oh my god, that's what I want to see more of. You know what I want to see more of on Twitch now? I want to see more rivalries. I want to see, uh... I want to see the, I want to see the drama. You know what, that's what I miss. The Great GQ. Does anybody remember the good old days? Of going and hanging out at the Great GQ's channel, and you could just hear... shit being talked... about everybody and anybody. Uh, you can stay up on all the, you know, the, the, the latest beefs, and the, 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 the quips, and the teats. I just needed another one-syllable word. Oh, uh, limic! Limic! What? Limic! Minxy! Lil Minxy! Lil Minxy! Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Up, up, up.
Welcome to mankind as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Thanks, support, thanks, support, thanks, support, thanks, support, thanks, support, support, support. Come on in. 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 Here we go. Teats. Teat teat. Oh god. Zod! There's a donation from you. Uh, the message uh, a little while ago said, Been watching you for about 20 hours now. Keep up the great work. That must have been about 10 hours ago. And there's Parthay. I just see you as like uh, 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 a container of butter on the counter. Parthay. And the message, thank you for the donation, says, Boop! Here's five dollar, Mr. Man. Thank you, Parthay. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. Uh, and then I just missed another sub. <laughs> Drive through! Thank you, drive through. Welcome to mankind. Thank you for being so convenient. Not only with the speed at which I can get the food, but for saving me time when I have to write it out. Because it's spelled D R I V E E T H R U. It's like T H H H. R R R O Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You 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 Thanks. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so very much for the support, guys. Um It's getting a little weird in here. It's getting a little weird. Sorry I also can't not hit the goddamn mic. Parthay. There's Parthay again with a known nation. Some people just don't like seeing me play video games. That's the battle we face every day. Um, okay, here we go. Parthay, thank you. Again, says, dude, no joke. You're like the only person in the world that pronounces my username correctly. <laughs> uh, says, here's five more doll hairs. Uh... Thank you. And that makes me sad. Let's go. Alright. Um, nice rap, man. Was I rapping? Catch that tweet. What, 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 what? Why? So I heard that Mavericks game was talking mad shit about the great GQ. Ha <laughs> Yes, I was. Fuck that guy. No, I would never. Um, let's cast tonight. I believe the quote was Fuck you, punk, bring it. <laughs> Wad is probably like, What the fuck do you say? What's your fucking problem, man? You want a piece of me? Alright, uh, oh god. Can I play a video game? No, I can't. Because print your error! Just join mankind. mankind! Welcome to Mankind as well! Come on in, come on in. Thank you so very much. Uh, 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 you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome. Even though nobody likes a printer error. I am printer error. Make the jump, you silly dumb kumquat! Oh man, you don't want to get down there. This is like a brain buster. This is like this is exactly when uh, you know, like Notch would show up, like "Hey!" Like, "Oh no!" Notch is gonna see how dumb I am. Like, Don't worry, you've already <laughs> you've already proven that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Stop hurting me so b bad. Stop hurting me so bad. Well, son of a. Son of a sailor. Oh my god, GQ's uh, character in I Want to Be the Bashi. Classic. Stop hurting me so bad. Odin's Odin Furies. Furies. Multiple Furies. Multiple Furies. 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 
Ladies, ladies, ladies. Spelled, spelled. Anyway, spelled, anyway, spelled, thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> the message says, STOP PLAYING VIDEO GAMES! You're welcome! OUCH! Okay, so, you gotta touch that one. And then, you know, there's that. Oh, God, I gotta... The thing is, here's the thing. See, see the... See right now, it's like a, it's like a tri-sac. I have to basically touch the quad-sac four times and then the and then that gate will open Boom! Why? 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 Why, buddy? Why, buddy? Why, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and the message says, "Man! Man! Look at me! Hi, Foom. How are you? How you doing, Foom? Are you still king of all foomness?" Just call me Jeff. Oop. Uh, let's go. I did beat the twin orcs. I beat them down. Like, don't do it. I uh, did it. Crazy boy with a tenor. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. It says, uh, man, here is ten dollars for how much love you give your fans. <laughs> uh, uh. Now I feel like I have to really give love to my fans. Uh, just want to exude it. Just, uh, just send it out in like a fucking wave, like the secret. Just like, uh, like a fucking love Hadouken. Uh, except, it wouldn't make sense to say Hadouken. Hadouken. Punk Sheep feels unloved. Not my problem. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <sighs> this stupid fucking thing. It's not even like execution. It's like, can you figure out fucking platform to jump off first? Idiot. Uh, let's see here. Parthay. I wish I didn't do that, but I always do. So three. Fuck. Can you get over the spiky uh, popat? Uh, what's up with the spiky popat? You can. That's a game changer. Uh, I guess. No, it isn't. Can I joke? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let's try this. That was a bad idea. The trial and an error. You guys are fucking crazy. Healthy venom. 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 I'll take, take a double shot of that. Healthy Venom. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for the tip. It says, this is for Martin. Keep that beautiful man cat rolling in that sweet, sweet catnip and cat food. Love you, Martin. And you too, man. I guess maybe. I don't know. Man. That's okay. You are free to love up my cat all you want. All the while just loathing me. It's cool. I appreciate it. Okay. I think that's. I think that is a game changer. So, uh, let's see if I can. Hit! Nope. Nope. Not the game changer I thought. So, what games are you all looking forward to this year? <laughs> like, at what point can we just kind of like stop asking that? Is it gonna? Is it gonna be like like March? People be like. So what games are you looking forward to do this year? Mm, back again. Uh, okay. Man, this game.
game has some weird sound effects. Makes me feel all funny. Oh, just please. Just please. Perfect. For some reason, that font, every now and then, instead of defeat, I see perfect. It's a bit of a stretch. It's gonna be October. So, man, uh, what games are you looking forward to this year? Uh, it's October. I know. Yeah. You know, I, it makes me sad that my answers are just so cliche. It's like, what game are you most looking forward to? Bloodborne. Batman. Hey, man, are you going to play Bloodborne? Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my fucking... Newbert Pounderer just subscribed 19 months in a fucking row? I will suck your dick. Whenever, wherever, however, why ever. I guess, I guess, I guess now we're establishing like a, you know, an incentive chart. 19 months, that's a dick sucking. Right, okay, let's go. Okay, um, Newbert Poninger, damn, this part is just really, it's just really got me perplexed. Uh, Newbert Poninger, uh, I didn't know what that share button was. You hit a share button? So classy. Pinky's out. <laughs> I am nothing but Kloss. Okay, okay, okay. You've done enough miming of sucking the cock. We're good. We're good on that. Like, what am I trying to improve on it? God! Um... This shit right here. Oh! Might be a game changer. The dick sucking noise. Keep it classy. <laughs> Quite lewd. Rude, dude, crude, chewed, pre chewed, <laughs> bag of voodoo shit. Oh! Oh my lord! I am just destroying this shit! Oh! This room is fucking dumb. It was designed by a madman. Or has to Uh, let's see here. What? Um, sounds a bit dry. And there's President Abraham Lincoln. I'm President Abraham Lincoln. This is the time we must beat Wings of V. Uh, okay. Neba Gibapu. <laughs> Neba Gibapu! Let's get in there. <clears throat> Let's get our hands dirty. Okay, um, <clears throat> walk us through your game plan here on this screen. Parthe, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, hope you don't fall. That was my plan before. Don't worry, Captain. Here's the plan. We're gonna jump in. We're gonna hope we don't fall. Boom. We are through. Rise up gaming with a oh, donation. You just rejoined and now you're donating. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> Rise up gaming says, This is a message about things and people. Those are the kind of messages that make you go, hmm. Thank you, Rise Up Gaming. Things and people. I feel like uh, I'm on Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to buy a vowel. A Y. Pat says you'd be like, you'd be like, you don't have to buy a Y, you... Alright, let's go. Uh, I was making some 
pretty decent. Uh, oh boy. What? You bet. It's a pretty decent, uh, uh, you know, progressive. Oh, shimoni. You've heard Origins is questionable. Asylum so far is fun. The punch sounds alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, Asylum and, and City are just glorious. Arkham Origins is... It's a good game. It's... Certainly lacking. It's, it's uh, compared to the, uh, you know, uh, Asylum and City, it, uh, it's kind of lacking to me. For me, now this is me personally, my my playthrough was very, very glitch-laden. Oh, you beautiful person, Weenin! 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 Welcome to mankind, Weenin. That's what we do around here. We are, we are, Weenin, Weenin. Thank you for the support. Come on in. Come on in. Just, just, just tell us, tell us, tell us. What, what, what? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? If you're gonna 100% origins like I did. It's not worth it, sadly. You know, the the city is bigger and stuff, but like it is bland. Very grindy. Get on that platform. Well, that's a bummer, Clark. Okay. Origins was solid, whereas Asylum City were above and beyond. That's, I, you know what? Oh, God. I'd agree with you. I'd agree with you on that. Uh, it's still a good game. Like, all the complaining and bitching and moaning I did uh, playing it. Um, it's that expectations thing again. It's the latest Batman Arkham game. You're expecting something. And it's just kind of like... See, for me, again, it was just glitchy, and um, I hate to say it, but the uh, uh, a lot of the, the, the features added in the, the combat, uh, like with the gloves and you know uh, uh, shit like that, it just made the combat feel looser and not as good. And so what, what Arkham Origins felt like to me was uh, Rocksteady gave them, you know, the, their, all their, their, their code, they took that, and then, like, you know, they, they like, tw wherever, basically what I felt like is wherever they tweaked it or added shit, it just stuck out like a sore thumb. It was just like, blah, it just didn't really mesh with the original code very well. But I don't know. I don't even know how the fuck games are made. I thought it was, like, ninth level wizard shit. Alright. Yep. Um... Also, I had a personal beef. <laughs> you goddamned asshole. Um, and personally for me, uh, I think Troy Baker, the guy who's fucking everywhere, uh, he did a great job with his character. Uh, and then um, that other guy who played Batman, he was good. Uh, it's just... Yeah, the fact that the fucking Joker was in it. That twist was so poorly done and disappointing. And shallow and pedantic. Uh, I just did not feel the twist at all. You know why? I was so hyped to play a Batman game, like a solid Batman uh, Arkham game, that did not feature... You know the goddamn truth, and I'm sorry. You know what? I'm really sorry. I am genuinely sorry. I hate that. Um, I thought everyone knew Troy Baker's in it. It's like Troy Baker's in it. Yeah, who do you think he's playing? Uh, fucking uh, Two Face? No. Let me tell you something though. It's been out for so long. There's, they got pictures. They got they got they got desktop uh, wallpapers. I'm sorry. I am genuinely sorry. I, I'm really sorry. I really did not mean to do that. 
Um, I, you know what? Now that it's out, I will tell you this much. It is such a poorly done twist, and it's boring. You're like, we just had two games with the Joker. Like, why would you do that? Anyway, I didn't like it at all. Renee, if you're going to skip one of the Batman Arkham games, that would absolutely be the one to skip, hands down. Uh, different developer, all that shit. It just it has a it has the same feel and stuff, but um, just it's the same, but different. Whatever. I gotta read this uh, donation from Zod. Zod says, "Hell, last one for the night." Thanks for the quality entertainment. Help me stay up while working. Keep it up. P.S. You're never playing the game at this rate. I know. Right? Let's go. Okay. I was just going to say... Uh, and yes, Troy Baker is Two-Face in uh, the Arkham games as well. It's like, who the fuck is he not voicing these days? Um, anyway, gotta go. I need to play the game. Well, that didn't work out well. Um, blee, blee, blah, 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 blah. Whoop! Now, <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. I don't really have a game plan. I'm hoping to jump up and touch the throbbing quad sack satchel. And uh, and then and then fall to a uh, a platform, and then rinse repeat until I'm through the gate. Pretty much. Trip. Oh, up and over you go. Gotta love technology. <laughs> Nitro pussy. Uh, I do. It's gonna save us all. Technology is our savior. I'm gonna wander around the streets. The big sandwich board says, like, Respect technology! Oh, no, that's probably a bad idea. Well, balls. Here we go. <clears throat> you know what? This is okay. My first man stream, I backseat games. I d You know what? For my part, I didn't even remember. Did not even remember. Just in case you were worried that I, like, you know, just have this deep-seated, like, I'm just harboring this... I have like this mastermind plan to like eventually one day just like get back at you like... How dare she! I'm going to become her closest friend. And then betray her. That'd be weird. But yeah, no, I, I didn't remember that at all. You yelled it. I probably did. Remaini! Sorry. Um, I've really, I've really eased up on it. Well, especially because, you know, sub-only chat and all that. Uh, and I'm getting better all the time. Like right now, I'm still, you know what I'm thinking about? Really one time during this cast, uh, I've lost my cool. And guess what I keep thinking about? Oh, well, balls. That's not what I'm thinking about, but, um, uh, I love Man vs. Game. The username. Let's see. Okay. It was very traumatizing. You're like, what is this guy's fucking problem? Okay, um, Troy did do a good Joker. He just didn't need to be in the game. I'll never forget my interview with Troy at Comic Con. Oh, nice! It was him and one of the lead devs. I think the plan was to have Troy talk and just have Dev Dude play, but nine out of my ten questions were for the developer. <laughs> Not on purpose, but I shut Troy down. Oh, shit! Like uh, the new, you know, rising meme of the, the uh, unexpected uh, gangsta thing. Be like, yeah, just shut him down. Uh, I'm sure the developer was walking home hard that night. What do you ask Troy Baker? Like, seriously, dude. Like, are you just, like, swimming in the pussy these days? Or, like, what? 
Because if not, then I'm like, what is up? Oops. There you go. Seriously, the dude is just like fucking doing the goddamn. He's doing like the fucking butterfly stroke. <sighs> dude, pussy. <He's> like, <sighs> wow, like a fucking Olympian. It's an inside joke that you hate Troy Baker. <laughs> Let's see. Man, printer error. Yes, you. Man, is your game philosophy when you start a game, uh, you finish it no matter what? Yes. Now, I was talking about this earlier. I absolutely... There are... Whoops. There are games out there that I... You know, I chose the game. I was like, come Monday. I'm going to be. I'm gonna start this game, and we are going to play through it and beat it. And it never happened. Uh, okay, then. This, this is just... Okay, um... Apuculus, your name is just wow. Apuculus, I want to just call you Octopus. Can I just call you Octopus? Mm, so no, sure. If that's how you want to interpret that answer, you go right ahead. Error. Um. Pop. Don't you do it? Oh, you broke my labies. Did I ever, uh, ever finish XCOM? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I never went back for uh, like the more difficult uh, settings, because I will tell you honestly. It just gets fucking annoying <laughs> for me when it starts. Uh, it just it just started feeling like well rigged and unfair. Uh, you beat the fucking ogre, bitch! I did, and now I'm really enjoying uh, not playing the game. Crap! Oh, do you see that, Michael Jordan? Out! Oh man, she got her eyelid caught up on one that one spike. Uh, another one. Man, slaughter month. You know the truth is, uh, yeah, I just did not have games lined up for man slaughter month, and uh, and and uh, no, yeah, that was it. October. There were so many huge games that came out in October last year. Um, well, Bayonetta two was like the main one for me. I just knew that I was going to be playing Bayonetta two the day it came out, and I did. And I once sat that game. Is that the term we use? One sat it? Because that just sounds weird. Uh, does touching the quad thing reset your double jump? I don't think so. I don't think so. It, it does not! God damn it, Bacon! Now I have an extra death. Totally needless. Alright. Okay, there we go. Wop! Whoa, whoa! Hey there, soldier! Oh. Mm. Progress. Smells like progress. Man, Slider Month this year is going to be Bloodborne. No, because Bloodborne comes out in March, I think. Yeah. Or no. Was it pushed to March? Is it February? February. It's actually pronounced February. Touch it. Ho! Oh, and you get the... Wow! And then the, you touch it and then... Studying it. My body is ready. My, my, my body is ready. Um, crazy to misuse. I hope that they are doing a Bloodborne bundle because I still need a PlayStation 4. And that will work out just wonderfully. Game over, man. Game over. It's, it's true. But you can start over. 
All right. Anyway, it's kind of. I'm slightly annoyed that they are releasing uh, releasing uh, Bloodborne, and then like, isn't it like what one or two weeks later they're releasing uh, the updated Dark Souls 2 with the uh, the new 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 content, the sin of the first scholar, scholar of the first sin. It's like, come on, man! Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> when and what isn't that so called manslaughter month? Zebra stool, let's see. When and what is that so called manslaughter month? October. So the month of October, usually, uh, I. I play the most violent, gory games I can get my hands on. Just like over the top, blood, fleshy meat chunks flying all over the place. Just it doesn't necessarily have to be horror, um, because quite frankly, I do not like horror games. Um, so you know, yeah, like Manhunt was one. <laughs> That's another game that I started playing and could not finish because it was just fucking boring. Um, but yeah, uh, violent games. <laughs> jump, jump, flutter. Okay. I don't know. It's not like, uh, please no hatred. Ah, uh, that was that was poodoo. Hey, oh, nope, nope, nope. Um, postal two, yeah. Um, I think another one. Well, yeah, like, did I ever play any of the God of War games? For uh, I don't think I did, but well, poop. Good. Your butt up. Ow. So it was already down to two testes in the satchel. <sighs> yeah, but like uh, uh, another good example would be like God of War. Uh, any game you can imagine with bloody meat chunks. Manhunt. Thank you. The kid of me loves the game. The girl in the conference, but the dog is, dude. That's what I was just talking about. Um, it's it's hard for me to talk about it because I came to the game so late. I never played Manhunt when it came out. I remember seeing it and being like, "Wow, that looks really cool." And um, it just is. It's one of those games because of what it is. It has not aged well because it's mostly shock value uh, with a pretty basic. Uh, um, you know, hiding mechanic. You just you just walk around and, and you know hide and kill these guys wandering around a, a you know a, a map. Pretty dull. It was very dull. And then you know like the big payoffs where you like you get the you know the big murder kill scene and it's just like it's fucking polygon like you know dagger and he's like rrit, 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 and the blood's like coming out. And you're just like. This is doing nothing for me. This is like child's play, motherfucker. Which is pretty funny to think about, like, you know, back in the day, Manhunt was like, oh my god, you know, it's banned, don't play it, it's awful, it's evil, and now it's just like, what? I don't, I don't get, I don't get it, what is it? Alright. Let's go. Rob Tillion... I wouldn't be surprised either, to be honest. Games that, yeah, they're more about like the shock value and, and all that. It's, I don't know. Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be something if it turned out to be like like a contender for game of the year? Look at Alvin. Oh my god, guys, let's start the fucking Twitter uh, trending thing. <laughs> let's trend hatred. Goaty. We're gonna get it there, guys. Yep, hop! 
Just please. Oh my god. See, and then I'm like, the plan just it falls through. Because I'm out of platforms. My goodness. Uh so I'm gonna have to, have to consolidate or do something. What the fuck? Hatred is a mistake. Why? <laughs> I personally don't care. You know what? Make a video game based on anything and everything. Do it. Except at the end of the day, it's polygons on a screen. And you're playing a video game. Do good I don't know why I started this very odd scat style involving G sounds, B sounds, and well, G's and B sounds. It's the delirium. <clears throat> Amish man, those developers should be ashamed of themselves. All I'm going to say on the matter. I will say this. I heard the noise. People were like, This game, Hatred, should not be on Steam because you play a violent murderer, blah 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 blah. And I was like, Wow. I gotta check this out. And I went and watched the trailer, and you know what I saw? Pretty average, generic video game violence. It wasn't even like shocking or anything. It was just like Pfft. uh so I don't really get it. I don't I don't really get the hatred over the game. I really truly don't. So you're playing as a murderer. Hello, welcome to almost every video game you've ever played. <laughs> um And again, it's it's a video game. <laughs> you know what? put a rating on it, talking about children, uh, for parents that want to make sure the children don't play the game, sure, put a rating on it, but uh, otherwise, who gives a shit? If somebody wants to fucking play a game where they can uh, uh, go around and pretend to kill people in a neighborhood, go for it! There's probably some kind of catharsis in that, that Hey, maybe it might actually keep the guy from actually doing it. I don't know, but that's not even uh, that's not even the that's not even the issue here. That's not even the issue. Um, because the bottom the bottom line is the guy who's actually going to go on a murder spree is going to do that regardless of a fucking video game he plays. That's just my thought. They get the. Mm. Let's see here. Yep, Beijing. I don't believe that there is a person who played any GTA game and never killed civilian. I just don't believe. Um, there might have been, but there's no correlation between the two. Uh, also, the greatest, um, you know, counter argument to the the idea that you know violent video games you know would make you violent or would would make you actually do it is. Any game, uh, or you know, any game in that situation, you know, let's just say, for example, um, let's go all the way back to uh, uh, the uh, school shooting. Uh, what was in? Uh, was it Utah? I'm sorry. Anyway, they're playing Doom. They were trying to make the connection that, like, because they played Doom and you know all these violent games, it was like, it's like, well, you know what? That's that's fine. Sure, they played Doom. You know who else played Doom? Millions of other people! Millions! You know what they all did? Played Doom, went on the internet, jacked off, had a bowl of cereal, went to bed. I don't know. It's just, you, you can't, uh, yeah, Columbine, I'm sorry. It's been a while. So, it's just like, the, the people who do that kind of shit, to say that the video game is what set them over, it's like, 
it, something was going to set them off. It's not the game, it's the social stresses and, you know, the... the all of that. So there you go. So you're telling me that, like, out of the millions of people that played the exact same game, it, it, it just, it, it affected this, you know, like, these, this one guy, these two guys, so much that, uh, you know, they, they wanted this, this killing spree. It's like, why did it not affect everybody else the same way? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I should probably play the video game. Anyway. Well, farts, turds, and... Barf. Wasn't bowling the last game they played? Ooh. Technically, yes. Bowling. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Bowling for Columbine. Um, that was a weird documentary. Uh, the game is that it's 100% the objective to murder innocent people. It's a game. It's a video game. It's it's just like uh, it's just like the people who uh, uh, complain about Call of Duty and just it being like a war simulator. It's training you for you know fucking war. You're like uh yeah. Why don't you ask some of the the men in the military how much of a war training you know program uh, Call of Duty is? The reason it's considered worse than games like GTA is that uh, GTA it's just kind of a thing you can do, not something you are told. Uh, incentivized to do. Uh, in Call of Duty, there are people in the military, bad guys. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I, I see what you're getting at. That you know, it's the the main problem is that you're killing innocent people. It's, I guess wh what I'm my my stance on it is just like at the end of the day, you're you're racking up points in a video game, regardless of what you're doing. Uh, you know. It's not, it's not, it's not going to, like, train people to go, uh, on shooting sprees. It's not. It's a video game. Um, there have been so many games made where you kill innocent people, uh, or can kill innocent people, or are incentivized to kill innocent people. Didn't do a fucking thing. It's a video game. Uh, for me, I'd be more, uh, worried about issues, you know, with like, you know, real guns, and how they're being dispersed, and shit like that, you know? It's like, we just stop with like, the video game violence shit? Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I threw a pair of scissors at my mom! Cause cut man told me to- I don't know. Okay. I am fucking up, alright. Um. Prototype. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, prototype. You consume isn't people for health. It's- it's- it's, it's all- it's in... <laughs> killing. When you sit down and play a video game, pay attention to the vocabulary that you use. I died. Oh, you gotta kill that guy. Well, you kill him, and then you move on to him. It's just like, it's killing and dying and lives, you know? It's like, it's all just right there in the, in the vocabulary. It's like... Whatever. I wish I could, uh, make my point more, uh, you know eloquently right now, but I'm just not here. Or not all here. You defeated. Alright. Anyway, I think we all, I get the feeling like we're all just kind of like preaching to the choir here. Like we're all on the same side, but, uh, you know, some of us are just playing the devil's advocate. I don't know. You know what? That's not true. I'm sorry. We got into this discussion because people were talking about how much they hate hatred. And I just, I kind of, I just had to say like, I don't see what the big deal is. It doesn't even look that outlandish. Isn't it like a is, isn't it like a top down view of the street? So it's like you're not even you know it's not even like a first person thing where it's like it's visceral. Like you see the hands go out and like grab them and like 
you know, jab an ice pick in their throat. It's like that, you know, I could be kind of like, it's crazy. You know, it's tasteless or whatever, but like, it's, I think it's a, isn't it, it's a top down uh, kind of isometric view. So it's like, you're not even, you don't even, whatever. Whatever. Well, goodbye. Wow! I am so sorry, guys. The touching of the mic. It's really annoying. It's convenient and easy for the media to freak out, yep, about violent games, but not enough is ever said about how helpful games are. Bacon. I completely agree. And, um... Jesus. My hair falling down on my face. I thought it was the hatred guy coming to murder me for defending his game. Um, well, okay, but Mega Morgan. Okay, but yeah, words mean multiple things. I don't know why people think there's a concern with the use of the word killing in gaming culture. It's not like it affects the severity of actual murder. Um, I think I agree with that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I need to get past this room because I... It's annoying the shit out of me that it's its its not even... Mm. Oh! <laughs> yep. Uh... It's just really, yeah, whenever there's, uh, it's a thing, whenever there is a horrible atrocity done, people look for meaning, because that's the scariest thing of all, to, to, to think that there is just no reason, you know, like the, that it, uh, it's just kind of a thing that just happens. Uh, and I, I don't. I'm not saying that that's like the case because, of course, you know there there's absolutely reasons why these things happen. It's it's family, it's home life, it's the social life, it's it's the pressures of you know wanting to fit in and you know, all this stuff. It's, it's all kinds of different shit depending on the the, the situation. You know the, the music people listen to, the movies they watch, the games they play. That's not the shit that drives people to commit horrendous <laughs> acts against their fellow human beings. But it's it's comfortable to think that, because then that's easy. It's like, Rah! and that thing becomes the uh, is it pariah, kind of like the. It's like, blah. You can just focus your hate on that, blah, and not. Maybe how fucked up society is sometimes. Okay. Genetics, boss dragon. Good point. That's the real scary one, isn't it? Because that's the one where it's just like it's written into your code. You're like a fucking ticking time bomb. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. That's what we need to do right now. Gmaka. I try. I try. I don't think so, but thank you. Uh, like, honestly, uh, um, Extra Credits was in here earlier. They are actually well-spoken and eloquent, and they can talk some about some deep issues. Hmm. <sighs> like, it's nothing new. Gassy, testify. Just fine. Hold on, I gotta see what this gif is that Laurel Nene uh, put in the chat. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's me with money. <laughs> oh my god, it's me doing the troll face with money. I don't wanna look at that. Anyway, let me get back to this novella. Well, this gassy guy's right. It feels very strongly, apparently. My biggest thing is top is it. <laughs> the dark themes have always been a part of media integrity. I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. Like, it's nothing new. Completely agree. 
Uh, but video games are fairly new medium. Totally. Totally. So they are like... I swear. Yeah, it's like movies and stuff. Um, you know, it's like... Movies are accepted as, you know, whatever. Art and all that shit. And, um... Uh, coming in its own, becoming more mainstream, blah, blah, blah. I, I totally agree. All of it. Every single word. Just... I'm with you. I am with you in Rockland. Anyway. Man, don't forget that the, just throughout the natural humanity and the genetic lottery, some people are just born with minds that I... <laughs> a monkey, that's... That's why I... Uh, uh, whoever said that genetics is also a factor, like that that's like the scariest thing. It's just like <sighs> That guy over there, he's just he can't really see it on the outside, but deep inside, he's got a growing time bomb in him and it's just gonna go off. And there's really not much we can do. Uh because when you again, you know, when you think about like depression and stuff like that. There are some people chemically their bodies. That's just how it is. God damn it, play the game. Here we go. We are. We're, you know, we're all doing We're all just standing up here in front of the choir. And the choir is like, we get it! Alright, uh... That's what I feel like anyway. Uh... I gotta get... I gotta get this testy squat thingy done. Okay, I think I got it, though. I think I got this, guys. Birth of a nation. Can of course D and D. Oh my God! One of my favorite stories. Uh, how my ex step uh, mother. Maybe I'm maturing. I used to always call her my ex step bitch. Um, you'll find out why. Actually, threw away my Magic the Gathering cards because she was concerned that I was actually tapping the powers of Satan to invoke. Satanic power! Can you imagine? For four dollars and ninety-nine cents, or however much a pack of magic cards costs, you too can invoke the powers of Satan in your own home. There is a dangerous level of dumb out there sometimes, and uh, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, uh, yep. My Magic: The Gathering card collection. I had a, I had an amazing blue deck, dude. My blue deck would piss Zeke off to no end. That's exactly why it was so good. <laughs> counterspell, counterspell, counterspell. Uh, steel creature, control creature. <laughs> it's like, uh, counterspell. You know what? I'm gonna go counter that. You know what? I'm gonna think I'll, I'll let that go through. Yeah, I'll take that creature. You know what? We've been messing around long enough. Leviathan. Whatever the fuck. Anyway, yep, gone in the garbage. Uh, and in its place, they got me this book um, from the uh, Christian Bible bookstore or wherever the fuck. Um, and it was all about the dangers of... Uh, well, it was different. It was all about the dangers of Dungeons and Dragons and how it is actually like teaching kids how to invoke the powers of Satan. Man. As a kid, and that was in high school. I was in high school, and I couldn't believe it. That was uh, that was that was a time in my life where I mean, I lost so much respect for my father. He just he let it happen, and actually backed her up on it. And I just had to kind of sit there and read this book while I ate my cereal, and just I had to kind of like laugh at myself like this is nonsense. This is scary. I wish I could. I. I uh, I don't have the book anymore, but um, I really wish that I could uh, find it. I'm sure I could. I mean, it was hilarious. It was it was just like the most stilted, like you know, scripts between like two kids. You're like, hey, Billy, what do you got there? Oh, this is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we use it to, you know, fucking. It just it's, it was just so blatant and like. Ugh. So sad. Anyway. So yeah. I got into magic a little bit later and then fell out again. But now I've got Hearthstone. Let's go. Crap! Touch the balls! Yes!
Hmm. Hmm. What's going on, Eddie? Eddie. Uh, Eddie. Oh, he's feeling bad. Oh man. That sucks, man. Yeah, Hearthstone, yeah. Whatever, dude. <laughs> we are down to two chesties. Oh, man! I like this. If you think invoking the power of Satan with Magic the Gathering cards... Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I saw that! Yeah, yeah, the video of uh, the lady who's convinced that Monster Energy Drinks... That, like, it's a company that is, uh, you know, like... Brainwashing the public with the powers of Satan. <sighs> scary shit, man. Anyway, uh, somebody just tweeted me that video, uh, if you want to check it out, but, uh, yeah, you, you guys saw the video of the lady who gives, like, a total breakdown of, like, why the monster symbol is, like, it's, like, three crucifixes and, the, like, the number of the beast, and she's just, like, it's kind of scary, a little scary. It's scary. Get on the plat! Oh! You silly twat! Kind of work. Yep, Illuminati. <laughs> Topless robot. Bacon donut. What are you linking to? Topless robot. Cyber bubes. Which spell did you cast, Debbie? I used the mind bondage spell on my father. He was trying to stop me from playing D and D. It's funny. It's funny. Argoth Easy Three. You're just in time for the ritual of Twitch domination. I'll just tap, tap, tap. These swamps, swamps for black mana. That's the most evil mana. And I will cast, 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 cast. The rarest, the rarest, most evil card of all. The demonic, demonic tutor. tutor. Welcome to mankind. mankind. We are in league are with, with Satan. 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 We are fucking We're shit fucking up shit with up Magic with the Magic Gathering guards, aka Satan, Satan the, 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 the Gathering. 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 Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh. Hail Satan! It's enough echo for the day. Okay, let's go. Satan the demon card. <laughs> Dude, do you play Satan the slathering card? Genius cabbage. cabbage. Just donated. 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 <laughs> the donation of the beast. Thank you, Genius Cabbage. It says, For the glory of Satan, of course! Blah, 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 blah. Fucking A! Satan. Okay, anyway. Um, see, this is where like we're all joking around, having a good time. Suddenly, my living room floor splits open. Bright orange light fills the room, and big giant, like, red clawed hands, like, blah! Comes out, he's got the pitchfork, he's like, hey! Heard you like to play games, man. How'd you like to play this new game? Right? And the box is like, it's like, Armageddon. And you're like, fuck yeah! How many angels do I gotta kill? Do I get extra points for tearing their wings off? Stabbing them with, with their own swords? I am in. Put me down on that. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh. Here we go. Let's win it. What? 
one. She put now. Get your oh. You gotta you gotta flutter over there, man. Satan! I knew we can vote you. you. I'm glad I can rely on your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the donation of the beast. So we got six dollars and sixty-six cents from uh, a Satan. Says, uh, message says, so my minions say you've been talking about me. How you guys doing? Want to go with me on vacation? I, I know this one place where you can get one hell of a tan. Look at you, Nene. Nene's in league with Satan. That makes so much sense. Parthay. And they're Vlandlil Bjarkskalar. Thank you for getting another donation. Another donation. Another donation. 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 Jeez. All right. Uh, Parthay, thanks so much. Says this stream has got to be my new favorite stream. Hear that? Suck it, Eddie Monster. Suck it, Lol Renene. Suck it, Gassy Mexican. Suck it, uh, Bacon Donut. Suck it, King Foom. Uh, who am I forgetting? Um. Anyway, y'all could suck it. Suck it. Then one right here. Oh, the power of Satan! Oh my God! Come on, guys! Don't copy that floppy. Uh, <laughs> what the shit? Here we go. Uh, it got to be my favorite stream. I laugh my ass off, and I also learn a lot. It's really the best in edutainment. 10 out of 10. Would watch again. I hope you come back for reals. Uh, oh, my goggle. You can also suck it. Uh, Y'all could just suck it. Sarcaster. Suck it. Sar, suck it. The guy's like, we all know what he thinks it's about us. Are you kidding me? I'm in front of the camera saying this. Can you imagine the shit I'm saying off camera? I got Gassy's face on a dartboard. Why? They're so well adjusted and funny. <laughs> I'm going to flail myself. Let's read these donation messages and play the goddamn game. Because it's getting weird. Uh... <laughs> All right, um, Parthay, I'm really glad to hear that you're liking the, the, the broadcast, man. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna play more of the game. Valindil Biarsklar, thank you for the donation. The message says blankety blank blank. Uh, we're gonna give you the uh, the standard R S T L and E. Let's see what that gives you. Uh, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Admiral Pawn. Admiral Pawn. It's Pawn. It's Pawn. It's Pawn. It's Pawn. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Admiral. 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 Pawn. Pawn. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to mankind. Mankind. Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Make your way into the man cave. Man cave. Man cave. Man cave. Thanks for the support. So very much. 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 I gotta get. I gotta get on this game. People are just like, this is stupid. All right. Uh, thank you so very much. And then the, there's BMJ80. Oh my God, guys! <laughs> Goblin! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It was all about Satan. It's like you know what? You you gotta work the room, okay? You got the hobgoblins over there. You got the demons over here. The imps. It's good to get in with the imps. Uh, you got the succubus and the incubus. Uh, so thank you very much, Hobgoblin. Hold on. I gotta catch up with y'all. Uh, oh no. Uh, BMJ80. 25 bucks. Way too generous. Thank you very much. Uh, it says, hey man! That's like... Oh, hold on. Wrong character. Hey, hey man. That's like, just, your opinion, man. It's been a while, so take my dirty old oil money. Love you, brother. Thank you, BMJ. Um, thank you so very much. Uh-oh. 
Uh, and then boom, boom. You've been drinking. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, man. Uh, here we go. Message says, "Cheap pop." Go watch Mazes and Monsters if you can. It's Tom Hanks' first leading role, early 80s. I think I've heard about this, yeah. About a guy who plays way too much D&D, ends up losing his mind and murdering people. I, I can't tell fact from fiction. Ah, Beholder! I cast Magic Missile. Oh, look at... Get down! There's a bugbear coming! Our top story today, a young man sliced an old woman's breasts off in the library on Sunday! Uh, Easter Sunday! Shit! Alright. Dude, that's scary. Alright, uh, I gotta get back in there. Uh, <laughs> Foom, I gotta check out that movie. Because, uh, I might learn something. Watch it, you might learn something. Okay. Now, it's time for gaming, guys. Let's not, let's not forget what this is about. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Magic missile! Magic missile! Well, calm down. Yeah, those guys are they're, they're summoning the powers of Satan. Magic missile, magic missile. Uh, excuse me, is, is is that a Nerf dart? Yeah. Just thought I'd check. Magic missile. Look out, Satan's in league with those motherfuckers. Brutal janitor. janitor. The most brutal janitor. Brutal janitor. <laughs> Plunging the Plunging shit. <laughs> Out of that toilet. That toilet, that toilet. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation. The donation. Thanks for breaking the damn alert. I can't believe this thing is still breaking. Just, just stop it. All right. Here we go. Uh oh, what's going on? Holy shit! I'm not even close. There's so many messages to read. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. And then I, I really do want to get past this room for reals. Okay, here we go. Enzo, 1986, thank you for the donation, says, So, I woke up to you giving subs blowjobs and went for a shower and food. Now you're in league with the devil? This is truly a wonderful Wednesday. Weird, wild, wacky Wednesdays is what we call them around here. We have a lot of fun. Uh, blowjobs, Satan. Chains, whips. Autoerotic asphyxiation. I thought I would just try that one again, just to see if I could actually say the fucking words. Uh, we, we have a lot of fun around here. As you know, Enzo. Thank you very much. Also... Mm, dick punching. What is going on? There it is. <laughs> the Hobgoblin! Ooh. Thank you for the donation, Hobgoblin. You guys are working hard down there to put food on your family. Here you go, Hobgoblin, the message reads, You could say that Satan is more nice than the so-called God. After all, you read in the Bible and all that shit, God would be the bad guy and Satan was just watching God doing the bad stuff. Hobgoblin, you don't say much, but when you do, it's to the point and you make a good point. <laughs> Fucking A. Oh my God. What is this world coming to when Hobgoblins... Have a better grasp of what's going on than my father. This is some silly ass shit. This is some far fetched shit. Thank you, Hobgoblin. Don't forget D and D the movie. I almost had, and then you ruined it. Dungeons and Dragons the movie has got to be one of the worst fucking things ever made. I'm pretty sure that Jeremy Irons makes damn sure to never mention it in passing. You're like, hey, you that guy from Dungeons and Dragons? No. <sighs> Alright. Oh my god, dude. As a hardcore role player, Zeke, D 
Dan Paul from the Sour Coolie Show. He's our DM. Uh, we went hard. We went ham on it. When we found out that there was a Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out, we were just like, Yeah, baby! Let your freak flag fly! We're gonna go watch the shit out of that movie in the theater. I had never slumped so low in a chair in my life. I wanted to be not there. I wanted to be over there. Not watching Dungeons and Dragons with Marlon Wayans and Jeremy Irons and some other guy who is not even important enough to remember <laughs> it is awful. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a scene. For anybody, uh, if you're familiar with uh, uh, you know monsters and beasts in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Forgotten Realm settings, whatever the setting is, the core setting. Uh, Y'all know what a beholder is? I'm sure you do. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Spot of Satan. Remember the beast. Remember the beast. Remember the beast. It's got the beast. It's got the beast. It's got the Thank you, Thank you for the donation. The donation. The donation. The donation. Let me just finish this really quick. You know what a beholder is? That's the uh, the floating demon uh, with uh, uh, you know basically like one big eye. There's all kinds of forms. Giant eye, a lot of like kind of tentacles with eyes at the ends of the stalks. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, they're like they're like considered one of the most powerful uh, creatures, monsters. You know, you can come up, you can go up against. Like, like you, if you see a beholder, you're fucked. Okay, like they will fuck you up. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're just unbelievable, unbelievably powerful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one of the things is you cannot sneak up on them because they have eyes in every direction. Blah blah blah. Uh, so, not even kidding. There is a scene in Dungeons and Dragons where Marlon Wayans the thief and the white guy who was another thief hold on dark lord oh my god I'm not gonna get to play a game um they fucking <laughs> they they use the, the movie cliche the uh the fucking trope they grab a rock throw a rock like in a field or whatever the fucking beholder like looks up like bah, bah, bah. He, like follows the rock and they sneak by a fucking beholder. Anyway. Don't you see how stupid it is? <laughs> I just realized how fucking geeky that sounded. Anyway, um You know what? I don't give a shit. Um What the fuck? I'm telling you guys, I'm trying I wanna play the game. Y'all are just brutalizing me. The brutal janitor. <laughs> I never read your uh, uh, message. Brutal janitor, thank you for the donation. It says, My cat is currently sitting on my head. I. I'm glad you have that bond together. You're like a. You're like a crazy. janitor cat totem pole. <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, brutal janitor. Okay, and then we got a donation from, from Spawn, the Spawn of Satan. 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 Hey, man, man, hey, interactive man, streamer, streamer IMO. 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 May you, May you burn, burn in hell. hell. Don't worry, I am. I got a front row ticket. Uh, here we go. There's a big, big 15 bucks 15 from the Dark Lord. The message from the Dark Lord. Is this enough for a PJ? Thanks in advance. See you in hell. Thanks, Dark Lord. Uh, you know what? For you, my friends, for the Dark Lord himself, absolutely. The pleasure is all mine. 
lay that lanky old demon thing down. I will put a spell on it. My magic cards. All right, we got there, guys. It's time to play a video game. Uh, during the break, I am going to be sucking off the Dark Lord. Oh, herself. Oh, you kidding me? Yeah, for a beat at 15 bucks. <laughs> Dude. I will pay you 15 bucks. Uh, to like... Oh, man. Succubus. I will suck you. Gross. Hey! Boom! Boom! You are, you are drunk! Did I mention you guys should follow him? King Foom. Bob Bugs and Foom, thank you so much, man. Says, I'm leaving this last donation in hopes that you can finally get back to playing the fucking game. Ha ha ha! Oh, Mr. Funny Guy! You are, uh. You are Funny Guy! Ha <laughs> This is a good trick! Thank you, Foom. You know what? I am gonna get back to playing the goddamn fucking game. Fucking tiny face motherfucker. Look! Touch the testy satchel. That's the magic. Whoa! Nope, we fucked up. Damn it, I didn't touch it enough. Mmm. Amazing job on going hard and strong. It's pretty crazy. Playful chick, I know. Um. Uh. I. I won't lie. I, uh. I have trouble changing gears. I get stuck. And, um, you know, it's this fun. Uh, <laughs> this is a point where, like, the delirium just makes it even more fun. Alright. No, go ahead and just watch the movie. Just have alcohol uh, handy. You're talking about the D&D movie? Ugh. Ugh. Dude, that's why... This is why... Okay, play the game, and I'll talk while I'm playing the game. When you watch Dungeons and Dragons, it will remind you why the Lord of the Rings trilogy is such a fucking uh, amazing, well done achievement. Because before, you know, like Fellowship of the Ring, um, a a serious, sincere, well done fantasy movie was extremely rare. I'm trying to think of uh, another one. I'm not saying that like there was never a good uh, uh, you know fantasy movie uh, made before that, but um, I'm not playing the game. Damn it. Uh, oh, balls. And then you play the game and you do that. Um, Braveheart, no good. That's historical. I'm talking like dragons and... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Wolford beat us, yep. <clears throat> Wolford beat us, Brimley. Uh, Labyrinth, maybe, Dragonheart, um, oh! Uh, Dragon Slayer! That was a freaky fucking movie, you remember Dragon Slayer? Willow! Good call on Willow! So, it's not like it hadn't been done, but, uh, like a good, solid, uh, you know, fantasy movie. You know what, maybe I'm, I'm giving it too much importance. Here's the thing. What year did D&D &D come out? I forget. I think it came out just a little bit before um, Fellowship. I think I think uh, Dungeons, the Dungeons and Dragons movie came out just a little bit before um, uh, Fellowship. And so, yeah, I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to make like you know, too much of a sweeping generalization, generalization here. What it was was after we went and saw the horrendous Dungeons and Dragons in, in theater, you know, then we got a chance to see Fellowship of the Ring. It was just like, oh my god, yes! I can feel, you know, good about, you know, really loving, you know, fantasy settings and blah 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 blah. Um <clears throat> Dragons Yes! As a kid. That was another movie that like fucked me up because um uh I don't want to spoil anything. But I'm going to Lorraine, cover your ears. <laughs> um, Dragon Slayer. I just remember the scene where um, they, they don't, don't they put the uh, one of the the women out for like uh, 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 bait, and 
and uh, it works because <laughs> then there's this shot in the dragon's lair of like these two like baby dragons like chewing on bloody bones. Uh, and I remember as a kid, I was just like, "Oh my god!" So there you go. Spoil the fuck out of that. Sorry. Let's go. Okay. Would you touch the testy satch? Nope, it didn't work. It did not work. Repeat. The testy satch did not... Mm, reverse divide. Anyway. The baby dragons. Look at that. King Foom knows. Yep, we know. Foom, you and I, buddy. Together. Forever. Sorry, just some kind of demonic power just over overwhelmed me. <laughs> I have to They're eating her! And next they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! So sorry. Um, there's just sounds that you just should never have to hear, no matter what. Uh, garbage day. All right. Um. Yeah. Sometimes you have to learn. You just be, you know, you just have to cut your losses and be like, you know what? You don't have the voice for this. Save it. Now this is no, no, no. We gotta get it to the two testy satchel. This is this is we're gonna get it, guys. Solgren, I'll show you. Ha <laughs> ha! You son of a bitch. Okay. Motherfucker, what am I doing? I overextended with my uh, uh Gladys. Um I think I pulled my uh vast deference. Oh man. Yeah, really, really, really weird. Did a number on that. Draco's death. Take it easy. Gotta go. Great talk as always. Hey, glad you enjoyed it. Have a good one. One. To fantasy fans, if you haven't seen Dragon Slayer, do yourself a favor. Check it out. It's great. Yeah. It, and it's like we were talking about. It's dark. It's uh, it's pretty fucked up. Scowy. Well, oh, up and around. That's the shit right there. That's the shit right there. Come on, let's do it. I'm excited. Getting sweaty. I would love to see speedrunners do this game. Faust, do you follow Bonanosaurus Rex? It's an extremely... Um, uh, inconvenient name. It's overly long. It's silly. Uh, there's no need for it. Um... But you should follow him. Because you know what he does? He speeds run he speed runs this fucking game. As well as some other people. I think Solgren can uh, link the other people. Anyway. He's not gonna do it. What is Solgren doing? Yeah, this world record is always being contested, which is awesome. It's very, very cool to see. Uh do I have to Oh god. Oh man. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god! My husband is having an affair with your wife. Holy shit! I don't think we should talk about it. Fuck, right. Here's your pet. Kill them. Oh man! Oh god, oh man! Oh god, oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! She's talking about killing them. Oh no! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Uh. Wow. Okay. Yep. Um, yep, that was awful. Thanks, Olgren. 
Okay. Uh, oh, old Stone Face Vimes just subscribed two months in a row. That's a that's a handy J. Give you a handy J. Thank you very much, old Stone Face Vimes. Oh, appreciate it so much. Now, can a fella make some progress? Oh, Lord Rene, good night. <laughs> Jeez, I think we offended Lord Rene. I'm leaving. Good night, man and mankind. Good night, Lord Rene. I know I say it a lot. As people leave, it's just always a good. Day. It's so easy. You just click their name. A little sub menu comes up. You just hit follow, and it's free. And uh, it's another possible uh, broadcast to watch when you're looking for some entertainment. And I do recommend Lorena. She's great. Um, take it easy, Nay Nay. Thank you so much, as always. Um, mm, man starts to look like Adam Jones. Jojo Jopo. That's a compliment for me. Uh, Renee Nay. Renee Yay. Uh, what did I just miss? It was a sub, wasn't it? Oh, there you are! Vibri! Welcome to mankind! Come on into the man cave! Join us! We are having a good time. Thanks so much for the support. And you're in. Oh, Chauvinist Deluxe! Oh boy! This could get interesting. Welcome to mankind! Chauvinist Deluxe! I should remind everyone that it's... Short for humankind. Thanks so much for the support! Oh! I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Come on in! Thank you! Thank you! And, and, and... Take it easy, Gassy! You're a jam, buddy. You're fucking... You're golden. You're so money. Um... It's Gassy Mexican. We're all following him. I know. He's great. He's great. He's Gassy Mexican. He's great. Um... Where and who and why and how... And I missed... Okay, it was a donation. And then I'm gonna play the goddamn game. Please. Uh, logic does not apply. Thank you for the donation. It says, I just came back to the stream, and you beat the Orc Twins. Way to go, man. Thank you. It has been done. And apparently, was there a... Do I inhale? Fucking A, I inhale. Um... Did somebody made a, uh, uh... Uh... A highlight? Opuculus! Take it easy. Okay. I got it. I got the game plan. You touch the balls. Oops. You gotta, you gotta turn it into the testes. Right now, you got, you got two testes. Excuse me, you got, you got two sets of testes. Conan with Arnold is fairly early. You know what? And, and you're right. That's, uh, you know, so that's fa that's fantasy. Come on. What the hell? What do I gotta do to pop that third testy? Thank you. Oh, oh. oh! Oh, 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 and then you fail. That's it, baby. Just the execution is needed now. Whop. Whop. Pop it. Lock it. Pimp it. Stop it. You can rock it, you can roll it. Um. Um. And there it is. There's the freaking highlight. Or is that a, uh, a, uh, a bookmark. You got it. Progress. Pop the testy. Put pow, and then you just go. All right. Well. Well. Come on. I'm not I'm drunk. drunk. Just keep, just keep talking. talking. You broke the goddamn thing. You know what it is? I think it's the long names. Unbelievable. Thank you so very much for... Oh, welcome to mankind! 
I'm not drunk. Just I'm keep talking. talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Has joined. Has joined. Has joined. Has joined. Uh, 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 health club. Health club. <laughs> <laughs> He's just joined. He's joined. Joined. Joined in the joined song. In the song. Hallelujah. 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 Get the goddamn alert. Off the screen. Jesus. All right. Here we go. Welcome. I'm not drunk, just keep talking. Uh, I will. That's pretty much what I do. That's like my, uh... That's my... That's my M.O. That's my modus operandi. What? Never stop talking! N-S-T. N-never... S-T... I mean, S-stop... T-talking. Never stop talking. NEVER STOP TALKING! <sighs> See, the one thing you don't want is air in the conversation. Okay. The fist is still there. It's strong. You go in the subscription, in the options. Uh, sorry. Are you, are you high? I don't get the, I don't get the joke. I don't get the joke. Mm, see, you were talking about good fantasy movies earlier on. You forgot to mention Conan the Barbarian. You know what? Chauvinist Deluxe! Is that you out on uh, Twitter? Because I had just read a tweet from Thunderous Olaf. said Conan, the, uh, Conan with Arnold was fairly early. Not the most full-on fantasy movie, but still. And you're absolutely right. I think you're... I would totally say, hell yes. He's a fucking barbarian. And he's got a loincloth and a goddamn, like, a bastard sword. All right. Oh, <laughs> Solgren was going for Cosby in text form. Oh, man. I totally missed it. I feel bad now. Now, you see, you go into subscriptions and options and make you fall down where the donation. Yeah. Let's get past this screen. Stop with the hoot nanny and the uh, stop with the the the, the ballyhoo. Argus Pangenti. A poor egg, you say. You brought a poor egg down and oops. Whoa! Brutal janitor! <laughs> Welcome to Welcome mankind. mankind! We Welcome all kinds of brutal, brutal, brutal uh, employees here. Employees here. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Thanks so very so much. Very much. Come on in the man Come cave. Man cave. <laughs> What? Don't click that link, because that will give you way, way, way too many tabs on it. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I did. I beat the green, uh, the, the green-eyed ladies. Here we go. Trap, trap. You gotta get down to two testes. I mean, anything more than two, and you're asking for it. Yeah, you gotta get some height. Okay, good. C418! Mursame! Mursame! Mursame? Mursame? I made your awesome, made your awesome, made your awesome. Two months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mursame! Mursame! Am I, am I close? close? Welcome to mankind! Thanks for the support! Come on in! Trying to beat a goddamn game! Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, what is he for? This game character has the weirdest idle animation. She breathes from the breasts, which is super unhealthy, and then wobbles the hips. Mm. She... She's sensual. She's sensual. 
She doesn't have any feet! Jeez, beasties, they cut her feet off! Uh, uh, breasts. Excuse me, uh, do you have any chicken breasts? Okay. What just happened? Oh, Fluffy Bunny! What? 21 months in a row! Oh my god! I'd have to say over 20 months in a row. 21 months. That's... I just can't go through with it. Um... You... 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 What, what can I what can I do for you? I'm at your service. Dear God, Fluffy Bunny. Fluffy Bunny, there. Oops. Now, what's going on? Is that just like an automated thing that's going on now? Come on, it's a new weird thing, and it's freaking me out. And I need to play the game because I get a chance now. Okay. Yeah, almost two years, Fluffy Bunny. That's crazy. Uh, this this ass right here, that's yours. You can just carry it around like a fucking briefcase. Like a fucking billfold. Just store your money in there. <laughs> and other uh, personal effects. And there it is. This is the, sh this is the shit right here, guys. Ah! Motherfucker. Man, these jeans. It's just... It's just that the jeans are, you know... Oh, boy. There we go. See, so what's consecutive months in a row? Um, well, I imagine it's. Well, hold on. Does my subscription to demand expire or something? You can choose to have it expire, but if you don't, the subscription will continue on. And so, yes, these these beautiful, angelic, blameless, innocent, shining beacons of humanity. They have been subscribed to my channel for that long and just let it go. See, what scares me, that, that that's going to pop up someday, and somebody's going to see like how long it's been going. They're like, oh my god! You know what? I just, uh... Yeah. I just had to change my priorities. Uh, man, I wish you luck. I did my part. See you later. Because that's going to happen. Here we go. <clears throat> it's going to get spammy. Hopefully. <laughs> ah! Uh, no. It's just, for me, with, like, the alert and stuff, it's like, I'm, I'm already at full capacity, guys. Like, you've already seen, like, what a fucking battle it is sometimes. To play the goddamn game. Uh, look at that, Robtillion just subscribed two months in a row. Robtillion, you, sir, got yourself one free handy J at any upcoming convention. That's unfortunate. There you go. Uh, what, is the, what is going on with that? Are, are, are people actually putting that through, or is it, again, just an automated thing? And there's Gesta's Basada. Gesta's uh, Blue Screen of Death. Three months in a row. Uh, that's a Handy J with lube, I guess. I don't know. Uh... It's a new thing. It's a new hot thing. They're just keeping track of all kinds of, uh... Well, that's not... That's when it renews. They don't have to be... Wait, they don't have to be here? So it will... It will announce that even if the person is not here? Now that seems kind of weird. I don't know why. Okay, um... It's an option that was added. An auto resub now shows up in chat unless you click a box to stop it in your settings. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I like optional. Uh, all right. Come on, get the pop the third testy, Shimone. So what you if I mentioned? That I've had you subscribed under two names for a year, or so completely intentionally, and I'm just letting it go. I'm yours. <laughs> you, 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 you have purchased this right here, wherever, whenever. <laughs> What's 
wrong with me? Um, I, I do all this joking around on the broadcast, then I'm going to go to Pac South and just be like, taken advantage of. Man, show me on the dolly where the bad man touched you. Right there? In your bathing suit area? No. My balls. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. I have to ask. You're giving out handy dues and lip lovin's stuff for certain subs. I'm just wondering, like, I've been a sub since, like, uh, what you got here. What do I get? Poom, uh, we, we have something so much better than all of that, you know, earthly, carnal, uh, lust. Uh, we have true love. I don't know. <laughs> well, that was the joke I was gonna make. Perfidious reprobate. Uh, with Fluffy Bunny, I was just—I was trying to make some kind of joke, like you know what? This right here, it's yours. Do with it as you will. <laughs> just use it like a fucking. Uh, <laughs> see, and I got nothing. I'm coming up with nothing. Anyway, I gotta go. I have got to go. See, I gotta deal with these throbbing testicles up here. If it's not one thing, it's 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 a four pack of throbbing testicles that are blocking my way. I mean, well, for I don't understand it. Did someone cap that? I don't know. Well, farts. Come on. Oh, kitty. Do. Hi, right, baby. Uh, I am being summoned. Oh, of course, of course. Heavy. Subscribe six months in a row. Um. Uh. Uh. How about a bottom massage? Bottom massage. With the happy ending. With, with the. With the crying banana. I think it was on Reddit. What do you want to grow? He's like, hey, buddy, feed me, asshole. Let's get through this room. And then I do need to take a break. I'm going to roll a few ads. Uh. Very special thanks to all five of you who let those ads roll. Y'all are doing the Lord's work. My God! Um, if you have throbbing testes, you might want to get that checked out. Yeah, they're called Blue Balls. And I prescribe getting your dick wet. No Okay, that was lewd, crude, rude, pre-chewed bag of food, dude. Would you pop the testy? God damn it! Sorry, I need to get. I need to get up there. Get! I don't understand it. What is the magical force that is keeping that third testy afloat? Oh! Old world gamer. Thank you for the host. Hello. Old world gamer. I want to make sure that that was spelt correctly. Okay. Okay. This is... Ludacris. Thank you! Come on. Bangarang. Was that what they say? Bangarang Rufio? Is that what that comes from? Bangarang. Shouts to all my bus boys. Or whatever. <sighs> Come on! Touch the testy. Thank you. And then, of course, that's the time you don't land. Uh, oh, God, no. I am all the way live. When I'm on... It's time to go! No! Defeat. Get it down! Shrip. 
This is a very fleshy, spongy uh, area here. Probably stinks. This whole area stinks. But come on. This silly crap. Y yes, yes, yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing. Pa, dude. Lendil Briard Skelar. I wonder what the maximum number of viewers has been. Not like the record, just a daily approximate. Or do you mean like on Twitch in you know total? Shit. I'd say about two damn many. <laughs>